Jeffy, I swear if that hits me. What are you gonna do? I'll rip up your dumb toy. Okay. Mommy, can you throw that back to me? Here you go. Well, don't, don't give it back to him. Ugh. <laughs> it's good! Well, that's just rude. Jeffy, you're grounded. Why? Because you hit me with the stupid toy and then... <sighs> Let me answer the door. Hello? Hey, Marvin. <laughs> Why do you have a cat? This is my $5 million cat, Mrs. Bigglesworth. Why is it $5 million? Because it's a Himalayan Yeti long hair. A Yeti and a cat banged, and this popped out, and I bought it for $5 million. Well, why'd you bring it here? Because I need you to watch her for me, Marvin. Every time I watch your animal, something bad happens. Oh, come on, Marvin. I have this wicked hot girl coming over, but she's allergic to cats. And I don't want her sneezing on me. Ew. So I just need you to watch her for 10 minutes. Why only 10 minutes? Because I don't last long. Plus, the post-nut clarity's gonna kick in, and I'm gonna I want her to leave. Actually, it's gonna be nine minutes because my pants are already down. <sighs> okay, fine. Give me the damn cat. All right, thanks, Marvin. <sighs> Marvin, why do you have a cat? Goodman wants me to watch it for ten minutes. Oh no, something bad always happens. Not if we watch it for ten minutes. <laughs> oh, darn it. Get, 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 get the cat! Get the cat! Oh, no, no, no! Get, get, get. Oh, darn it! She what do went, we do now, Marvin? She went under the table, kitty. Oh no! Oh, let, let me try to get like a, a toy to get her out. Kitty, kitty, kitty! All right, baby, I got this, like, mouse toy. Okay, and I got this spider on a string toy. All right, let's try to get her out. Okay. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Kitty, 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 you want Come the toy? Here. Come on, kitty. Let me see what she's doing. Uh, yep, she is under there, and she is not trying to come out. Oh, no, what do we do? Ooh, let's call a cat whisperer. Okay. Yeah. Hey there, somebody call a cat whisperer. Yeah, so there's a cat stuck in the... Shh, quiet. We have to whisper. We don't want the cat to hear us. Do you speak shh, cat? Shh, shut the fuck up. Just whisper. Okay, I'm a cat whisperer. Okay, what's going on? So, I'm supposed to watch this cat for like 10 minutes. Well, actually like 9 minutes. And so, the cat got stuck under the table. I need you to grab it. Oh, that's it? That's all you need? Yeah, I need you to grab the cat. Well, we don't have to whisper for that. Usually people just want me to talk to their cat and figure out its felines. Feelings? Felines? Yeah. Well, people usually just want me to, like, talk to their cat and figure out its favorite color or its favorite food or something. I mean, it's all a scam. I can't talk to cats any more than you can, but that's what I do. I scam people. Well, can you get the cat from under the table? Oh, yeah, that's easy. I got the perfect thing right here. Got some catnip. One smell of this and it'll come running. And it'll get high out of its goddamn mind. Okay, well, let's use the catnip. Hey, man. You wanna like this shit? Huh? You wanna like this fucking shit, bro? Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I am zooted right now. <laughs> I'm not even me. I am a different puppet completely. <laughs> this shit is so purple it should be asking where's Ronald. This is that shit that killed Tupac. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 bro. Peep, peep, Jeffy. Look, look. <laughs> he is cooked, my guy. He is looking into the eyes of eternity right now. Dude is smelling shapes. <laughs> he, is, he is talking to God. Motherfucker's over there at Avatar 3. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey. Hey, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. I forget. Well, why am I even here, man? My cat. Oh yeah! <laughs> kitty kitty! Fuck him. Oh man. Hey, 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 you know igloos? You know igloos? How, how does that even work? You know? Like, because they're made of snow and ice, but they're round and ice is slippery. They should, they should just fall over. How does that even... How's that? Oh! Oh, bro! Bro, 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 bro. I got, oh, this is gonna be so cool. Bro, how about we get some ice from your fridge and we make an igloo? Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Okay, okay, okay. I got, I got the ice. Here comes the igloo. I'm gonna build an igloo. I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> With my little penguin family. Wait. These are not, hey, these are not stacking. This is, this is impossible. The world lied. Igloos are impossible. They use bricks. They, they use bricks and they paint them white. That's what they do. Oh. That was a good nap. Wait, why is there a plate of water here? Oh yeah, igloos. Baby, 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 Goodman can be here any minute. We have to get the cat out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the, I got the nip right here. Um. You wanna go one more time? No, we have to get the cat! Okay, lame. Okay, Marvin, where's this cat? Underneath the table. Let me take a look. Go oh, look at the geeky! Your oh, geekies. Okay, yeah, it's under there. Let me try the catnip. Hey! Hey, you want some catnip? Some pretty dank nip, huh? Take the nip. 
Take the catnip, you stupid cat. Ugh. Maybe we should light some up just to show the cat it's good. No, we have to hurry up and get the cat out. Okay, yeah, I got something else. I got a laser pointer. Cats love laser pointers. Hey, you want the laser? Go get it. Go get it. It's not working. Okay, this is stupid. I'm just gonna go in there. It's a cat. I can grab it. Yeah, just grab it. Oh, oh God! Oh, get off my face! Oh, oh God, it's distracting me! Oh, are you okay? It's working. Working. You should do something! Oh, oh, get off! What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Oh, oh, God, it hurts! It hurts! Oh! 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 Oh, God, it scratched my face! Oh, are you okay? Oh, no, I'm not okay! It bit my ear and it scratched my eye! God damn it, I hate cats! Well, uh, but you're a cat whisperer. No, no, I'm a dog person! God, I hate cats! I wish they'd all die! I hope you die, cat! You hear me? Uh, okay. All right. I'm getting that cat out of there. This is personal now! Alright, I'm going in. Well, what is that? It's a lightsaber. What do you think it is? Get out of here, stupid cat! I have the high ground! Oh, well, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What? Well, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the cat out of there. It's a Sith. That's inhumane! Yeah, well, it's inhumane what it did to my face. Don't use a lightsaber. Yeah, you're right. It's not the Jedi way. Master Yoda would be pissed. Anyway, I have a better idea. I can use this hammer and maybe try to scare it out with loud noises. Get out of here, stupid cat! Stupid idiot cat! Get you know what? Get out of here! Get oh, out of no, here! No, 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 stop it! Use, use other things other than weapons. Okay, fine. I will get it out humanely. All right, I got this dog. Oh, oh. His name is Killer. How is that dog gonna help get the cat out? Like this. Sick him! Get him! Tear him apart! Fuck him up! Rip his head off! Humanely! Yeah, humanely rip his head off! I can't get the dog out! Listen, I want the cat alive, not- I don't want you to kill it. Killer's not gonna kill anybody. Well, okay, maybe he will. His name is Killer. I need the- I need the cat in one piece. Uh, really? Oh, God, you're not making this easy for me. You can't get the cat out? Hey, do you want to try? You saw what it did to me. Well, listen, can you do your job or not? Yes, I can. Okay, but you're sure you need him alive? I need him alive! Okay, okay, I got it. All right, I got this. What is that? This is my police issue taser. A taser? I said don't kill the cat. I'm not gonna kill the cat. I'm just gonna electrocute it with 100,000 volts. And that's not gonna kill it? No, look, it's just gonna knock the cat out so I can drag it out from under the table and then it'll wake up wherever you want it to. And you promise it's not gonna hurt the cat? No, I don't know. Who cares? Look, I electrocute bad guys with it all the time and they're fine. They still do bad things, so it can't be that bad. Okay, I'm going in. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, you little bastard. Yeah, take that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I'm doing it. Here you go. Yeah, just bite down on it. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. Oh, come on. Let's get them. Okay, what the hell is that cat made of? I tasted it three times and it didn't go down. Uh, it's part Yeti. What? Part Yeti? You didn't tell me that. I didn't think that was important. What? Not important. Of course it's important. I need fire. What, fire? Yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I just got back from the fireworks store. Fireworks store? Yeah, I figured I could use some fireworks to scare the cat out because they're loud. Like, see, I got the this bottle rocket that could work and then oh check this out this is pretty badass it's a pinball machine that explodes i mean i don't know how that'll help with the cat but i thought it was pretty cool and then i thought maybe i could throw one of these bombs under there and try to scare the cat out is that gonna hurt the cat no no but it's probably just gonna make like a little flash of light that's all well it's not gonna have like fire no i mean not much no i, I think the cat will be fine it'll probably run out before it even explodes oh, okay okay so i'm just gonna light this all right and then i'm gonna just toss that under there Oh! Uh, is the cat okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure the cat's fine. Uh, let, me, let me just take a look. Ooh! Oh, um, hmm. Uh, did... Ah! Oh, whew, that's, that's, um... Oh! Okay, yeah, that's not good. Well, is the cat okay or not? Uh, well, remember when you said you needed the cat in one piece? Yeah. Well, there are several pieces. What? Several pieces? Is the cat dead? No, no, it's not dead yet. I mean, it's close. Well, no, fix it, fix it, fix it! Okay, look, it'll, it'll be fine, okay? I'll, I'll just take it to the vet and see if I can put it back together. You're the vet! Yeah, I know, I'll just take it to my office. Look, it'll be fine. Just, just go sit on the couch. Uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, nurse, we're gonna do surgery. What do we got, doctor? The uh, cat. It was in a fireworks accident. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, I have no idea. I, I wasn't there. But, you know, I heard the cat was a real asshole, so, like, no big deal if it doesn't pull through. Uh, I'm gonna still do my best to try to put this together. Okay, needle and thread. Thank you. Uh, Alright, let's get to sewing. All right, nurse, cut. All right, it's all sewed up. It looks stunning, doctor. Yeah, I just hope it's my size. I don't know if I got the measurements right. You're gonna look great. Yeah, I just didn't want that cat to go to waste. Waste not, want not. All right. 
Marvin, do you think the cat's okay? It better be okay. That was a $5 million cat. What? Yeah, it was Goodman's valuable cat. Marvin, I hate when Goodman leaves his expensive things here for us to watch. Me too. I also hate it when Brooklyn guy leaves his catnip around Jeffy because he got into it again. Hey there. <gasps> Is the cat okay? Uh, no. It died during surgery. It died? Yeah, I'm sorry. On a related note, how you like my coat? That is a really nice coat. It's very white. Go ahead and feel it. Oh man, that is a soft coat. Oh, I know. It feels just like the cat. Yeah, because it is. What? The coat is the cat. You killed the cat and made a coat? No, the cat died during surgery and I made a coat out of it afterward. I Cruella deville the shit out of that cat. And I'm starting to see why she wanted 101 of those Dalmatians. That's sick! Thank you, I think the coat is pretty sick. No, as in you're sick in the head! No, it only would have been sick if I killed the cat to make the coat. I killed the cat out of anger and then made the coat after it was already dead. That's wrong! What, you want all that fur to go to waste and cremate it? No, this is much better. I'm gonna be warm in the winter and hot in the summer. Damn. Oh my god, Goodman's gonna kill me. Who's that? The owner of the cat. Oh, well I did him a favor because that cat was one mean, mean lima bean. Oh no, that's probably Goodman. I don't want to answer the door. I'll answer it. Anything to show off my new coat. Hello? Hey Marvin, here's the hundred thousand dollars I was gonna give you for watching my cat. Wait, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm not Marvin. Marvin's upstairs. Oh, okay. But damn, I love your coat. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. Yeah, I'll give you $100,000 for your coat. Damn, okay. Yeah, sure. Great. Hey, Marvin. Oh, hey, Goodman. I was going to pay you $100,000 for watching my cat, but the guy who answered your door was wearing this amazing coat, and I thought it would look stunning on you. So instead of giving you $100,000, I bought this coat for you. Y you bought this coat? I sure did. Now, all you got to do is just give me my cat back, and I'll be on my way. Uh... No, Marvin, this coat's for you. Just give me my cat back and you can keep the coat. Yeah... I don't understand why you're doing this, Marvin. I just want my cat back, so just give me the cat back and stop playing these games. I gave you your cat back. Your, that, that's your cat. Your cat's the coat. What the... Hey, Nanny! What do you call a nose? It's 12 inches long. What? A foot. <laughs> Very funny, Jeffy. Dang, can you go in your store and buy me a Ruma Cube? What? A Ruma Cube. Are you saying Rubik's Cube? No, a Ruma Cube. Jeffy, it's pronounced Rubik's Cube. No, it's a Ruma Cube. Marvin, you know what he means. Stop agitating him. I want him to say it right. Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. I'm not going to buy it for you unless you say it right. It's a Ruma Cube. Go buy me a Ruma Cube. Marvin, just go to the store and get it for him. Okay, fine, Jeffy. I'm going to go buy you a Rubik's Cube. Ruma Cube. Okay, there's the Rubik's Cube that Jeffy wanted. All right, Jeffy, here's your Rubik's Cube. Dang, hey, that's not a Ruma Cube! That's not what I wanted! Yes, it is, Jeffy! That's a Rubik's Cube! You're just saying it wrong! I never said I wanted a Rubik's Cube! I want Ruma Cube! Aw, Marvin, he said Rubik's Cube right! Wait, so you're not saying Rubik's Cube? No, I want a Ruma Cube! What the hell is a Ruma Cube? You don't know what Ruma Cube is? No, I'm gonna take you to the store so you can show me! Great! All right, Jeffy, show me. Show me what it is that you wanted. Right here, Daddy. Rumacoob. Rumacoob. I thought you were saying Rubik's Cube wrong. Why, Daddy? Because I'm slow? Yes. <laughs> so, Jeffy, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Do you even know what it is? Yeah, it's the original Rumacoob. Brings people together. Classic. Okay, Jeffy, if I get this for you, you're not getting anything else, okay? All right, Daddy. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, let's go. All right. Squishy AF. Dang, dang, dang! What, Jeffy? Can I have one of these? No, I'm already getting you the Rumacoob. Well, I want both. Choose one, Jeffy. Rumacoob or whatever that is. Rumacoob. All right, come on, let's go. What is that, Marvin? Rumacoob. You mean there's something actually called Rumacoob? I've never heard of it in my entire life. See, I told you guys I wasn't saying Rubik's Cube. Jeffy, did you gain some weight? B says what? I know you ain't talking about my fupa with your ass. Jeffy, it does look like you're getting fatter. It's called a thyroid problem, okay? I'm going through a little bit of a hormonal change, and so it's causing me to gain weight. Or maybe I'm pregnant from when you screwed me in the store and said I couldn't get a second toy. Jeffy, language. I'm sorry, Mother. I'm just going through all these hormones as a teenager and it is making me gain weight and I'm a little bit sensitive about it. Jeffy, do you have something in your shirt? Strong maybe. Let me see. Oh yeah? Birth? Huh? <laughs> Jeffy, did you steal this from Target? No, nope. it jumped in my shirt and ran away. So you stole it? No, Daddy, you bought me that forever ago. Baby, did we buy this from a long time ago? I don't know, Marvin. He has so many toys. And you have a lot of toys too, Mommy. I heard you playing with Buzz Lightyear and Woody the other day because I kept hearing Buzz Lightyear go, bzzz. I don't know. 
Okay, Jeffy, so you promised me you didn't steal this. Strong, maybe. Jeffy? Um, no, I didn't steal it. You bought me that forever ago. Okay, are you ready to play Rumacube? Honestly, Daddy, I don't know what Rumacube is. I just heard someone talk about it the other day, and I said, I want that. And now that I see it, I don't want that. I'm actually gonna go chill on this in my room. Baby, do you want to play Rumacube? Okay, Marvin. Uh, squishy AF! Mm, 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 mm. I'm so glad I stole it. Ah! It's so squishy and soft. I'm gonna lay on it. Oh, this would be so amazing if I could have my entire bed covered in these. If I could go back to the store and get enough of them to cover my entire bed, that would be so. Pee pee. Daddy, we gotta go back to the store! So, baby, how do we play this game? I don't know, Marvin. I just followed the pictures. Dang, dang, dang! We have to go back to Target right now. Why? We, uh, we, 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 we don't have Cheerios. Yes, we do downstairs. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Nope. Je come on. Nope. I'll show you, Jeffy. Nope. Come, come on. Look, Jeffy, there's Cheerios right there. That box is empty. No, it's not. Check. It's barely full. No, Jeffy, there's so many Cheerios in there. Well, those are stale. No, they're not. Just eat them. What? What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Whoops. No, we're... I need to go to Target. Ugh. All right, Jeffy, we'll go get your new Cheerios. Come on. No, Jeffy, no. We're going to the cereal aisle. No toys. All right, Daddy. Give me one second. Hmm, what kind of Cheerios does Jeffy like? All right, Daddy, I'm ready to go. What kind of Cheerios do you like, Jeffy? Oh, um, it doesn't matter. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'll just grab these. All right. All right, Jeffy, there's your Cheerios. Go eat them. Oh, I'm not really hungry right now, Daddy. I'm actually kind of full. What? Jeffy, do you have something under your shirt again? No, this is my belly. I just didn't shave today. Oh, birth. Jeffy, did you steal this one? Daddy, I am not a thief, and I'm getting tired of you accusing me of stealing things. You bought me this forever ago. Then why was it under your shirt? Because I like the way it feels on my nipples. There, I said it. Is that what you wanted to hear, Daddy? My potty mouth? It just seems weird that it keeps being under your shirt. Well, leave me be. Something weird's going on. What's it? <laughs> Squishy! Oh, this is the life. Now, if I could just get like one, two, three, fifty more, then that would be complete. My entire collection on my bed. But I can't fit fifty of them underneath my shirt. I can only fit one at a time. So I have to take a lot more trips back to Target. Daddy! Daddy! Smell my breath. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jeffy, why is your breath like shit? Don't tell anyone, Danny, but I got a chocolate factory in my pantry and just keep producing chocolate. Yummy. You've been eating your own poop, Jeffy? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God, you have to go brush your teeth, Jeffy. Well, I would brush my teeth, Danny, but I don't have any toothpaste. You have toothpaste it's in the bathroom. Well, I took that toothpaste and I squeezed it all in the toilet. Why? Because the toilet smelled bad and I was trying to clean it and I wanted it to smell like mints. You did not do that, Jeffy. I did, Daddy. I'm a stinker. Oh, my God, I'm going to go check. Jeffy! Huh? You really poured all the toothpaste in the toilet? Yeah, that or we got a Smurf shitting in our toilets. But you might want to call the police if that's the case. Now we're all out of toothpaste. Darn, looks like we need to go to Target. Oh, come on, Jeffy. <coughs> no, Jeffy, no toys. We're only here for toothpaste. Okay, Danny, I'll meet you over there in a minute. Hey, you like Squishmallows, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. I see you lifting your shirt up. Uh, you trying to rub your wiener on it? Because uh, between me and you, it feels pretty good. But anyway, yeah, these things are really popular. I mean, they sound like hotcakes. We just can't keep them on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, you have a good day. All right, Jeffy, here's your toothpaste. Go brush your teeth. All right, I'll get right on that. Jeffy, what is that? It's my big rainbow winner. No, Jeffy, it's one of those stuffed animal things. Don't do that, Daddy. I might spit. Jeffy! Jeffy, did you steal this from the store? No, Daddy, it's my package. I was born with it. I'm a shower, not a grower. Jeffy, you keep coming up with new ones. Where are you getting these from? These are mine that I've always had. You bought all of these for me forever ago. Jeffy, go brush your teeth. All right, Daddy. No, you gotta grab the toothpaste, Jeffy. I'll use the toothpaste that's in the toilet. Yeah, hell yeah. Now we're cooking. Squish, squish, squish. This is actually gonna take a while. Montage time. Danny, we ran out of toilet paper. Target. Daddy, Target. I did it. My whole bed's covered in squish meadows. Yeah. 
Oh, man, baby, I'm so tired. I'm sure, Marvin. You've been to Target, like... 30 times tonight. Well, Jeffy kept asking for stuff. I know, Marvin. Just make a list before you go next time. Hey! What? Uh, but Target guy, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's me. I'm mad. How long were you here for? Long enough. Where's your son? I need to talk to him. He's in his room, I think. Well, he's about to be in jail because he's been shoplifting from my Target. What shoplifting? What did he shoplift? We had an entire aisle of Squishmallows, and I thought they were selling like hotcakes. And then I go to look at the sales record, and it turns out we haven't sold any at all because your son has been stuffing them in his shirt and walking out the door. I knew he was doing that. Oh, so you knew he was doing that? That's why you kept bringing him back to Target? What? No, he was distracting me by asking for single items at a time. Okay, yeah, well, your son's going to jail now. Uh oh don't, he, you don't have to arrest him. How about I just pay for him? Okay, yeah, that'll be $1,000. $1,000 well, for stuffed animals? Well, look, man, I don't make the trends. In the 80s, it was Beanie Babies. In the 90s, it was Furbies. Now it's Squishmallows. It's what people want. Well, I'm not going to pay $1,000 for stuffed animals. Well, we also accept ducks. We accept ducks and we accept goats. You can pay in livestock. We use the barter system at Target. What? I can pay with live animals? Yeah, if you got live animals, you can pay with that. They, they actually do that at Target. Look it up. You can actually pay with live animals at Target. Go ahead. I'll give you a second to Google it. You idiot! Why would you actually believe that? Have you ever seen a duck at Target? No, where would they even put them? Come on, come on, do better. I mean, think about that. That's stupid, right? If you fell for that, subscribe. If you didn't fall for it, like. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and do both. It's, it's January. We're starving over here. So, all right, listen, how about we just return them? No, 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 that's, that's not going to work. See, people do unspeakable things to Squishmallows. Like, they, they rub their wiener on them. Not, not me. Like, I would, I would never do that. But, like, people who have done it say that it feels really good. But I, I wouldn't know because I, I, haven't, I haven't done that. So, like, you can't return them, though, because nobody wants a wiener mellow. Okay, listen, I'm sure Jeffy hasn't done that to him yet. So how about we go check them? Mm, okay, we can check them. But I'm going to smell them, and if I smell wiener, you owe me $1,000. Okay. What? Look at all these Squishmallows! Oh, God, I'm so mad. I mean, I knew he stole them, but see him all here like this? God, it makes me so mad. Why does your face look like that? Because I'm mad. This is my mad face I make when I'm really mad. Jeffy, where are you? Where are her? Jeffy, did you steal all these Squishmallows? Mm-mm. Liar! I see them all right here! Jeffy, we know you stole them. Why'd you steal them? Because I wanted them. <sighs> Can you smell them to make sure they don't smell like wiener? Oh, yeah. No wiener. Okay, no wiener. Wiener and poo poo, and I see the poo poo right here. Jeffy, did you wipe your butt with this? Oh, why? Because it felt good on my ass crack. Jeffy, you're supposed to use toilet paper. Well, this is better than toilet paper. Have you ever seen those toilet paper commercials? They're called Charmin, and it's a big bear, and he has crusty crumbs on his butthole. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Those are weird. Like, the papa bears get a poopy butthole, so the baby bear has to be like, hey, you idiot, use Charmin instead, so the papa bear can wipe his butt good. It's weird. Okay, so all the other ones don't smell like wiener, right? No, I think they're fine. They even got the tags on them. So the only one I have to pay for is this one. How much is this one? It's like 40 bucks or one pigeon. I don't have live animals to pay with. All right, 40 bucks it is then. Okay, so I'll pay you the 40 bucks for this one. Now I just need to give your son a stern talking to about stealing. Hey, stealing is wrong. You know, if you steal again, we're going to cut your hand off like they almost did in Aladdin. You got it? Yeah. That's right. All right, now load these into my car. My wiener is so itchy. All right, Jeffy, let's start loading these in the car. Did you learn your lesson today? Um, I think so? What was it? Um, don't steal and only use these to wipe your butt. No. And the first student to get the answer right will get a Hershey kiss. Uh, when I saw the board say kiss quiz, I thought we were going to practice making out with each other. And Junior was going to be my partner. No, my partner was going to be Penelope. No way, Junior. Dude, we're always partners. What are you talking about? I want to kiss Penelope. Guys, it's not even about kissing. Well, I bet I can answer more questions than you, Penelope. No way, four eyes. Well, you also wear glasses. Shut up, Cross. All right, first question. Who invented the telephone? Alexander, Alexander Graham Bell. God damn it. Ha! Correct, Penelope. Here's your kiss. I got the first kiss, Cody. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get the next one. All right, next question, Cross. How many stars are on the original American flag? Thirteen, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Give me that. Correct, Cody. Here's your kiss. <laughs> Ooh, look at my kiss. Oh, let me get in there. Oh. All right, next question. What was Abraham Lincoln's nickname? Oh, I got this. The Free the Slave Man. No. Honest Abe. That was George Washington. No, that's Honest George. Oh, uh, no, you're thinking of Curious George. Correct, Junior. Here's your kiss. Ooh, a kiss. All right, next question. 
Man, I have so many kisses. Well, I have more kisses, and some of mine had nuts in them. Mine have nuts, too. Well, I don't have any nuts in mine. Wait a minute. This isn't fair, teacher. I haven't gotten any kisses. All right, Jeffy. Since you don't have a kiss yet, I'll give you a chance to win the last one. And this question is only for you, so you're the only one allowed to answer it. What year did the War of 1812 happen? Now, this is a trick question. What year did the War of 1812 happen? 1812, take away the 4, add a 6, 2004! Screw it, here you go. Yummy! Alright, Crafts, that does it for today. Go home and enjoy your kisses. Hey, Daddy! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was great, Daddy. The teacher gave me a kiss right here. What? Yeah, I answered the question right, so he gave me a kiss right here. Marvin, we have to call the cops! Well, hold on, Jeffy. This is a very serious crime you're accusing your teacher of. Are you sure he gave you a kiss? Yeah, he gave me a kiss and he gave everyone else in the class a kiss when they answered the question right. Are there any girls in your class, Jeffy? Yeah, Mommy. This one girl got a bunch of kisses from the teacher. Oh, God! I'm calling the cops right now. Hold on. Hey there. Somebody call the whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. We did. Oh, good. So what's going on? Well, we want to report a very serious crime. Oh, no. Is somebody giving away toasters for outrageously low prices? No. Oh, well, my wife says we need a toaster, and I thought maybe you would know where I could get a cheap toaster. Well, my son came home from school today, and he says that his teacher gave him a kiss in his private area. Whoa! Whoa, kid, is this true? Yeah, he gave me a kiss right here! Oh my god, we are dealing with a very serious predator here. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. He gave everyone in the class kisses. Oh, oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Aren't you in the same class as my daughter? Who's your daughter? Penelope? Oh yeah, she got the most kisses with nuts. Oh, oh, Jesus, oh! God, no, my poor baby. Uh, it's, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I, I have to go call her. I have to call her. What do you want, Dad? Okay, Penelope, this is very important. Did your teacher give you a kiss in class today? Yeah, he gave me a bunch of them. Oh, oh, God, no, it's true. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go arrest him right now. Order, 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 order. Today, order. We will be hearing the case of the school teacher, Jackie Chu, who is accused of giving kisses to his students. Ugh. Prosecutor, tell me what's going on. Order. Well, Your Honor, I'm here today representing all of the kids who got a kiss from the teacher. My daughter is one of them. Penelope, tell the judge what happened to you. Um, well, today in class we had a kiss quiz, and every time we answered a question right, the teacher would give us kisses, oh. and sometimes they had nuts. Oh, oh, God, my poor baby! Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Mr. Chu, you are being accused of a most heinous crime. Is any of this accurate to what actually happened? Yes, it is all true. We had a quiz, and if the student answers the question right, I give them a kiss, and sometimes with nuts. You're a monster! Order, 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 order in my court, order! Mr. Chu, you are a very sick man. Now tell me, how many students did he give kisses to? Well, Your Honor, five students so far that we know of! That is a lot of children. Mr. Chu, what made you think it was appropriate to do such a thing to children, causing them years of psychological harm? I thought I would give them an incentive to want to learn, because every time they got the question right, they'd be like, Jackie Chu, give me a kiss, give me a kiss. So I kept giving out kisses, and then sometimes they'd say, give me some with nuts. So then I'd give kisses with nuts in it, and so I just kept giving kisses and nuts. As your attorney, I would advise you to stop talking. Mr. Chu, I am sensing no remorse for your actions. Just handing out kisses as if they were candy. Exactly. Uh, Your Honor, may I have a moment with my client, please? Now listen here, you practically just admitted guilt. We're screwed. But I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was give the kids kisses. The kids like the kisses. Oh, I never should have become a public defender. Mr. Chu, I already know you're guilty. Now I just need to know how guilty. Prosecutor, send in another one of the victims. Uh, Cody, can you come in here, please? Yeah, what's up? Uh, the judge wants to ask you a few questions. Now, young man, how many kisses did you receive from Mr. Chu? Oh, I received a lot of kisses, but that's because I'm smart. I received more kisses than you, Cody. Yeah, well, that's probably because you're a girl and he felt bad for you. No, uh and at least mine had more nuts. Oh, no, I definitely had more nuts. No, you didn't. Oh, God. Order, 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 order. 
Mr. Chu, I know this is going to be very graphic to ask, but how did you select which students received nuts with their kiss? It was random, whatever my hand decided to pull out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mr. Chu, I am already planning on giving you the death penalty, but just to be sure beyond a reasonable doubt, Prosecutor, send in one more victim. Jeffy, can you come in here, please? Hey, everybody! What doing? Now, Jeffy, is it true that you received a kiss from Mr. Chu? I did. And how many kisses did you receive? Just one. Hmm, now that's interesting. Penelope, you received multiple kisses, right? Yeah. And Cody, you received multiple kisses? Yeah. But, Jeffy, you only received one kiss. Yeah, I think it was a pity kiss because everyone else is smarter than me, and so they were just getting more and more kisses, and so I think the teacher felt bad, so he gave me a kiss. Mr. Chu, we have now heard from three of your victims. Do you feel bad at all for what you've done? No, I don't regret anything. I've been giving the kids in my classes kisses for years. The kids love the kisses. They especially love the kisses with the nuts in it. Big nut kiss. I quit. That's it, Your Honor. Fry this son of a bitch. I don't know what I did wrong. Mr. Chu, you are clearly unable to tell right from wrong since you do not see what you did wrong, and that makes you a danger to society. Prosecutor, let me hear your closing statements before I bang this gavel as hard as I can and yell guilty at the top of my lungs. Your Honor, I'm a father. Not a very good one, but I am a father. So today when my daughter came home from school and said, Daddy, Daddy, I got the most kisses from the teacher. I just couldn't believe it. Well, I don't think that's true. I think I actually get the most kisses. Shut up, Cody! It's not a contest, kids. What happened to you today was wrong. That man is sick. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't good to have that many kisses before lunch. I thought they were sweet, and at least nuts had protein. Oh, Jesus. Your Honor, we're dealing with some serious Ted Bundy shit. This man is sick, and the fact that he's been doing it for this many years and the kids are just now coming forward, there's no telling how many lives he's ruined. Your Honor, I'm begging you, bang that gavel, bang the shit out of that gavel, and send this man to the electric chair where he belongs. I have had enough! Guilty! Guilty! Mr. Chu, guilty! That is what you are! I sentence you to death by electric chair! No, by two electric chairs! No, by an entire electric bed! With an electric toothbrush! Before you go to the electric bed! And then electric pillows, and electric sheets, and an electric bedtime story! Yes! You will be killed by electric bed and bedtime story tomorrow at midnight. Pay-per-view, $49.95. Then all of the money will go to the victims' families. Guilty. Yes, justice. Honey, we got justice. What the hell is happening? Why is he going to die for giving us kisses? You're too young to understand, but someday you will. Come on, kids. Oh, no. Come on, you, you monster. Isn't this silly, folks? I was just the lawyer, and now I'm the bailiff. Isn't TV silly? Come on, let's get you to your cell. All right, class, my name is Brooklyn Guy. I'm going to be a new teacher since your last teacher was a monster, and now he's going to die. So I'm going to be teaching you until we can find a better replacement. Are you going to give us kisses when we get questions right? No, 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 kids. What he did to you was wrong, okay? There's not going to be any more kisses. You kids are going to need therapy to get over that. But I see some kisses on the desk right there. What are you talking about? What? Uh, huh. Um, what, Hershey's kisses? Almond? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, class, well, was your teacher giving you these kisses or kisses with his mouth? The candy, Dad. Yeah, the candy. Yeah, I wish it was with his mouth. Oh, dear God, kids. We're about to kill an innocent man. Uh, I have to go. Any last words before we fry you? I didn't know it was wrong to give kids kisses. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't pull it, don't pull it. Uh, Mr. Chu, I have a question for you. What kind of kisses were you giving the students? Sometimes they had nuts, and sometimes they didn't have nuts. No, no, I know that, but, like, what did the kisses look like? They were little chocolate candies with aluminum foil wrapped around them. Oh, my God. Oh, get him out of there. I'm an idiot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, go. Hey!
Hey, you messed me up, Daddy. I was trying to go for 40000 You only had eleven. Well, I gotta start somewhere. Yeah, Marvin, why did you mess him up? Because he got in our face with a boing, boing, boing. I was trying to watch TV. He was being annoying. <sighs> There's someone at the door. Well, I'm gonna go find my ball and start over. Hello? Hi, I'm Steve Steinberger, and I'm representing Geico Insurance. I'm here to give you this check for $10,000 for your son's car accident. Why are you giving us $10,000 for a car accident? Well, his car was totaled, and they valued it at $10,000, so here you go. So, what can I spend this money on? Whatever you want. Uh, okay. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Baby, baby, baby. Hey, guys, you messed me up again. Baby, we got a $10,000 check. For what? For Jeffy's car accident. When did Jeffy get in a car? Accident. Remember he hit that tree? Yeah. Oh yeah! So they gave us $10,000 because that's what they valued Jeffy's car at. I get $10,000? No, we get $10,000. Marvin, I think we should use that check to get Jeffy a new car. Jeffy does not deserve a new car because he crashed the last one. You're not getting me a new car? You guys suck! So I think we should use this money to go on a vacation to Hawaii. No, Marvin! I'm taking this check right now to get Jeffy a new car. No, 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 but... but Hawaii. Okay, let me try this. One, two, three. Marvin, you gotta come outside and see this car. Baby, you ruined it. I was going for 40,000. I was so close. <sighs> okay, Marvin, this is the car I got Jeffy. Wait, you got him a convertible? Yeah, Marvin, I thought it'd be nice during the summer for him to put the top down and go to the beach. He's not supposed to drive to the beach, baby. I don't even trust him to go to school. This car is supposed to drive to school and come right back. That's it. Marvin, he's 18 years old. Let him have some fun. He has the brain of a five-year-old. Marvin, what if he takes a girl out on a date? <sighs> Look, that's going to happen. Marvin! Look, just put the top up, and we're not going to tell him the top can go down. Fine. Jeffy, get in here. Hey! Jeffy, there's a surprise outside. Come on. Okay. All right, Jeffy. Here's your new car. You got me a new car? It's a PT Cruiser. A PP Cruiser? Hoes are going to be cruising on my PP when they see this bad bitch. Jeffy, language. Now, Jeffy, here's the two rules, okay? Do not wreck this car. If you wreck this car, you're not getting another one. And do not spray paint it. Okay, don't spray paint it. Got it. <laughs> And done! The Jeffy Ho Wagon 2.0, aka the PP Cruiser, is done! I know I said I wouldn't spray paint it, but I don't give a shit. Now let's go get some hose! Alright, let's crank this baby up. Nah, listen to that baby purr. Oh, what's this button do? Wow, the top can come off? That means hose tops are gonna come off when they see this car. When I drive by, they'll just be able to jump right in. So let's go get some hose, yeah. Okay, Simmons, this power line fell down during a storm and now it's a hazard, so we need to move it. All right, well, let's move it. Simmons, Simmons, no! Simmons, are you okay? Oh. What happened? You got electrocuted, Simmons. It's a power line. Oh, I guess that's what the power word means in power line. Yeah, so we have to go kill the power so we can move this thing. All right. Oh, man, I love this car so much. It's so awesome. I'm ready for the hose. Hose, where are you? Jeffy's coming. Okay, Simmons, the power's cut, so it should be safe to touch now. Oh, my, you all right? <laughs> Just kidding. Little electrician joke. Ah, uh, shocking. Uh, what's this joke of doing? Hey, asshole, get out of the road. We're trying to fix a power line. I'm going to go give him a piece of my mind. Hey, jerk off, you can't park here. Uh, uh, um, sir, you appear to be missing your head. Where to go? Oh, oh, God, no. Oh, my God, how did that happen? Uh, oh. Oh, the power line. It, it, it knocked your head off. Uh, jinkies! Simmons! 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 Oh my god, Simmons! Simmons, there's a car with the head and a decapitation for the power line and I'm getting that other car! Hey, calm down! So what you're saying is the power line decapitated the driver of that car over there? Uh-huh! Well, we turned the power off. How did it do that? Well, the power's not the problem, Simmons. The line was still on the road. Look, I have to get my doctor outfit on. Marvin, do you think Jeffy's enjoying his new car? Well, we haven't heard from him since we gave it to him, so ho, 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 Merry Christmas to me. What? Uh, hey, guys. Doctor, what are you doing here? Uh, well, it's about Jeffy. He was in an accident. He wrecked his car already? Oh, uh, no, the car's fine. Thank God. Marvin, is Jeffy okay? <laughs> well, let's just say I wouldn't lose my head over it, because he already did. What? Oh, maybe this will help me explain. Uh, you, you see this little Lego guy here? This is your son before the accident. 
and this is your son now. He lost his head? Yep, he was beheaded. <laughs> beheaded? <laughs> what happened? Well, as far as I can tell, he was driving his car with the top down, and there was a power line that was hanging too low in the road, and it cut his head off. Why was there a power line hanging too low? I was trying to fix it. It fell down during a storm. Well, did you have any caution tape to warn people? That is a good idea for next time. Wait, did you not put cones in the road to close the road? That is also a good suggestion for next time. Is the power line still hanging low? Yes, it is. Well, what if it happens to someone else? I think we should focus on your son's beheading and not uh, the other people that could happen to. Wait, is my son dead? Oh, no, no, no. He, he's fine for now. Uh, you see this cooler right here? Yeah, his head's in there. That's how I'm preserving it. Wait. He's still alive? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk to him? I can take it out for a minute. I think it'll be fine. He can still talk? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me get him. What? Okay, here's Jeffy. Oh, my God! Jeffy! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Daddy. Uh, uh, what doing? He can't talk. No, obviously he can't talk. He's a severed head, idiot. You said he could talk. I was joking. I was just trying to lighten the mood. So what do we do now? Well, now we have to find a body donor so I can take the brain out of this head and put it in a new body. Well, why can't you just put his head on his old body? Well, I couldn't save the head and the body because the cooler's not big enough. So I just decided to save the head because it has the brain in it. The body's still sitting in the car and the heated seats are on, so it's pretty much toast by now. But to be honest, I don't even need the head. I really just need the brain, so get that out of there. Oh. Okay, there it is. Just toss that in the cooler. Oh, man, I forgot my sandwich is in there. Hold on. It's a Toiki club. That's what Toikis sound like. Screw the sandwich! How long is the brain gonna be okay on ice? It'll be fine for a while, but the ice is melting, so we should probably put it in the freezer. Okay, well, I have a freezer. Okay, well, let me get the brain back out of there. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Marvin, go long. Well, it was a pizza. Is that a brain? Why would you throw it? I told you to go long. You didn't go long. Well, we have to get the brain. Hurry. Chef Baby, did you see a brain? Yeah, it went that way. Outside. Uh, do you see the brain anywhere? I don't know, man. It could be anywhere. Wait, look. It's right there. Ooh, okay, I'll get it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Look, there's a car coming. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Is it okay? Uh, it got run over. Uh, but grab it, grab it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Did you guys find the brain? Yeah, but it got run over. Is it okay? Well, there might be some brain damage. But Jeffy already had that. Marvin! And it is pretty dirty, so he might have a dirty mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Can you just try to clean it off? Okay, yeah, good idea. <sighs> I'm blowing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just put it in the freezer? Oh, yeah, 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 I should do that. <laughs> Listen to the sound it makes when I squeeze it. Brain fart. <laughs> Put it in the freezer! Okay, yeah, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't get a brain freeze. <laughs> okay, okay, I think I'm all out of brain jokes. So what do we do now? Uh, now we have to find a new body for his brain, so let's brainstorm and think of something. <laughs> okay, I guess I did have one more. Oh, man. Can you just shut up? So will any body's body work? Yes, any body's body will work. Not everybody's body, but any body's body as long as they died recently and their body was put on ice. Well, how are we going to find a body that just died and was put on ice? Well, I do have a wife I don't like and an ex and a cooler. Well, would an animal's body work? Well, you're not getting my body because I'm an animal, <laughs> a party animal. <laughs> Thank you. That one was not even good. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, I love the news! Breaking news, okay? Cecilia the seal choked on an eel and died at Seal World today. They have froze her body on ice to preserve her in hopes to bring her back to life in the future. Oh my god! Cecilia the seal died? I never got to see her, Marvin. Wait, can't we put Jeffy's brain inside that seal's body? Because they, they put the seal on ice. You know how hard it is to break into the morgue at Seal World? It's like trying to break into the White House. It's hard? Well, yeah, the president lives there. They can't just let everybody in. No, I meant Seal World. Oh, well, it's hard to break in there because seals have really soft fur that people sell for a lot of money. That's why people always club them to death and steal their fur. Seals don't have fur. Yes, they do. They ain't slick, Jack. Wait, I thought seals were slippery, like rubber. Oh, yeah? Does 46,500 fibers per square centimeter sound slippery to you, Jack? Wait, why do you keep calling me Jack? I don't know. I'm just trying it out. Okay, so you're telling me you can't just walk into Seal World and tell them that you're a vet and say, hey, I want to inspect Cecilia's body, and then you steal it? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could try that. Okay, fine. <sighs> <clears throat> I gotta go to Seal World to steal Cecilia the Seal so we can seal this deal. But let's be real. Can I really steal Cecilia the Seal? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Okay, I got Cecilia the Seal's body, but it was not easy. I had to be like SEAL Team 6 to get in there. 
They killed Osama bin Laden. For real? For real? Stop it. Only I can make seal jokes. I'm the real deal. I was just being sealy. <laughs> well, shut up. Wait, what, what's that? Oh, oh, hold on. The Washington Wizards traded Bradley Beal to the, to the, to the Phoenix Suns? Hmm, interesting. Is my shirt teal? No, it's more of an aquamarine or a seafoam green. Can you focus on putting Jeffy's brain inside the seal? Yeah, sure thing. Hold on. Let, let me just peel the scalp back and get a feel for what we're dealing with. Put the brain inside the seal! Okay. Okay, the surgery was a success, so Jeffy should be alive as a seal. Hey, Jeffy. How are you doing? Jeffy? Wake up, Jeffy. Is he okay? Jeffy? Um... He's dead. What? Dead? You said the surgery worked! Well, it did, but you see, his brain did get run over by a car. Jeffy's dead forever?! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I wasted your time. Wait, time! 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 What, what, what? Look, I have this Apple Watch time machine belt right here. I can go back in time and stop Jeffy from being beheaded! What? So you, you can go back in time and this whole time you didn't tell us? Well, yeah, it's like a monthly subscription. You gotta pay like every time you do it. It's a real pain in the ass. So why are you willing to go back in time and fix this? Well, because I feel bad because it's my fault he got beheaded. I should have put a cone down like you said. Okay, so you can go back in time and stop him from ever getting in that wreck? Yeah, I can, but I gotta warn you, if I do this, you guys are gonna stop existing because this timeline will never have happened. That's so scary! I don't want to fade away. Well, I can take one person with me. I want to go. What about me? Bros before hoes. <laughs> Where are we? We're a minute before Jeffy gets beheaded. Look over there. That's me and my partner Simmons working on the power line. Now you go stop Jeffy from driving. I'm gonna go kill my past self so there's not two of me running around. Okay. Wait, is that, is that Jeffy? Jeffy! Jeffy, stop it! Daddy, what are you doing in your road? You wanna come get hosed with me? Jeffy, you, you spray painted your car, Jeffy! Yeah? I told you not to! Well, Daddy, when are you gonna learn? I don't give a shit. Wait, Jeffy, scoot over. You're grounded. Oh, I'm driving. Man. We're going home. Okay, Simmons, the power is shut off, so no more shockiness. Okay, I'm gonna turn the power back on, and I'm gonna crank the voltage super high, so when my past self pretends to get electrocuted, he really does get electrocuted. Okay, Simmons, the power's cut, so it should be safe to touch now. I don't like it, mate. You're playing a joke on me. Mate? Mate, you all right? Mate? You all right? Mate? Oh no! He doesn't have a pulse! He's dead! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh yes, he died! I'm gonna go cheer Simmons up. <laughs> oh my! Why'd you have to die? Looks like somebody needs a doctor. <gasps> Mate, you're alive, but you just died right there! No, that was just a robot clone of me that I made. Oh, that's brilliant! You think you can make one for me? No, but let's go get some Applebee's! Alright! Marvin? Where'd you go? <sighs> I'm back, baby. Marvin, where did you go? All right, Danny, I did it. You killed my old self? I did. Oh, thank you so much. Shibby! Patrick, get in here. It's time for dinner. I used it as toilet paper and I tried to flush it down the toilet so now it's stuck. Patrick, we've talked about this. T-shirts aren't toilet paper. Who's McDonald's is this? Can I have a french fry? Yes, Patrick, it's your dinner. You got me McDonald's? That's crazy! Chicken nuggets! <laughs> Mommy, look, this one's shaped like the state of Florida. We should sell it on eBay for a million billion dollars. Okay, Patrick, I also got you a milkshake. A milkshake? And it's purple? How'd they even do that? Okay, you eat your dinner, I'll be in the other room. I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> My milkshake! Grimace! <laughs> Shut the hell up and tell me what happened. I gave my son McDonald's, I left the room, I came back and found him like this! Yeah, likely story, liar! What? I didn't do this! Oh, sure you didn't, murderer. Simmons, take her away! All right, man, you're coming with me. Hello, sir. Hey, Susan, I just got done talking to the murderer. What do we got? Child found dead, mother still alive. They were the only two in the house. Yep, she definitely did it. Yeah, she didn't like him. She wanted to go out and party, so she killed him. The child's shirt was also clogging the toilet, sir, but I didn't notice until after I peed. Yeah, she probably strangled him with the shirt and tried to flush it down the toilet. Too bad we can't use it as evidence now that you peed on it. There goes our evidence, right down the drain. Any fingerprints on the kid? I found ten fingerprints, sir, but they were all his own. Hmm, run those anyway, just in case. She might have touched him only on his 
his fingers. What's this purple shit? Grimace milkshake, sir. Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought it was his blood and maybe I was going colorblind. Or like maybe he was an alien or something. Still, what a waste. Well, I guess there's no use crying over spilled milk. Shake. Good one, sir. Sir, I do have to tell you, this is the 700th reported death with the Grimace milkshake found nearby. Oh, that's just a coincidence. It's a popular milkshake. You know, if everybody in the world has one of these, some of those people are going to die, and then they're going to drop the milkshake right next to their dead body. But sir, you don't think there's a chance that the milkshake's been poisoned? Oh no, I know Grimace personally. He would never poison his own milkshakes. Wait, you know Grimace? Yeah, we went to high school together. We go way back. Love Grimace. Big teddy bear of a guy. I mean, I don't know what the hell he is, but he's great. What, you don't believe me? I'll call him. Yes, call him! Question him! Okay, you don't believe me, I'll call Grimace. Okay, Susan, it's ringing. Look, I'll even put it on speaker for you. Hello? Hey there, Grimace, it's me, Brooklyn Guy. Oh, hey, buddy! Hey, happy late birthday, by the way. Sorry I didn't get you anything. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, we've been finding a lot of dead people next to your milkshakes. Yeah, maybe because it's my milkshake. Y yeah, it is your milkshake. Yeah, it is my milkshake. I are you on the toilet? Because it sounds like you're straining. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on the toilet. Die! Yeah, you really show that turd who's boss. Yeah, you little turd. That sounds more like a big one to me. You piece of shit. Yeah, I, I get it, Grimace. That's what you get for drinking my milkshake. Yeah, you really yell at your poops a lot. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, it's my milkshake for my birthday. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was your birthday. Yeah, my birthday. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you weren't going around, like, killing people or something. Me? Kill somebody? No. Oh. Oh, great. That's all I needed to hear, Grimace. Yeah, but just make sure no one else drinks my milkshake, because they might end up dead. Okay, well, that was weird, but it was nice talking to you, Grimace. Okay, bye! Bye. See, Susan, he said he didn't kill anybody. If you say so, sir. I do say so, and I also declare this case closed. Get this body out of here. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Well, guys, I went to McDonald's to get my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and I found out it's Grimace's birthday! Well, actually, his birthday was about a month ago, but they're still selling the meal, and it comes with a shake! Whoa, it's purple! Dude, that looks sick! What's it taste like? Oh, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Can I try it first before you spit in the straw? Yeah, I do like to spit right inside the straw. I don't know how straws work. Oh, I gotta try it next! Oh, I wanna try it first. Okay, get to sucking, and then you can try the shake. Shut up, Cody, I'm gonna try it. Wait, 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 wait! The Breaking news, MK! Okay? Hundreds of people all around the world are mysteriously dying after drinking the Grimace Shake from McDonald's. McDonald's is discontinuing the shake until they can figure out the cause. Oh no! No, Junior, didn't you hear the news? People are dying after they drink this. The only way you can die from drinking a milkshake is if you drink it too fast and get a brain freeze and go into a coma. Or if you get obesity from eating too much McDonald's. But not that many people would die from that. Dying from obesity, Cody? You know the obesity rate in America is 42.4%, so there's a chance that an obese person is drinking a milkshake that they're not supposed to be drinking, and they die. Well, I think they were saying there's an ingredient in the milkshake that's killing people. <gasps> there's poison in the milkshake? Well, maybe, yeah. Well, then you try it. I'm not going to drink poison. Well, it's your milkshake, dude. Yeah, you paid money for it. You should try it first. Well, you're the one who wanted it. Well, I don't want to try it. You try it, Joseph. I'm not trying that. You try it. Well, Cody, you try it. I don't want to drink it. Okay, then how are we going to find out who tries it first? Uh, How about we play a game of poker and whoever loses has to try it first? But really, an entire game of poker just to figure out who's going to drink this milkshake? But you don't know how to play poker? You're bad at poker? What? No, how about we just draw straws? Draw straws? Ooh, he don't know what he's talking about. Okay, Cody, we can draw straws. Come on, Joseph. Let's get some paper. Yeah, let's show his ass. What? All right, Cody. Check out my straw drawing. Nah, dude. Check out my straw drawing. Whoa, you drew a McDonald's straw? Yeah, I tried to stay on theme, you know? Oh man, you made a bendy straw? That's sick. All right, Cody. Where's your straw drawing? No, idiots. What? I didn't say draw pictures of straws. I meant that we all get straws, we cut the straws, we pull the straws, and whoever has the shortest straw loses. Nah, nah, nah. nah. You, you didn't, didn't say, say that. that. No, nah. you said draw straws, so we drew straws. Yeah, you changing the rules now, dude. But, but that's what drawing straws is. It's what you pull straws. You should have said pull straws. You said draw straws. So yeah. we grabbed paper and we drew straws. So where's your straw drawing? Well, I didn't draw one because you're not supposed so to. So you lose. Yeah, you, you lose. lose automatically. Yeah, we drew straws. You didn't draw a straw. So you lose. You got to drink the milkshake. No, yeah. but that's not how yeah, it works. Exactly work. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Guys, fine. I will drink the milkshake. Shit. Interesting. How's it taste? I like, like blueberry muffins. Does it taste like poison? No. Anthrax? No. I mean, I don't really feel bad. 
I don't really know why people are dying from this. <laughs> Is that Grimace? Come here, little bad guy, I'll kill whoa, you! Whoa, whoa, what's whoa. going on? He took a sip of my milkshake! I mean, I bought it. I'll kill you! Oh, hey, he didn't actually take a sip. What? Uh, yeah, no, I don't know how to use straws, so I just spit in the straw. Yeah, he's bad at sucking. Well, no, 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 I'm good at sucking, I just don't know how to use straws. If you're looking for a good time, holla at your boy. Then how do you know my milkshake tastes like blueberries? I, 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 I could smell it. Oh, yeah? Let me smell your breath. I don't brush my teeth. Let me smell your breath! Close. Yeah, I warned you. So why are you doing this, Grimace? Why are you so mad? Because I'm killing everybody that takes a sip of my milkshake after my birthday. Why? Because it's my milkshake! Not yours, not his, my milkshake! It's not that serious, bro. Yeah, it's just a milkshake. Well, just make sure you don't take a sip, because if you do, I'll kill you! Well, how will you know if we take a sip? Because I can hear it when people take a sip. You don't have ears. I have ears like a dolphin, so don't take a sip and throw it away! Okay, damn. I kind of want to take a sip of it now. Right? What? Guys, no! Well, he, he's not going to know. Well, he's killed hundreds of people. I mean, if he's killing people over a milkshake, he got to be good. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the quietest sip ever. Yeah, he's not even in the room, dude. Yeah, like the, the, the tiniest, quietest Shh. sip. Shh. Junior, look. How long is he going to stand there for? Bruh, that's goofy. I think we should just throw this thing away. No, we're going to keep it because I want to take a sip. He's not even that scary. Bet you won't take a sip of it in front of his face, dude. Bet. Give me the milkshake. But no, no, Junior, don't. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with that? I'm going to go throw it away. Okay, good. You better not take a sip. I might take a sip. No, you better not. Stop that. Stop that. Like that. Hey, stop it. Ah. Ah. I did not take a sip, I just put my mouth on the straw. Okay, good. You better not take another sip. <laughs> well, make it bubbles. Okay, good. Hey, give it to me. Well, how am I gonna do that? The door's closed. Open the door. What? Open the door. I think I'm just gonna throw it away. Okay, good. Okay, guys, I took a sip. No, you didn't, dude. When I was blowing bubbles, a little bit got in my mouth. What? But he's joking. Okay, good. <sighs> So what should we do? I think we should call the cops because he's just admitted to murder. Okay, and he's standing right there, so when the cops show up, they'll be able to get him right there. Yeah, yeah, so I'll go get my phone. Okay, guys, it's ringing. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, you know Grimace, the purple guy from McDonald's? Well, he's staring at me right now, and he told us that he killed a whole bunch of people for drinking his milkshake. Okay, listen, kid, I know Grimace personally, and I know he would never kill anybody. As a matter of fact, he told me that earlier tonight. Okay! Who was that? That was Grimace. Well, how do I know that's not one of your friends doing a Grimace impression? I'm the real Grimace, and if you take a sip of my milkshake, I'll kill you just like I killed those other 700 people! Did, did you hear him say all that? Well, yeah, that, that is kind of weird, but I don't know. Look, could you just please come over? Okay, fine, I'll be over there to take a look. Yeah, when you get here, the front door is going to be unlocked, so you can just come right upstairs. Hey, don't take a sip of that! Ugh, I hate responding to prank calls. Well, he said the front door would be open. Oh, it is. And up the stairs. Oh, hey, Grimace. Hey, buddy. What, what, what you doing? I'm just making sure these kids don't take a sip of my milkshake. Well, why shouldn't they drink your milkshake? Because it's my milkshake. Okay, well, I'm just going to go in and talk to them. Okay, well, make sure they don't take a sip of my milkshake. Okay, will do. Okay, good. Okay, kids, what's with the prank call? It's not a prank call. Grimace is really here. You just talked to him. Well, yeah, everything else you told me on the phone was true, but that doesn't mean Grimace is trying to kill people. Listen, officer, Grimace is trying to kill people. He's trying to kill anyone who takes a sip of his milkshake. That's ridiculous. Look, I'll show you. Hey, don't take a sip of that milkshake. I'll kill you. I'll rip your arms up and beat you to death with them, you bastard. I'll see you drunk, you pussy. Grimace, you good, buddy? Don't let them take a sip of my milkshake. Take a sip of the milkshake. Then he'll kill me! He's not gonna kill anybody, he's nice! So you promise if he tries to kill me, you'll shoot him? It's not gonna come to that, just take a sip. So if he tries to kill me, you'll shoot him, right? I'm a cop, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? Just take a sip. Okay, I will. Hey, Grimace, I'm gonna take a sip of the milkshake! Don't do it! Go ahead. shoot you, I'm so sorry. You saved my life, officer! Oh, Grimace! Oh, oh, God, his blood looks just like the milkshake. I'm really sorry you guys couldn't see that. It was just too graphic. Oh, but now you can safely drink your Grimace milkshakes in peace. He's not going to get you. And now you can check out the Grimace funeral shake that might be coming out. Oh, God. Yeah, and please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I, I had to kill my best friend, Grimace.
you want to do today? I don't know. Guys, 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 guess what I got? What? The first copy of Grand Theft Auto 6! No, you don't. Then how's it in my hand, huh, huh? It's probably fake. No, it's not, dude, it's legit! Where'd you get it from, Joseph? I got a friend whose friend's whose friend's dad works at Rockstar! No, he doesn't. Yes, he does, dude, I'm telling you, this is the first copy right here. Let me see. Guys, this is clearly just Call of Duty, and they scribbled over the name and wrote GTA 6 on the bottom in Sharpie. Dude, they had to disguise it. I have the first copy. They didn't want anybody else to know. Nah. Well, guys, we gotta play it. Yeah, it's in VR, dude. We have to play it. Nah, get this fake crap out of here. Well, where are you going, Cody? Wow, he's being really lame today. Yeah, he's such a loser, dude. Well, you said it's VR? It is VR, dude. Real graphics. Oh, okay, Jeffy, let's play it. Uh, Jeffy, you play it first, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put it in the system, dude. Okay, put it in the system. All right, Jeffy, put this headset on. <laughs> is it on right? Yeah, just put it on you. All right, dude, the game is in the system. How's the graphics? It looks like real life. <gasps> it looks like real life? Oh, man, this is so unreal. Oh, okay, so what do you see, Jeffy? I see you guys. Guys. They put us in the game? I'm a celebrity! They put us in the game! And I see the living room too. They put my living room in the game, Joseph? Oh, that's crazy! Oh, uh, Jeffy, run around and beat people up and steal cars. Yeah. I can do that? Yeah, it's just a video game. You're not gonna get in trouble for it. Okay. Where are you going, Jeffy? Wait, dude, where's Jeffy going? Wieners in my mouth. Wieners in my mouth. I'm about to have wieners in my mouth. No homo. No homo. No homo. No homo. No homo. A little homo. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, what are you doing in my kitchen? I'm playing Grand Theft Auto shit. <gasps> Wait, it came out? No way! Yeah, and it's on VR. Oh my god, that is crazy. How's the graphics? Oh, it's really realistic. You're even in the game. <gasps> I'm in the game? Nobody told me this. That's crazy. Oh man, can you beat up people? Oh, uh, let me see. <laughs> So realistic. Wow, this map is huge. I'm gonna go explore. Wow, check out these graphics. Oh, check out that car. I'm gonna see if I can steal it. Hey, get out of the road, shithead. Roads are for cars, dipshit. Hey, what are you doing? Ugh. Hey, get out of my car. Get back here, he's stealing my car. Oh my god, I can't believe I just stole this car! This game is awesome! I'm gonna turn around and run that guy over! Hello, police? This guy just stole my car! Ha <laughs> I'm gonna squash you like a bug! And he's gonna hit me! Yay! 500 points! I just turned him into roadkill! I'm gonna see if I can find another one. Whee! Ha! Tyler, don't play in the road. Don't tell me what to do, Mom! And look out for cars. Look out for these nuts! Ha <laughs> ha! Watch your tone, Tyler. Shut up, bitch! Oh, look at this kid. He's about to get creamed! Oh my god, Tyler! Bam! That kid is Dunyan Rings! This game is so fun! Okay, Simmons, two aces. All right, go fish. What, Simmons, we're playing poker. Well, then draw four. That's Uno. Do you not know how to play poker? Poker? I hardly know her. Hold on, Simmons, all the units, radio. All units, all units be on the lookout for a stolen red Lamborghini used in a hit and run. You hear that, Simmons? A stolen car. We should keep an eye out. Hmm, I don't see it. Maybe we should go back to our card game. Oh, there it is, mate. Hmm, I don't know, Simmons. It is red. I don't think that's the car, but I think we should follow it just in case. All right, mate, sounds good. I'm gonna take this thing to the paint shop and get it painted Barney Purple. Oh, the police are behind me? Oh, this should be fun. I'm gonna pull over. Okay, Simmons, we pulled him over, but I don't think it's the criminal, because if it was, he wouldn't have just pulled over in a stolen car. He would have run. Should we invite him to play poker? Not yet. Let's make sure it's not the criminal first. So I'm going to go talk to him. You stay here and Google the rules to poker. All right. Oh, do I have a surprise for them? I'm going to do the grenade launcher cheat code. Squared, circle, triangle, up, down, left, right, square, right, bumper, left, bumper. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Is this car stolen? Holy shit, that's a grenade launcher! Simmons, Simmons! I think I finally learned how to play poker, mate. He has a grenade launcher! Will that be the full house? Say hello to my little friend. Holy shit! Oh, I guess it's just a Nerf toy. Can't do any damage. Holy shit! Simmons! No! He never learned how to play poker! I'm gonna kill you, you bastard! Ha ha ha! How are you gonna beat a tank? Is that a tank? Where'd he get a tank? From your mom's house! Take this! Oh my god! Ah! Dispatch! Dispatch! I'm currently hiding behind a pole! This psycho has a goddamn tank! He's blowing up cars and shit! Ha 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 ha! This is the best game ever! Now die, coppers! Jesus Christ! He's shooting at me with a minigun! This is a goddamn nightmare! 
Oh man, I ran out of bullets. I'm gonna do the more ammunition cheat code. You're under arrest. Get on the ground. Don't hit me. Don't stop it. You're under arrest. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. You know what? Screw it. Come on, you're going to jail. Order, 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 order. order. You are being accused of going on quite a crime spree. I have the charges written here on my hand. Let's see. Uh, grand theft auto, attempted vehicular homicide, assault, assaulting a police officer, assaulting a police vehicle, using a grenade launcher, using a grenade launcher to destroy said police vehicle, and driving a tank. Did I miss anything? I'm suing. And a lawsuit. Jeffy, how do you explain your criminal behavior on the town? Wow, this game is really realistic. Oh, I see. You think life is just one big video game. Well, I've said it before. I think video games are corrupting the minds of our children. We will now speak to your victims to see if you have any remorse for your behavior. He stole my Lamborghini and hit me with it, Your Honor. He broke my neck and my wiener doesn't work anymore. What girl's gonna want to date someone whose wiener doesn't work and whose neck is broken? I'd like to advocate for the electric chair, Your Honor. <laughs> He ran over my little boy Tyler, your honor. He did it on purpose. I want to see him locked away for a really long time. <laughs> well, your honor, he shot at me and then he blew up my squad car with a grenade launcher with my partner still inside. So, you know, barbecue chicken. I have to tell his family about that. And then he had a tank. I don't even know where the hell that came from. Well, if you break into the military base, you can steal the tank. Did, did you just hear that, Your Honor? He just admitted to breaking into a military base. I mean, that has to be like the highest crime. I mean, that's federal. It might even be a war crime for all I know. I mean, ow! And he just hit me again. Your Honor, he hit me. Did you see that? Yes, I did see that. And another assault charge. Jeffy, now that we have heard from all of your victims, do you feel any remorse whatsoever for your five-star wanted level crime spree? I'm just trying to see if there's any cheat codes to lower my wanted level. Well, Jeffy, you're going to quickly learn that there are no cheat codes to life. There is no up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, be a start in real life, because real life has real consequences. So... What punishment should I give for all of those crimes? I, I mean, guilty, by the way, obviously. Let's see. Oh, the tank. Oh, the tank. I'm thinking life? Hmm? C can I give him life? How does that sound? Did, did anybody die? Uh, barbecue chicken. It, it, did he die? Is he okay? I do think he perished in the car explosion, but I, I don't think that's canon. I think that might just be for this video, because, like, usually when people die in videos, they, they do return, uh, unless it's, like, a really big deal, like like Jeffy's mom in the SML movie for his 18th birthday. And even that's, like, kind of iffy. Like, she, she might come back. I mean... We all used to be turtles, so I mean, anything goes, really. I mean, Joseph used to be rich. I mean, what happened to that? We, I mean, we knocked that off after the backlash, you know? So, I mean, it's up to you, man. So he did die in this video, so I can sentence him to life. Or one million, billion, dillion, jillion, gillion, gazillion years. Whichever comes first. <gasps> but... I believe in the world of second chances. So, if you can beat me in a game of I Spy, I will let you go. I spy with my little eye something. Guilty! You! Ha 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 ha! Alright, come on you. Get on my imaginary horse. All right, get in there, you. That was a fun horse ride, but that's the last fun you're ever going to have, because you're going to rot in jail. Jeffy, we heard about all the terrible stuff you've been doing. You were such a good boy. How could you do those things? Yeah, what's wrong with you, Jeffy? Well, I was just playing my new Grand Theft Auto 6 game on VR. It makes it really realistic. Jeffy, this is not a video game. This is real life. You hurt real people. Well, Daddy, I know it feels like real life because of the VR headset, but right now I'm on the stuck-in-jail mission, and it's really hard, so I think I'm going to have to use cheat codes to get out of this jail cell. There's no cheat codes to get out, Jeffy. Yes, there is, Daddy. I'm going to use the break out of jail cheat code right now. Left, down, right, up, left, bumper, right, bumper, left, stick, right, stick. What? It worked? I told you it would work, Daddy. But we got to get out of here because I think my wanted level is back up. What? Oh, I forgot to lock the stupid jail cell. Hopefully he didn't break out. What? 
Oh man! Wow, Danny, that mission was really hard. I'm done playing this game for a while. Chevy, you're not playing a video game. This is real life. You really just escaped jail. I know, Danny. The graphics are really realistic. No, Chevy, you're a wanted criminal. Freeze! Thought you could just break out of jail and then come back home, huh? What a rookie mistake. Well, back to jail you go. No, no, officer. Is there any way I can just talk to you for a second? I'm listening. All right, listen. Jeffy did not know he was committing those crimes. He thinks he's playing a video game. That doesn't really seem like a good enough excuse for killing my partner, shooting at me with a tank, and running over a kid with a stolen car. I don't care what kind of schizophrenic episode he had. So there's nothing I can do? No, there's nothing you can do. Is that Grand Theft Auto 6? Yeah. How did you get it? It's not even out yet. Well, my friend's friend's dad's dad works at Rockstar. No, he doesn't. Get out of here, Cody. Oh, man, I would do anything just to play it. Wait, I got an idea. What if we give you Grand Theft Auto 6 and you let Jeffy go? Hmm. Well, the judge already thinks Jeffy's in jail, and I'm the only prison guard, so I guess Jeffy could just disappear. Yeah, you know what? You have a deal. All right, Jeffy. You got lucky this time. Did you learn your lesson? I don't even know what I did wrong. I was just playing a video game. Okay, yeah. See, this is obviously just Call of Duty, and then somebody wrote GTA 6 on the bottom in Sharpie. Well, we already made the deal. No backseas. Damn it. Oh, you guys got me with the no backseas. Okay. You guys win this time. You little rascals. you supposed to go out the... Oh, I don't. Sorry. Whataburoon making crafts. We're going to be making Whataburoons and releasing them into the sky. You should already have your Whataburoons at your desk and I'm going to blow mine up. But before we get started, if you see my lunch walking around the classroom, please don't touch it. Alright, I'm going to blow up my balloon. Whoa, we get to play with balloons today? No, Junior, they're not for playing. They're weather balloons. They monitor the weather. How does a balloon monitor the weather? Well, if the balloon blows away, that means it's windy. If it's wet, that means it's raining. If it pops, that means it gets struck by lightning. And if the balloon starts going in circles, that means there's a tornado coming. And if it turns into an ice cube, that means it's snowing. I didn't know balloons could do all that. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Hey, Penelope, can I have your red balloon? I don't like my green one. No, Junior, I like my red balloon. But this green balloon reminds me of your ugly green eyes because your eyes are the color of boogers. Shut up! Up, Junior! All right, Crafts, in a few minutes we're gonna go outside and release our weather balloons so they can go up and take pictures of the nuclear sites. I mean, tell us the weather. So anyway, Crafts, if your balloon pops in the Crafts, you fail, okay? Balloons are very expensive. 25 cents per balloon. Good to my balloon. Balloon, 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 balloon. Hey, why my balloon go up there? Hey, Jeffy, look. I brought a Nerf gun to school, and it has a needle in the dart. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your balloon. Touch my balloon, and I'll break your eye sockets! Okay, fine. I'll shoot Penelope's balloon, then. Hey! Bowling! <laughs> Penelope? More like Popelope? What a loser! Hey! Penelope! You pop your balloon, you fail! What? It wasn't me! It was Bully, and he popped my balloon with a Nerf gun! I don't wanna hear it! Chinese spy balloon is very expensive! But it wasn't me! <laughs> Penelope, can you stop crying? I'm trying to watch TV. Boynie, you don't want us crying! Stop it. Boynie, ask him what's wrong! What's wrong, Penelope? I'm getting bullied at school! Wait, you're being bullied? <laughs> yeah, he popped my... my Wait, what did he pop? He popped my balloon! Oh, thank God. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me you're being bullied at school? Yeah. Okay, well, I know how to deal with bullies. I'm gonna bang his mom. What? Yeah, I'm gonna bang that kid's mom. That way, next time he tries to bully you, all you have to do is say, yeah, well, my dad banged your mom. Then what's he gonna do? I mean, it's true. I can't unbang his mom. I'm basically a stepdad at that point. Boynie, you're not gonna bang that kid's mother. I will too bang his mom. I bet you five bucks that you don't. Okay, bet. I'm gonna bang his mom. Okay, deal. You're not a closer, Boynie. You don't have the moves. Yeah, okay, whatever. We'll see. His mom will be banged by me. Um, hello? Still here? You're not gonna bang anyone's mom. Mom. Penelope, this is how adults settle their problems, okay? His mom will be bung. Ew, Dad, no! Look, I'm gonna come to school with you tomorrow so you can point the kid out for me. You can't come to school with me! As a cop, I can! Ugh! Okay, Karen, tomorrow I'm gonna come home and these fingers are gonna smell like victory. I'll believe it when I smell it, Boydie! Okay, we'll see! 
Okay, Penelope, point out the kid. No, Dad, I'm not gonna do that. This is so embarrassing. Look, the sooner you point out the kid, the sooner I can get to banging his mom. Ew, Dad! No, I'm not gonna tell you who he is. <laughs> hey, Pop Penelope, where's your balloon, nerd? I'm assuming that's him? Yeah. <laughs> now I want to bang his mom more than ever. I'm gonna bang his mom in his bed so that when he goes to bed at night, he's gonna know that your father banged his mom there. Ew, Dad, just leave! No, 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 I still need to get his mom's phone number. How are you gonna do that, Dad? Penelope, watch a master at work. All right, Prax, so I need you to pull out a pen and a piece of paper because we're gonna be writing our excuses for our spy balloons to the FBI. Hold up, hold up, police. Random desk check for drugs class. The school who didn't tell me about this? Well, if they did, it wouldn't be very random, now would it? I have my eye on you. Now let's see. Who looks suspicious? You? Me? Yeah, you. Now let me take a look in your desk. But I don't have anything. Oh, really? Then what's this, huh? A little marijuana? Hey, you planted that! Yeah, so what? Scammers get scammed. Get your money up, not your funny up. Now give me your mom's phone number so I can call her about this. She doesn't have a phone. Okay, listen here, you little punk. Give me them digits. Billy! Mommy realized you forgot your mashed pea slops! Mom, you're embarrassing me! No, come on, Billy. I'm just trying to make sure my little baby has something to eat. Wait, I I'm sorry. This, this is your mother? Yeah. Yeah, what you need, officer? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I, I put this catnip in your son's desk. It's sorry. Uh, oh, oh, God. What is that smell? Oh, that's probably my panties. I've been fighting a wicked yeast infection. I'm telling you, you pop these bad boys in a microwave, a loaf of bread's coming out. I mean, I mean, when you sneeze, that green gooey stuff that comes out, my panties. Oh, Jesus. Or it could be because I only buy one ply toilet paper and there's a grapevine of dingleberries back there. I mean, I just don't know what to do. I, I give up. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go now. Didn't you need her number? What you need my numbers for? Uh, you know, I, I forgot. So I'm just gonna go. Well, I'm going home, Penelope. Sorry. What? I thought you were gonna bang his mom. No, no, f*** that. Have you seen that wildebeest over there? I am not touching that. I have to wear a trash bag. Two trash bags. Well, well, then what am I supposed to do about the bully? Huh, well, banging the mom is obviously off the table, but, um... Oh, oh, the dad! Yeah, I could beat up his dad, and then you could say my dad beat up your dad. Well, that's better. Yeah, I'll go talk to him. All right, Billy, mommy's gonna get back to work. Hey, 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 I just wanted to ask real quick, uh, where is his father? Oh, his father's in jail for triple homicide, and I don't mean that accidental crap neither. He killed three people in broad daylight. Planned and everything. Strung them up by their shoelaces and ate the testicles. Oh, well, if I can't beat him up, maybe I can make his life hell in prison. Uh, w what jail is he in? No, I have no idea. Last I heard, he was in solitary confinement for murdering two guards and killing the one. Yup, strung him up by the shoelaces and ate the testicles. He really loves testicles, especially police officer testicles. Uh, yeah, yeah, got it, got it, thank you. Well, Penelope, you're just gonna have to get bullied. That's gonna be your life now. What happened to beating up his dad? Well, look, I just don't want to get my balls munched off, okay? His dad is a serial killer and a serial ball muncher. But you told me you would help me with my bully problem! Yeah, but look, I can't bang his mom and I sure as hell can't beat up his dad. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't cry. Come on. Okay, okay, I'll bang her, I'll bang her, okay? I'll bang his mom. You don't have to do that. We could just figure something else out. No, we'll do this. Come on, let's go home and talk. Uh, uh. Let me smell him, Boiny. Here. Oh, it smells like he had sanitizer. Yeah, because I didn't do it. I know you're going to do it, Boiny. Pay up. All right, fine. Here's your damn five dollars. But it's not because I didn't have the moves. It's because she was disgusting. You know what I think, Boiny? I think you couldn't do it because you love me too much and you didn't want to hurt my feelings. I promise that's not the reason. If she would have been smoking hot, I would have been up in that. I wouldn't have thought twice. Ha! Okay. Dad, what are we gonna do about my bully? I don't know, Penelope. Just switch schools or something. You said you were gonna fix it! I know. Look, the only thing I can do is bang the mom, but I just can't. Boy, me, do you want to go double or nothing? Oh, there's just no way. I can't do it. Why don't you call your brother Jonathan? <gasps> Karen, you're a genius. That'll work. Jonathan will bang anything. Hey, Penelope, you know what's even better than saying my dad banged your mom? My uncle banged your mom. How about that? No one has to bang anyone. Yes, they do, Penelope. It's the only way. I'm going to go call Jonathan. Okay, I called Jonathan. He should be here any minute. <sighs> You can guy, as soon as you called, I came so fast. And then I left my house and got you. Wh why didn't you knock? You just came in. Because we're family, so what do you need? Well, Jonathan, we need you to, uh, we need you to bang somebody. Finally! I knew this day would come! Don't worry, Karen. I'll be gentle. Not my wife. Aw, then who do you want me to bang? It's, uh, it's like this, uh, this hot bomb. <gasps> Milf. 
Yeah, 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 like a MILF, a big MILF, big hot MILF. Wait a minute, this sounds a little too good to be true. And she wants me? Yeah, of course she does. Hmm, what's in it for me? Uh, yeah, you know, the, the MILF. Hmm, you're gonna have to do a little better than that looking guy. Um, well, I got five dollars. Kill! Hey! No takesy backsies! Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna go over to a house dressed like plumbers so you can unclog a pipe. <laughs> Luckily for you, my old nickname used to be the Keystone Pipeline, because I was so good at laying pipe, they had to shut me down. Yeah, you have done this before, right? Psh, obviously! Just ask my right hand, Jill. She could say all the time. Okay, good. Well, let's go. Come on. Okay, Jonathan, this is the address I got when I looked up her name based on a name tag. Ooh, is she hot? Oh, smoking. A pack a day. Must be. Oh, so hot. Okay, so here's how this is gonna go. I, I think she's into role play, so we're gonna pretend to be plumbers, and then when she opens the door, she's Ooh, gonna... is she gonna be naked? Oh, God, I hope not. No, 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 no. When, when she opens the door, she's gonna pretend she doesn't remember calling plumbers, so then I'm gonna get to work on clogging her pipes, and then you start hitting on her. Okay, got it. So you're hitting first? No, 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 no. This is all you, man. You got this. Okay, I just didn't know because you said something about unclogging a pipe. Pipes. No, no, I meant like real actual pipes. No, this is all you. No, honestly, I don't mind. I, I actually prefer it. No, no, the, you got this, okay? Just you. Only you. Okay, I'm gonna knock. Huh? What the? Hey, Billy! Go away to the damn door! I don't want to, Mom. What if it's child services again and I say the wrong thing? Yeah, you right. I'll go get it. Sit. Hello? Wait a minute, don't I know you? Uh, no, no ma'am, we're plumbers with the plumbing service. We're here because you called a few days ago about having trouble with your pipes? Oh yeah, I did, I remember that! What, you do? Oh yeah, do I have a problem for you? My toilet's been clogged and I ain't been able to flush it in about three weeks. Oh god. Yeah, come on in. Is that her? Uh, yeah, go, 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 go! Alright, here's the toilets. It ain't flushing. It's in the bathtub. Yeah. Well, that's not where it goes. Alright, smart guys. Well, where is it supposed to go? Well, you see that hole in the ground? Yeah. That's where the toilet goes. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Alright, guys. Well, whatever you do, don't open that toilet because it's about to overflow. Good luck. Oh, God. Alright, well, get to banging, Jonathan. You want me to bang, Dad? Yeah, look, you got it. Come on, big guy. But she's disgusting. Hey, you want to impress your big brother, right? I mean, I guess. Hey, do it for Mom. You're right. Mother doesn't think I'd get any women. I'm gonna prove her wrong. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Alright, Jonathan, get in there. Hey, you no looking guy. I'm kinda nervous. Are you sure you don't want to tag team? No, God, no. Look, you got it, okay? Just say to her what you say to the anime girls. Oh, so you want me to say, Arigato Senpai, Chin Chin Kaskai Nameo, Yeah, just never say that to me ever again. Now get in there. How's it going, sweet cheeks? Watching Judge Judy. How's my toilets going? Don't you worry about that toilet. My blood is unclogging those pipes. That way I can unclog your pipes. Why are you naked? Oh, so don't worry about that. I just figured I'd let you know that if there was only two women left on Earth, I would ask what the other one looked like. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God, he's actually doing it. Go, Jonathan! Oh. Hey, hey, you actually did it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Oh, man, that's my dog right there. Yeah, come on, let's go. Mission successful, Karen. Jonathan Pipe, he got up in there. He did? Yeah, totally. Yeah, he's Peter Piper. Tell her about it, Jonathan. Yep, I'm, I'm Peter Piper, and I piped a lot of peppers for, for shizzle. Wait a minute, Jonathan. You only ever say for shizzle when you're lying. No, I for shizzly don't. Did you do it or not? I don't know. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe he's not good enough. My daughter can't go to school and tell her bully, maybe my uncle banged your mom. This has to be definite. Jonathan, what happened? Well, you know that thing when turtles get scared and their head goes back in their shell? My wiener did that. You turtled? I was scared. Wait, so did you do it or not? I don't know. Probably not. Damn it, Jonathan, what were you doing in there? I was laying on the bed and smacking my belly to make it sound like we were banging. What, what was she doing? She was laying on the bed beside me watching Judge Judy. Damn it, Jonathan, now I gotta find somebody else. No, you don't. We can give me a second chance. Bring her to my house this time. That way I have the home field advantage. What, so she can see your anime figures and then leave? No, I don't think so. <sighs> I'm gonna get a hit, man. Boy, you're gonna have her killed? No, no, not like that. Like, I'm gonna see if he can do a different kind of hit. You know, like, hit it and quit it. Ooh, can I watch? No, get the hell out of here, Jonathan. Aww. <sighs> Hey, you call a hitman. Oh, you, you're, you're a dolphin. Yeah, I get that a lot. Okay, well, who cares? Uh, we have a job for you. Well, who do you want me to kill? Oh, see, that's the thing. I don't want you to kill anybody. I, uh, I need you to bang this kid's mom. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, this kid's been bullying my daughter at school, so I thought, you know, if you bang his mom, then we can make fun of him, and then maybe that'll shut him up. Okay, well, I don't really do that. I'm a hitman. I kill people. Yeah, but, like, since you're a hitman, I thought maybe you could, like, 
hit that, you know? See, I kill people because killing people is easy. They don't have a choice, I just kill them. But hitting that, that that's a whole other job. Yeah, well, would it help if I told you she smells like fish? I don't know, man. This is gonna cost you a pretty penny. Well, I got five dollars. Well, it's gonna cost more like five thousand dollars. Well, damn! How much is it gonna cost to kill her? Ten thousand. Okay, fine. Uh, how about this? How about you go, uh, hit that, and then when you get back, I'll give you your money, okay? Alright, fine. I think this is the right house. Hello? Oh, dear God. Oh my God, I love dolphins! Get in here! <laughs> Uh, uh, oh god, it was horrible, but I did it. You owe me 10,000 now. Wait, how do I know you even did it? I took this video of the whole thing. Oh, oh god, ew, 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 turn it off, turn it off. Oh, is that really how you do it? Yeah, all right, honey, pay him. Okay. Well, I did it, so now you can tell the whole world that that bully's mom get bent over by a dolphin. Hey, that's great, Penelope, do you hear that? What? This dolphin banged the bully's mom. What? Yeah, this dolphin, he banged the bully's mom. You know what, I'm ready to switch schools now. I paid him $10,000. <laughs> Hey, penis LB, how far can you see with those telescopes on your eyes? Heck! Well, well... Yeah, I, what's your comeback? Well, at least my mom didn't get banged by a dolphin! What? <laughs> it's true! <laughs> I'm banging your mom, bully! <laughs> Thanks, Dad! Dad, 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 it worked! What worked? The bully tried bullying me today, and I told him at least my mom didn't get banged by a dolphin, and he cried! Yes, yes, that's right. I did that. Me. I'm dad of the year. Nobody bullies my daughter without their mom getting banged. <laughs> I won. Tomorrow, we're going to be having a major test before spring break test. So as you all know, next week is spring break. And so, before spring break, we're going to have a major test. What makes this test so major and before spring break is that if you fail major test before spring break test, then you have to come to school all week during spring break because you're dumb because you failed the major test before spring break test. You understand? If we fail the test, we have to come to school during spring break? I might fail on purpose. <laughs> More school? Can I get a zippity doo -dah? Dude, I can't fail. We have to study. All right, Joseph, come over to my house tonight. We're going to study together. Okay, dude. I don't want to fail the test either. I'm missing a chromie. Can you help a homie? Sure, Jeffy, you can come over and study with us. Cody, can you please come help us study? You're smart. I don't know, Junior. My price for helping is pretty high. What is it? Mm, I don't know. How about six ham and cheese hot pockets? <gasps> what? That many? Yep, I'm a hungry boy. Me and Ken are gonna scarf those down. Uh, okay, you got a deal, Cody. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm in. You hear that, Belly? Got some ham and cheese aroonies coming in hot. So I suggest you all go home and study so you can pass the major test before spring break test. Okay, guys, let's go to my house and study. Okay. Mm-mm-mm, Junior. This pocket looks like it couldn't afford its rent and got cream pied by its landlord's ham and cheese. I mean, it's more of a room temperature pocket than a hot pocket, but that's okay, I can't complain. You guys ready to learn? I guess. Okay, so tomorrow's test is going to be a math test, so I'm going to be teaching you PEMDAS. What's that? Well, it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Dude, that's a lot. How are we supposed to remember that, Cody? Well, it's actually pretty easy to remember because most people remember it like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What'd she do? What? What did Aunt Sally do with the excuse her? What? Did she toot? What? No, no, she did not toot because she's not real. If she's not real, why are you bringing her up? Yeah. Well, it's just to help you remember the A and the S. Well, how old is she? Well, I don't know. She's probably like middle age because she's an aunt, so maybe in her 50s. It doesn't matter. Well, you don't know your own aunt's age. She's not my aunt. Yes, she is. You said, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She's your dear aunt for well, some reason. Well, that's just to help you remember the letters. Like, I don't even use the Aunt Sally one. I, I actually use, please excuse my dick and scrotum because they're always getting in the way because I wear boxers. But as long as it's these letters in this order, that's all that matters. So I can make it whatever I want? Yeah, sure. So I can do, please excuse my dear alien sister? Ooh, I like that, dude. Yeah, sure, that works. Ooh, what about African sister? Yeah, that works too. What about Asian sister? Yeah, the letters are the same. Australian sister? Yeah, sure. Oh, what if the Australian sister's Margot Robbie? Ooh, dude, I would totally drag my balls across glass just to smell Margot Robbie's fart. Oh, me too! Alrighty-roo! 
Okay, guys, let's, let's just focus on the letters, okay? So this is how it works. You do parentheses first, so you do 89 plus 6. Who would win in a fight, alien sister or Africa sister? Definitely African sister, dude. But no, maybe in a 100 meter dash in the Olympics, but not in a fight. Alien sister has a UFO and bazookas. They don't have bazookas, dude. What's yeah, wrong with Guys, they, they're not going to fight because none of that's real, okay? They just help you remember the math. Okay? Well, can Aunt Sally just come do this math for us? Yeah. Okay, okay guys, I don't think you're going to pass this test tomorrow. Why? Because Aunt Sally's not coming to town? No, because you guys are stupid. But it's okay. I think I have a solution. Okay, guys, I made this. What is that? This is the opposite ray. What's it do? Well, anything you shoot with this becomes the opposite of how it is now. Well, why haven't you told us about it? Well, I was going to use it on you, Junior, to turn you gay, but I decided that would be wrong, and I want to turn you gay all on my own. So if we shoot Ken, he'll not be a doll anymore? He's not a doll, Jim! Well, if we shoot us, we'll be smart? Well, it should. Ooh, ch test it out on Jeffy! Uh-huh. Okay, guys. I, I haven't worked out all the kinks yet, but stand back! <laughs> Sound your tensions, my homo sapiens. Emphasis on the homo. <gasps> You're smart, Jeffy! Precisely. Say something smart. The Earth's core is exactly 1,802 miles beneath us. That sounds pretty smart to me. Dude, shoot me next! Do you think it'll make me rich? Well, we already did that once and everyone hated it, but I can try. Ah, my hip. Oh god, it made him old. But why'd it make him old, Cody? Well, I guess because he was young before, and it's an opposite race, so it just made him old. Well, why didn't it make Jeffy old? Well, I guess it just chooses one random thing about you to make opposite. Ah, change me back! I don't know if I can change you back, and I'm afraid to try, because you might die, because you're alive now, and the opposite of that would be dead. Ah, I don't understand these contraptions. I'm gonna eat some mashed potatoes. I don't know why they couldn't give him parents. Your turn, Junior. No, I don't want to get shot by that. Oh, come on, Junior. Don't be a puss. Uh, well, what if it makes me old? Statistically, that's a 0% chance of happening. Because Logan wouldn't use the same joke in the same video. That's true. Okay, fine. Shoot me with it. <laughs> It made me a girl? Oh, dang it, Junior. I was hoping you'd be a pickle smoocher. I don't want to be a girl, Cody. Junior, now that you're a female, what are your pronouns? I would like to address you properly. Mine or he, him. I don't have pronouns. That's dumb. Cody, change me back. No, Junior. What if it makes you pregnant? Why would it make me pregnant? Because you're not pregnant now and this thing does the opposite? I don't know. It's doing random shit. Let me shoot you with it. I don't have a problem. Oh, yeah? What's this? Okay, I have a problem. It's okay, Cody. It's just something to take the edge off, you know? Yeah, I understand. Just give me the gun. Okay, maybe you can make me not a root beer holic. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Wait, Junior, what happened? I don't know. You look the same. Oh. What, do you still want a root beer? Oh, yeah, I want one right now. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta check something. Oh, no, my wiener still looks the same. Yeah, it looks like a little boiled shrimp. Not a jumbo shrimp, either. A little cocktail shrimp. A little tiny one. I don't know. Oh, my God, Junior, you're hot. I'm hot? Yeah. Oh, no, Junior, I think it turned me straight. You're straight? Yeah, because, I mean, Ken's a good-looking guy and all, but I'm not really attracted to him like that anymore. Well, grab a Barbie from the room. Okay. Oh, Junior, check out this absolute smoke show. And check this out. Ain't no panties on that ass. Ain't no panties. I'm talking straight lamb chops. You think she's hot? Oh, Junior, the things I would do to her and will do to her. Damn. Oh, Cody, can you please change me back? I'm not okay with making 18% less than men. Well, you could always start in OnlyFans. I'd subscribe. Let me see them cheeks and them toes. No, come on, Cody. Change me back. I'm being serious. Well, Jeffy still has to take that test tomorrow. Yeah, you guys can pass me your test and I can take them for you. Yeah, so let's just wait for him to do that and then I'll work on changing everyone back tomorrow. Okay, fine. I just really want to actually be able to play in the NBA one day. Yeah, so... Uh... Uh, could I spend the night here with you and sleep in your bed? No, Cody, go home! Okay, well, I'm gonna take Francesca here home and let her give me a blumpkin. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ask Chef Peepy to make me something to eat. That was a really good movie, Marvin. Yeah, kinda. Do you think that bear was really on cocaine? No. Do you think it was a real bear? It was special effects, baby. It was just a movie. What? Cheffy! Were you hopping Hot Pockets again? Actually, Father, I was not having intercourse with the Hot Pockets this time. Then what are they doing here? They're my friend Goaties! Well, clean up all this mess. Well, what is this? Oh, that's an opposite ray. Whatever you shoot with, it becomes the opposite of what it was before. Well, I should shoot you with it, you goober. Stop doing bad stuff. All right. Well, I will now defecate in the porcelain bowl that's located in the bath facility. Ooh, Marvin, I should use this on you. I wonder what it would do. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe what? you would grow hair and be hot. It would give me hair? Maybe. Oh, shoot me with it. Okay. Marvin, you have hair. I do? Marvin, you're so sexy. Meet me in the bedroom in five minutes. I'm going to go freshen up. Okay. Ooh, you going to get some stank. Well, Dougie, what are you doing here? I need to borrow $50. But for what? Because I want some chips from the gas station. Chips at the gas station don't cost that much, Dougie. Well, I also need a drink and some Skittles. Dougie, why don't you get a job and work for your money? You know I can't work, folks. You know what? Uh, Dougie, are you okay? Hello, it is your pal Douglas. Do you still need the $50? No, actually I'm gonna go get a job. 
I'm coming, Rose! Mm -mm -mm, what a masterpiece! Ugh. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Wait, Junior, why are you dressed like a girl? I'm not dressed like a girl, I am a girl. Oh, okay, you're one of those. I should have seen this coming. Well, I kind of did. You always sound like a girl when you're being annoying. But the real question is, are you gonna get it chopped off or what? That's a true commitment. And are you gonna put it in a jar above your bed and kiss it every night? Hmm. I'm hungry, Chef PB. Well, look, look, I don't know what you guys eat, but I have a shrimp clam surprise right here. Oh my god, that, that smells disgusting, Chef PB. No, it's really, really good, I promise you. I only gag like twice, and that's a record, okay? You want some? I'll be right back. What, what? Oh, change your mind, you want some, huh? Wait, what's that? All right, Junior, enjoy your steak, shrimp, and lots of surf and turf. Oh my god, Chef PB, this looks delicious. You got good at cooking out of nowhere. I know, it's crazy. I don't know how I do it. Yeah, let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Krause, today you have the major test before spring break test today test. So I'm going to come around and pass out the major test before spring break test. And if you fail, you have to come to spring break school. Hey, Cody, can I borrow a pencil? Yeah, sure. But what do I get out of it? Just give it to me, Cody. Yeah. What, what was that for? Bend over and grab it. <sighs> Man, your dress is too long. Could you pull it up for me? Ew, Cody. Junior, why are you dressed up like a girl? I'm not a girl. I'm tired of everyone saying that. Just shut up and scissor me. What? Pass me your scissors. I want to cut my hair off. Oh, okay. I don't want people to think I'm a girl anymore. Junior, don't do that. It's hot. Shut up, Cody. Without a doubt, I will ace this examination. <laughs> hey, nerd. You're looking extra nerdy today, you dork. I will show you just how educated I am. Hey, Junior, I need to borrow this. My glasses fall off. What? Oh no! I'm a dork! <laughs> Alright, Penelope, here's your major test before spring break test. <sighs> and Junior, here's your major... Why are you dressed like a girl? Never mind, don't answer that. I'm not allowed to ask. Here's your major test before spring break test. And Cody, here's your major test before spring break test. Where's Joseph? Oh, I think he's in a retirement home. Okay then. Hey, Penelope, that ass is looking real fine. What? Yeah, real fine. Cody, I thought you were into dudes. Yeah, but now I'm straight, and you know what the opposite of having clothes on is? <sighs> Not having clothes on. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, I mean, I guess she doesn't have clothes on. Cody, why is she a dragon? Well, I guess the opposite of being a human would be a dragon. I, I guess that makes sense. But now I'm gonna be dragging my nuts across her face. <laughs> but now repeat, no being a dragon in crass. Go to the principal's office. All right, Jeffy, here's your major test before spring break test. All right, Krauss, everyone take your test and no cheating. If I catch you cheating, I'm gonna go Kung Fu Panda on your ass. <sighs> Please excuse my... But Cody, what was it? Please excuse my dick and scrotum. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Jeffy, what's the answer number two? The answer to number two is ten. All right, thank you, Jeffy. Hey, you doing that, Jeffy! No cheating! You think just because I have strength to eye, I can't say that you cheating? You will fail! Oh, no! Cody, shoot him with the ray! Yeah, maybe the opposite of a teacher that doesn't let us cheat is a teacher that lets us cheat. Oh my god, I can see! No more strength eyes! Crass, my eyes are wide open now! All of you look ugly as shit, but I can see! All of you get A plus on your test! I'm gonna go see the world with my new eyes! Well, that's one way to pass the test. Yay, we passed! Well, Junior, we don't have to go to school during spring break. We should bang to celebrate. No, Cody, we should celebrate by fixing this stupid machine and reversing everyone back to normal. Well, that's the thing, Junior. I don't know how. Well, didn't you build it? Well, yeah, but that was back when I was gay. When I was gay, I had all the time in the world. But now that I'm straight, all I can think about is muff and boobs and big floppy knockers. Well, Cody, how about we call a mechanic? Maybe a mechanic can figure it out. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, I'm not getting anything done today. You see her? I'm gonna give her a nuggie, and I'm not gonna tell you where. Uh, I'm gonna call a mechanic. Hey there, somebody call a mechanic? Wow, your haircut is really ugly. Uh, uh, don't look at my hair. So what do you need? Well, my friend made this opposite ray, and whatever you shoot with it makes it the opposite. So I was a boy, so it made me a girl. He was gay, it made him straight, and we want you to be able to reverse it. Wait, wait a minute, so maybe if you shot me with that, I wouldn't have to do so many jobs. And, and maybe my wife would be hot. Maybe I'd actually be happy. Shoot me with that thing. Okay, Cody, shoot him with it. All right, didn't you? Oh my god, I don't have any arms! But I got my legs back! You know what that means? Ball Buster Brooklyn is back! Hey you! Ooh, ooh, here I come! Oh, my balls, didn't you? <laughs> I'm gonna go kick everyone in the balls! <laughs> oh great, Cody, he ran away! Now no one's ever gonna fix this machine! Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to stay like this for the rest of our lives, Junior. No, Cody, change everything back! Well, I don't see an undo button, do you? Uh... Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah! Wow, okay, well, I guess we should just push that then. Okay. Did it work? Uh, hold on, let me check. 
Ew. Oh, hey there, pony boy. I'm gonna glaze those bagels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it worked. Yeah, I'm not a girl anymore. Guys, guys, what happened to my legs? My beautiful ball-kicking legs! Why, God? Why? so I can get me some chicken from the KFC. KFC does not cost $50, Dougie. It does when you buy lops of it. Why do you need a lot of it? Cause it's so really good. Well, I don't have $50, Dougie. I'm trying to watch TV, so go away. Whopper, 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 Whopper. Mickey D's is definitely better, but they're paying me to make this song at BK. Cause there is no way you're actually eating here. Man, that commercial really made me want to go get some McDonald's. Well, if you go into McDonald's, can you run through KFC and give me the family sized chicken with the business and the macaroni and cheese? No, Dougie, how about you get a job and make your own money? Well, I can't get a job because I'm a felon. How'd you become a felon? Well, there was this one time I had a job working at the cash register and the manager said that the security cameras ain't work. So I stole a thousand dollars out the register and come to find out the security cameras did work and they caught me red -handed. And, dips. And, and when they was arresting me, I said, I thought you guys said that the security cameras ain't work. And the man just said, it was a trap. So now no one will hire me. Well, Dougie, it sounds like it's your problem. Well, I just want some KFC. I wish there was a way I could get free KFC for ebbs and ebbs and ebbs. Well, I don't see that happening, Dougie. Breaking news, okay? KFC is offering free chicken for life to anyone who can make them a new theme song that includes their new five-piece chicken meal for $4.99. You gotta be kidding me. You see that, Mom Bips? I prayed to God and he answered. That's how I'm gonna get my free chicken for life. But Dougie, you don't know how to make music. Yes, I do. All I have got to do is write a kitchen jingle about how I love chicken so really good. But Dougie, you don't know how to make a song. Yes, I do. I just need a piece of pie bips and a pims. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, my bips, I'm gonna start writing the lyrics to my song. I like chicken so good. How do you spell chicken? See, you don't even know how to write, Dougie. Oh, so you're saying I should freestyle it. Good idea, my bips. I'm gonna get the microphone. All right, my bips, I got everything set up so I can record now. Well, can you record in another room? I'm trying to watch TV. No, I wanna do it in here so you can tell me if it's good or not. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna start up the program. KFC is really, really good. 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 KFC, I love that chicken. It's so greasy, but finger licking. Breast in a thigh ain't talking about chicken. Back on topic, cause now I'm sipping. Slap my chicken, I stay pipping. Barbecue sauce, I'm straight dipping. Gold chain on, cause I be dripping. Full cup of soda, that Pepsi, I'm sipping. Tennis and breast, don't forget my size. If you got money, come along for the ride. Chicken is good, so hard to find. If you can't taste it, then your tongue is blind. Some saying business better be in the bag, or I'll turn around so fast, no lag. Crazy for the cock, but I ain't no fat. Hey, where'd the beat go? Oh, there it is. It came back. Unlike my daddy. Anyway, KFC, five piece, four ninety nine. Go buy it, cause it's really, really, so really good. What do you think about that, Mom Bips? I don't think KFC is gonna want you to rob about those inappropriate things. Well, I'm gonna submit it. <sighs> All right, I just sent it to the KFC email. <laughs> Who's that? Well, hold on, let me answer the door, Dougie. Hello? Hey, uh, is Dougie here? Who? Uh, oh, your boy Dougie? Yeah, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, well, uh, I'm here from KFC Corporate. I'm here because I heard that dope ass song he made. Uh, yeah, yeah, that shit was straight gas, uh, uh, uh fossil fuels. Who, who let him cook? My, my compliments to the chef. Uh, I'm trying to say I liked his song. Oh, did he win the competition? Well, no, but I, I do want to talk to him. Oh, he's upstairs. Okay, so can I talk? Oh, all right, um. Hey, Dougie, this guy from KFC is here to talk to you. Ooh, did I win the competitions? Well, not quite, but I can tell you your song was one of the dankest. Well, what's I'm supposed to do to win? Well, you see, this other guy submitted a song that might even be danker than yours. No way. Unfortunately, yes way, and I'm afraid he might actually win. Why do you care if he wins? Well, I was really hoping we could rig the competition so Dougie could win. Why would you want Dougie to win the competition? So he can split his free fried chicken with me. I love KFC chicken. You work for KFC. Don't you get free chicken? No, they don't actually let us eat the chicken. Not since this one guy stole a bunch of money out of the cash register. Hey, wait a minute! I'm so sorry. Now you definitely owe me chicken. Well, do we even have to rig the competition? Like, is the other guy's song even good? Is it good? Is the movie 80 for Brady good? 
No, it's fucking atrocious. Just stick to football, Tom. But uh, yeah, the other guy's song's pretty good. He even has a music video. Well, then let's watch it. What, 80 for Brady? No, thank you. I've seen it once, and that was enough. No, no, I meant the music video. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. Let me get my phone. All right, check this out. Okay, Jonathan, what do you want me to do? Wait, what is this? This is me doing the cinnamon challenge a couple years ago. All you have to do is take that spoonful of cinnamon and put it in your mouth. Well, I do like cinnamon, but Jonathan, I gotta go fight fires and figure out why I look like this. Oh, what's wrong, Brooklyn guy? You a chicken? No. What? Okay, fine, I'll do it. It can't be that bad. I mean, just cinnamon, right? Oh, God! Jeez. <laughs> I could not stop coughing. Never try this. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna show me the music video. Oh yeah, yeah, here, here you go. Yo, KFC. What's up, KFC? I need some chicken. Hunger. Yo, KFC. Where that chicken at? I need some chicken, order, please. Yo, KFC. Need that chicken? What? I need some chicken. Mm, order. Yo, KFC. Sure extra crunch. I need some chicken. Please. I need my chicken extra crispy. Place my order. Don't forget me. How many pieces you need? I had to tell the lady fifty. Need my biscuit and my sausage. Don't care how much that shit costs. If you get my order wrong, I leave you licking like a faucet. Side of mac and cheese. Don't have to tell you, please. Make sure my chicken extra crunchy when it's out the grease. Got your girl on her knees, munching on chicken wings. She said it's too hot, like it was 200 degrees. Ah, KFC chicken, five piece, huh? Ooh, for 4.99. What? Who could beat that, nigga? Who could beat that? Nobody can, huh? Nigga! Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too damn good. We should kill him. What? Yeah, he can't win the competition if he's dead. No, we're not gonna kill anyone over chicken. It's free chicken. How about we do something less illegal? Hmm, yeah, we should kidnap his kid and then hold his kid for ransom until he drops out of the competition. Good no, idea. No, we're not gonna kidnap a kid over chicken. It's not just chicken. It's 11 herbs and spices on the chicken. It's KFC. Okay, you, you see this man? This is Colonel Sanders. He's him. This is the face of a man who would kidnap another man's kid for some free chicken. Who knows what he would do for his chicken? How about we just re-record the song and make it better? Nah, that sounds boring. I think we should do the kidnapping. What do you think, Dougie? I'm down with it. Whatever we've got to do to get the chicken. See, that's the mentality I like. Yes, we should do the kidnapping. Now, I did my research. I know he has a son and he has a wife we could kidnap, but I think we should go for the kid because it really hits you right in the heart. Well, I don't want anything to do with this. Well, me and you have to do it, Marvin, because if Dougie gets caught, he'll be disqualified and we can't have that. I'm not kidnapping a kid. It has to just be me and you, Marvin, two normal guys with mustaches. You work for KFC. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. Come on, Marvin. Kidnapping. Chicken. Come on! Okay, fine! Yeah, come on. Alright, the kid lives here. Okay, so you wanna like go around to his window and like kidnap him through his room? No, we're just gonna ring the doorbell. Ring the doorbell? What if the parents answer and they call the cops? The parents aren't gonna answer. Look, only three people live here. The mom, the dad, and the kid. And who always answers the door? The kid, because the parents are too lazy. What if the kid doesn't answer the door? It's gonna be the kid. Don't worry, okay? I know what I'm talking about. Hello? Shit. Oh, what do you find robbers want? Uh, uh, we were just in the neighborhood, and we were wondering if your son was home. Yeah, he's home, but what do you need him for? Uh, uh we, we are with the FRA, the Future Robbers of America, and we go around recruiting kids to be robbers, and we wanted to know if your son would be interested. You know, we could take him on a rob-along, show him the ropes. That, that's why we brought this rope. Oh, I think he'd love that. Let me go get him. Cody, there's some very nice robbers at the door to see you. What, I'm sorry, what, robbers? Yeah, there's these two nice men in ski masks with rope and they want to talk to you. What, no, Mom, call the police. Now, Cody, everybody deserves second chances. And besides, they have a very wonderful opportunity for you. What, what are they selling Crime Scout cookies? No, what if they kidnap me? You're just gonna end up having to call Liam Neeson. Now, Cody, I'm not gonna ask you again. You go talk to those robbers or I'm taking away your bidet privileges. I do really like that bidet. Okay, I'll talk to him. Uh, hello? Grab him, grab him, come on, guys, man, man! All right, we got him. So what do we do now? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we're kidnapping you. Oh, okay, I, I just want to know how many I'm going to take at once. I really wish I had a chance to shower before I came here. The pizza in the school cafeteria gives me the runs, and I don't know if anybody wants to take the water slide down the sewage plant. Well, well no, we kidnapped you so we could talk to your dad. You guys know he has a phone, right? You could have just called him. Well, yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, give, give us his phone number so that we can call him, and then we can tell him that if he doesn't drop out of the KFC competition, we're going to kill you. Uh, okay. Marvin, grab your phone. Wait, don't say my name. Oh, shit. Uh, his, his name's not actually Marvin. His name is Gary. Marvin's his secret name. Yeah, that's not my name. Okay, you know, I'm over here all the time. I know who owns this house, and that guy's not even wearing a mask. What, Dougie, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, was I not supposed to be here? No, get out of here. Okay. And his name isn't Dougie either. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Mark. Yeah. Okay. M Marvin, get your phone. Oh, okay. Uh, not Marvin. No, no, uh, Gary. No, that's your... 
Okay, it's ringing. All right, kid, tell your dad we're gonna kill you if he doesn't drop out of that KFC competition, okay? Hello? Uh, hey, Dad, I got kidnapped, and these guys say they're gonna kill me if you don't drop out of some kind of KFC competition? Well, I already got the chicken, because I won. <laughs> wait, wait hold, hold on, you already have the chicken? Yeah, they dropped it off right now! <laughs> oh, well, uh, we have your son, so if you don't give us some of that chicken, we're gonna kill him. I don't care about that boy, I'll just be banging his mama. <laughs> oh, okay then. Well, sorry to bother you. Bye. Mm, yeah, bye. Uh, well, I mean, you heard that. That dude was on speakerphone. Oh, yeah, I already knew he wasn't my dad. That's not really a surprise. Okay, well, you're gonna be cool if we just, like, let you go, right? You're not gonna tell on us? Oh, no. I'm actually into this kind of thing, so this is great for me. I I if you don't mind, I just want to stay tied up. Okay, sure. Well, we lost. So I don't get no chicken? No, we lost the competition. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to go to Popeye's? Oh, I love me some poo, -poo. Yeah, Popeye's is pretty good. Yeah, I like Popeye's. Okay, everybody, hop on my big, long, invisible horse. Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too good. I think we should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe we have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Heck yeah, Junior. They're gonna be making full court shots behind your back, blindfolded while having cheerleaders fart in their face like this. <laughs> oh heck yeah, they are that good. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh hey Cody, we have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. You wanna come? Ooh, I do love the Harlem Globetrotters, but I have something else going on tonight that's even cooler. What's even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their fingers like this? I mean, that is pretty cool, but I think what I have going on is a little bit cooler. What could be cooler than that? Well, there's this comet that only comes by Earth every 100,000 years, and it's coming by again tonight. How do we know it only comes by every 100,000 years? Well, because last time it came by was 100,000 years ago. Who do we know that was alive 100,000 years ago that can confirm that? Well, we don't know anybody. It's just they can track it. How can they track it? Like, did they send someone up 100,000 years ago to put a tracker on it? Wait, no, no. They use, like, math. Look, Junior, hop off my cock. It's gonna be cool, okay? It's gonna be even cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their nose like this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it'll be cooler than that. How are we even going to see it? We just look in the sky? No, you need a telescope. We don't have a telescope, Cody, but what we do have is three tickets to see the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Well, Junior, look in front of you. The camera? No, next to the camera. Whoa, a telescope! Where'd this come from? Oh, I got it from the telescope store. This puppy cost me 600 smackaroonies. You spent $600 on a telescope? That's the most nerdy thing I've ever heard. You know what you could have bought with $600? 60 Harlem Globetrotter tickets. Yeah, but I think it'll be worth it. This is pretty cool. So, we just go outside and see it? Well, yeah, yeah, Junior, I mean, think about it. This is only gonna happen once every 100,000 years. Even your great-great-great-grandkids aren't gonna be able to see this comet again. Well, are you sure it's gonna be cool? Like, it's gonna be even cooler than seeing the Harlem Globetrotters spin a basketball on their wiener like this? Yeah, yeah, guys, it'll be way cooler than that, I promise. You won't regret it. Now, come on, help me get this telescope outside. <sighs> okay. Ugh, all right, you pickle lickers. You ready to see something so old only cavemen have seen it, but they didn't even know what they were looking at because they had stupid little cavemen brains, but we know it's a comet because we have technology? Sure. All right, I just have to look through this little thing here. Uh, Junior, could you move? Why? Because I can only see your butt, which normally I wouldn't complain, but you know, like 100,000 years, I can see your butt any day. Oh, look, it's the Big Dipper. You want to see the Big Dipper, Junior? Sure. Okay, pull down my pants. <laughs> Actually, it's so cold out here, it's more like the Little Dipper, but uh... Oh, look, there's Orion's belt. I wish you would pull it off and spank me with it, that naughty little constellation. Where's the comet, Cody? Uh, I have the, the telescope pointed right where it needs to be. It should be. Oh my god, there it is! That's so cool! Well, where, where, where? It just went by. Well, where, I wanna see, I wanna see! Well, it's gone now, Junior. It's gone? Yeah, it was going like 75 million miles an hour. I mean, it's gone. Well, when, when can we see it? 100,000 years from now? Wait, it's already gone forever? Well, yeah, Junior. I mean, it was Zoom and it's gone. Wait, we came out here, we, we missed the Harlem Globetrotters for this? Well, well, look, I'll find something else cool. Like, like, look, there's Saturn. You can see Saturn. Let me see. What, that, that's just a little dot in the sky. Well, but that's Saturn, though. It's a star. Not a, that's, not, that's not Saturn. It's not a star. It's just a planet. It's far well, away. Cody, I, th I think the comet's back. What, what are you talking the about? The comet's back. Look. What, oh, my God. What is that? What, oh, God. It's getting closer. It's headed right for us. Oh, hey! Uh, Cody, what's that? It's a meteor, Junior. And it landed in my backyard? Yeah. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Like one in a trillion? Oh, my God. I want to touch it. Wait, no, Junior, don't touch it. it. It might be like a million degrees. It just fell out of the sky. It was on fire. Well, we have to take it inside, Cody. It's a meteor. I don't want anyone else to take it from us. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's grab it. Uh, 
Junior, I can't believe we actually found a meteor. It really came from outer space? Yeah, Junior, you saw it with your own eyes. Like all the way from space? I said yes, goddammit. Mm, you smell that, Junior? That's what space smells like. Mm. Oh, it smells like crap. Yeah, but they, they say space smells like burnt steak, so I guess that's what it smells like. I want to lick it. Wait, don't lick it. It smells bad. Well, come on, Junior. When am I going to get another chance to taste space? I'm going to give it a little lick. Ugh. Oh, oh, God, that does not taste good. Oh, what's, what's it taste good? It tastes like bunk. <laughs> what's it taste good? <laughs> what's it taste it like? tastes like bunghole, Junior. Oh, hey. can I try it? No, no, Junior. Yeah, bunghole, uh, uh, it's an acquired taste. You don't want to taste it. So it tastes bad? Yeah, it tastes like straight turd. Oh, so what do you think it's made out of? Well, I mean, rock, probably. What, do you think it's made out of diamonds or gold or, or some material we haven't even found yet? I, I mean, I, I don't know. But, I mean, what if it's radioactive and gives us all cancer? What? You just licked it. Oh, my God, you're right. I, I think we should call an expert just to be sure. No, Cody, we're not going to call an expert because if we call an expert, they're going to come take this from us and take all the credit and take all the money. What if this is how Bill Gates made all his money? I, I don't think Bill Gates made his money from a meteor. I think he made his money from making Microsoft. How do you know he didn't find Microsoft inside a meteor? Because that doesn't make Makes sense. How would you find software inside a meteor? What if it was like inside like a, a, a thumb drive inside the meteor? I, I don't think that's what happened, Jimmy. That's insane. What if the next iPhone's in here? I don't think Apple gets their iPhones from meteors that fall out of the sky. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll, we'll call uh, an expert, but what kind of expert do we call? I think we should call a meteorologist. So we're going to have a cold front coming down from the north this week, and that's going to bring a lot of cold weather, hence the name cold front. Whenever I have a cold front, it causes it to shrivel, so you can be expecting one to two inches of snow in the Chicago area this week. So watch out for black ice. That's going to try to take your car off the road because that black ice is very slippery. So now we're going to go down to local weather here in Florida. Uh, you're probably wondering why I just gave you the Chicago weather report. Well, I have a buddy flying into Chicago this week, and he wanted to know the weather. So there you go, Bobby. Uh, here in Florida, it's going to be hot again, you know, big surprise there. There, you know, low 80s, high 80s all week, and it's going to be... Hey, hey, are you a meteorologist? What are you kids doing in here? Well, are you a meteorologist? Yes, and I'm trying to do my job right now. Well, we need your help. Well, I I'm in the middle of the weather room. Wait, 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 what, what happened to my pants? Oh, your pants are green, so they're blending in with the green screen. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I have no pants on. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that so great? you're a meteorologist, right? Yes, I'm a meteorologist. Can you come help us? Well, okay, fine. Uh, sorry, folks, uh, that's all the weather for today. If you forgot what I said, just, you have an iPhone, look it up. All right, what do you kids want that's so important you had to interrupt my meteorology? You know what's important? Colon health. I'm gonna go take a stink. Okay, so what do you guys want? Well, you're a meteorologist, right? Yeah, you keep asking me that and the answer's still yes. Well, we have a meteor here for you. Oh, well see, I don't do that. You're a meteorologist, you mess with meteors. No, I just do weather. You'd be called a weatherologist then. Well, no, meteorologists just do weather, that's all we do. Well, next thing you're gonna tell me, biologists don't study bisexual people. That's not what that means either. Well, my whole life's a lie. Well, how do you even know this is a meteor? I saw it fall from the sky. Well, it sounds like a meteor. Oh, God, it smells like dookie. Because space smells bad. See, you know more about space than I do. Why don't you figure this out? Because I thought a meteorologist would know about meteors. Sorry, I'm dumb. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not what we do. We just handle weather. So what else are you good for? Well, not much. I mean, just 80-year-olds watch me on the news so that they can go, It's gonna rain tomorrow! I need to cover my patio furniture! That's what I think 80-year-olds sound like. Look, I'm a weatherman. Just call me a weatherman. So then what am I supposed to do about this? I don't know. Just talk to an actual scientist. Somebody who'd actually know. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back to work. Wait, is that my green screen back there? Oh my god. I'm not really a meteorologist. I'm a fraud. I'm just a big stupid fraud. <laughs> oh, man, I'm bored. <laughs> You hear that? A spaceship detecting that humans have found a meteor! Yeah, it's gonna be worth seven blood tokens! We should be rich! Let's go to Earth and grab it! Sorry about that, Junior. I had to go make a stinkeroni and cheese. Minus the roni and the cheese, so it was all stink. Give a piece of toilet paper on your shoe. Oh, dang it. Get that off. Yeah. What'd the meteorologist say? He said he doesn't deal with meteors, just weather. But he's a meteorologist. I know, I said that too. So what do we do now? He said to call a scientist. Okay, I guess I'll go get the phone book and look for scientist. Oh, I'll answer the door. You'll answer it? Yeah, I will, me. I will now leave to go answer the door. Hello? Come on, let's go. What's taking Jeffy so long? Bro! I didn't know there was gonna be aliens. Now give us this meteor. 
hell? What was that for? I told you people were gonna try to steal this meteor. Yeah, it's very valuable. It's worth at least seven blurp tokens. Seven blurp tokens? Wait, how much is that? I'm, I'm gonna Google it. Um, yep, take the time. Hold on. Uh, seven blurp tokens to US dollars. <gasps> oh my god, you knew that's $276? Oh, you're not stealing this. Yeah, we're not gonna let you just come up here and rob us. I have a gun. Alright, take it. Damn, I guess we're getting robbed. Alright. I'm gonna put my gun down. Let me just... This is really heavy. Can you help me? What? Grab the gun. Sorry, I think I should grab it. Grab the gun. Oh. Aha! Oh, dang it. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! No, no, please! He said please, you still killed him. Yeah, I feel pretty shitty about that. You're a savage, Cody. I'm sorry. No regard for human life or alien life. Oh man, I'm a monster. What are you gonna do about that one? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Well, you're just killing all the aliens. I Come know, I'm panicked, I'm sorry. Oh god. You're a bad guy. What have I done? Uh, Alright, so look, I think we should take this meteor to Dr. Finkelshitz. Yeah, that's a good idea. We know where he lives. Yeah, and then he could tell us how much it's worth, if it's if it has like diamonds in it, if it's poisonous. Yeah, good idea. Come Let's on. Let's go. Wait, it's heavy. It's heavy. I need help. Sorry, sorry. You're hunky, you say you're hunky. I will now create the perfect beverage to go with my lunchable because my mom forgot my Capri Sun! Mom, you slut! Okay, first I will combine a little bit of green Powerade, yes, with a little bit of the blue Powerade, yes, yes, and then a little bit of the red Kool-Aid! Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! <laughs> oh, this is going to be delicious. Hey. What? What? Who are you? How did you get in here? Mom, why did you let these children in my laboratory? Uh, we found this meteor. It landed in my backyard. A meteor, you say? Good. You know what that means. Aliens! I will take a look at this meteor. Ooh. Wait. This is not a meteor. Well, yes it is. It fell in my backyard. I saw it fall from the sky. That is because this is poo-poo that fell from an aeroplane. What are you talking about? Well, you see, the, the planes, they collect the poo-poo from the passengers when they use the toilet, and then they drop it from 30,000 feet, and it creates kind of a, a sheet rock. And then you have found this and brought it to me during my lunch break, so thank you very much for that. Ew, I like the turd. Let's get out of here, Cody. Yes, scram. Yeah, Junior, I can't believe I licked a turd. Nobody told me it was a turd. Try to get the taste out of my mouth. Hit like to get the taste out of my mouth. You didn't hit it yet. It still tastes like shit. Thank you. And if you didn't hit like, you're mean. So, Cody, like, this is an actual turd rock? Yes, Junior. I thought it was a meteor. But you said it smelled bad. Well, that's... I, I didn't... Uh, Junior, don't remind me. It's gross enough. So, two aliens literally died over a turd rock. Yeah, I'm just glad Jeffy left before they showed up. So, what do we do with it? Do we, like, flush it down the toilet? No, Junior. It's a rock. We just throw it away. Okay. I'll go get a trash bag. Yeah, this is gross. Yeah, it's mine. Hey, Danny, you want to see me show with me while I play my cat piano? No, Jeffy. But I already got you a microphone. That's not a microphone, that's a razor. What's a razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. God damn, bitch! You got a bush so big you gotta break out the power tools? I got a song about that. We don't want to hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cat piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush. Shave her hairy bush. Shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are you are grounded. Call my grounded, Daddy. I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. Ew, Jeffy, just put that out. Ow! There's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45 minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B. A B? Well, I B positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Oh. Anyway, Marvin, I'll see if you'd 
watched the tots for us, the last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that bloomin' onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yep, phone number's on the back. See you later. What? I didn't say yes. <sighs> come inside, kids. <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Doos. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Danny. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lesson. La, la, la. <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. And I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Um, ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> Wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm gonna be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. You know, I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Daddy, what are they talking about? This, Daddy, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it in Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know. Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you want to know what I think about your green beans? No! <laughs> Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Woo! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I'm gonna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, I did it! Holy shit! Me too! You wanna run around and have some break stuff? Yeah! Woo! I don't wanna run a break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! What are you kids doing? Hey Susie, let's go play in the garbage can. Woo! 
I'm gonna call your parents! Ugh. Marvin, what's all that noise downstairs? The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? We don't need the stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, that's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Huckerdoo. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. I got his voicemail. Oh, uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump off the back. Hey, Susie, look! I'm a chicken! Watch me fly! Oh, but chickens can't fly! This one can! Whoa! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. Ha 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 My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. But that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other. Hucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. You stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Uh, oh! oh! I'm so sorry! I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh. oh my god! You hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Daddy! Daddy the fucker dude's gotta go! Jeffy, language! No, mommy! That little girl broke my cat piano, so I hit her in the with a baseball bat! You did what, Jeffy? Baby, go check on her. Okay. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. They're here! You know, we're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The blooming onion was crispy. And guess who works there part time as a waitress? The babysitter! Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today! And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today! Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh, a math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8.01, so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife, Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a ten-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to bend it over. 
Demi, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> What's wrong, Mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up! Get your ass home! We're going! Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? said I would cook you dinner tonight? Yeah, what'd you cook me? I made you pizza rolls! I thought you said you were going to cook me dinner. I did, Marvin. It was so easy. I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and when they were done, the microwave went beep! It's so cool! Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm gonna go make some more! <sighs> Let me try them. It's still frozen. <gasps> Hey, my bibs, can I borrow $500? See, I really need some money, but I don't want to get a job. I just want to sit back and collect cash. <laughs> my bibs, did you hear me? I said I need $500, and I don't want to get a job. <laughs> oh, so you just gonna sit there and ignore me? Well, then forget you, my bibs. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life. I did? Yeah, I was choking on a pizza roll, and you did the Heimlich maneuver. I didn't lick your hiney. Well, no, no, you stopped me from choking. Dougie, what can I do to repair? Hey, you. Oh, you can give me a million bajillion dollars. I don't have that kind of money, Dougie. Oh, I wouldn't give me $500. I don't even have a $500, Dougie. What, is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, so I sat there and I recognized that you was choking. I said, oh no, my bibs is choking. My best friend, I got to save his life. So I went over there and I licked your hiney and you can't even give me $500 for saving your life. I don't have that kind of money. Is there anything else, like, is there anything else you want that I can do for you? Well, I do want some fried chicken Cheetos. You want some fried chicken and Cheetos? No, there's this new special edition Cheeto that tastes like fried chicken and I really want it. Can I go to the store and buy it? Yeah. Okay, see, that's easy. I can do that for you. Thank you for saving my life. I'm, I'm gonna go grab them right now. Thank you, my dips. Okay, Dougie, I got you regular and flaming hot Cheetos. Where's the fried chicken Cheetos at? I couldn't find those. All right, well, next time you choke it to death, you won't be able to find me. Well, no, look, Dougie, I got you two bags of Cheetos. Oh, so you think your life's only worth two bags of Cheetos? You think my life's only worth one bag of fried chicken Cheetos? Yeah, because I've never tried them before, and I really, really want to try them. Are you sure they even exist? I looked up and down the aisle. I could not find them. Yeah, my bitch, look. They right here. What, what kind of language is that? Cursive. That, that's not cursive, that's another language. It's like Arabic or like Chinese or something. Well listen, I really want to try the fried chicken Cheetos because I bet they taste so really good. Well, I don't even know if those are real. Look, how about this? There's a number on the back of the Cheetos bag. Call that number and let's ask if they exist. Okay, hopefully I get to talk to Chester Cheetos. Just call this number. Okay, Mobibs, it's making some type of ringing sound like that's what a phone does, Dougie. Hello, thank you for calling Cheetos Corporate. I hope you're having a dangerously cheesy day. Anyway, what can I do for you? Can I speak to Chester Cheeto? Ooh, he's in his office right now. Sorry. What? Give me the phone, Dougie. Hello? Hi. Listen, we just want to know where we can get the fried chicken Cheetos at. How do you know about those? Y you know what? Let me call you on my shelf. He just hung up on me. It's ringing again. Hold on. Hello? Hey, I went to my car. I would get executed if they heard me talking about this. It's top secret. So, the fried chicken Cheetos were made in Thailand, but it was a mistake. The company tried to destroy all the bags of them, so there's only a few left. And I know who has them, but it ain't cheap. And he's weird, man. Like, sometimes, I send him pictures of my feet. Okay, so... Can I get some fried chicken Cheetos? Can't talk. I just tracked your address on my laptop. I'll send them your way. What? Hello? So am I gonna get the fried chicken Cheetos or not? I, I, I don't know what's happening. 
Oh, uh, okay. You know what, Dougie? I'm gonna go answer the door. If you hear me scream, call the cops. Ah, uh, folks. Uh, hello? Hello, I am the Prince of Dubai. My name is Prince Abu Dhabi. But you can just call me friend. And this is my camel, Kamil Habib Habob. Kamil is in camel, Habib Habob is in corn on the cob. You know you don't have to say that every single time I say your name. Well, then you don't have to ride on my back. You have two feet at work. You are a camel, it is your job. It is not my job to carry you. It is my job to carry water in my home, not your lazy ass. You do this every time and embarrass me in front of my friends! <coughs> Don't you hit me, I'll hit you back with my hoof! <coughs> That's it! I kill your family! Look, okay, okay, calm, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. What, what is going on? My friend Jonathan, who has very sexy feet, by the way, he tells me you're looking for something that I maybe have, eh? Do you have fried chicken Cheetos? I do! I store them in Camille's hump! Well, can I possibly buy them? Hey, let's go upstairs and talk business, baby! Oh, okay. I told Camille to wait outside so he is not blabbering the whole time. So, you want these fried chicken Cheetos, huh? You like this shit, huh? Oh, my man, fuck, dude, you got the Cheetos! Oh, yeah, I know, that's exactly what we need. How much can I pay you for them? Oh, see, I don't accept money because I am very rich. I'm a billionaire, but I do like to trade. You like to trade? Well, I can trade you two bags of Cheetos for your one bag. See, I own the gas station you bought those Cheetos at because I like sell oil and stuff, so no. Okay, I can trade you these pizza rolls. Ooh, I don't like pizza rolls, so no. Well, I don't really know what else I could trade you for them. Marvin, the microwave's not working. I pressed the popcorn button and no popcorn came out. Well, did you put popcorn in the microwave? No, I put the pizza rolls in. That is the prettiest man I have ever seen. What? That's not a man, that's a woman. There's no way. Women aren't allowed to show their face or their feet. And those are the sexiest feet I have ever seen. Well, this is America. Women can show off whatever they want. They want. Okay, I would trade you one bag Cheetos for your whore. What? No! No, she's not a whore. She's my wife. Okay, okay. How about two bags of Cheetos for your whore? I am not selling my wife for two bags of Cheetos. Thank you, Marvin. How about two bags of Cheetos and $100 million? Well, uh, yes, I will, yes. What? No, Marvin! Well, it's $100 million, baby! Okay, come on, whore. Let's go. What? But your owner sold it to me. Owner? L listen, listen, in America, we don't own people. Listen, you can't buy her for $100 million, no matter how much money you offer me. Oh, come on. She'll have her own litter box at my house. See, in my country, women have the same rights as house cats. Plus, she'll be the prettiest of my 12 wives. You have 12 wives? Oh, yeah. Okay, listen, what other things could you want besides my wife? Well, I guess I could go for some slobbering on the knobbing. Oh, come on, baby, I won't even count it as cheating. For $100 million, you can slob on his knob and we get $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. No, Marvin! No, 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 no. See, I want you to do it, my friend, because you know how to make it feel good, and I want your mustache to tickle my taint. Come on, Marvin, $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. Ugh. Okay, for a hundred million dollars, I'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I never said about the hundred million dollars for the knob slobbing. Only the two bags of Cheetos, my friend. Okay, I'm not sucking knob for Cheetos. You can forget it, buddy. Listen, uh, is there anything else you want? Like, like, you can't get my wife, you can't get knob. Listen, what else do you want? Well, there is one thing, but it's impossible. What is it? I want Chester Cheeto to be my pet tiger. He's a cheetah. Yeah, same thing. Okay, I don't even think Chester Cheeto's real. I think he's just the mascot. Well, that's your issue to figure out. Okay, there's one person I think I can call to make this happen. It, just stay right here. Just don't leave. Just, ugh. Okay, I'm calling the Cheetos corporate number. Please answer. Hello. Thank you for calling Cheetos corporate. I hope you're keeping it dangerously cheesy. Hey, it's me again. Oh, hey. Did my friend come over? Yeah, your friend came over, but he's not accepting money. He wants me to trade him something. Ooh, he asked you to slob on his knob, didn't he? <laughs> Classic Abu Dhabi. Yeah, listen, he wants me to bring him Chester Cheeto. Ooh, well, for you, I guess I can give you his address, but I warn you, he's in really rough shape. Yeah, please just text me the address. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now that's what I call dangerously cheesy. Hey. Huh? Who are you? How'd you know where to find me? Listen, Chester, I got a friend that really wants to meet you. You the cops? No. Hit that shit, man. Uh, no thank you. I've already had a lot of Cheetos today. Oh, hell yeah. More for me. Uh, it feels like my heart's about to explode from all the cheesiness. Just, just one more. Uh, I'm king of the world. 
Listen, Chester, I have a friend that really, really wants to meet you. Oh, yeah? He got Cheetos? Oh, yeah, he does. Hell, yeah, man. He even got, you know, fried chicken flavored Cheetos. What did you just say? He has fried chicken flavored Cheetos? The damn Cheeto company tried to take them all away from me. Tried to destroy every bag because they were so damn good. Man, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Well, he definitely got the Cheetos and the knob. Well, take me to him. You're going to have to hold my hand, though, because I'm blind. You're blind? Yeah, what do you think I wear these glasses for? I thought you wore them because you were cool. Nah, I'm blind as shit, man. Okay, come on. Okay, friend, here's Chester Cheeto. Oh, my Allah, you have brought me Chester Cheeto. What's going on, party people? Listen, Mr. Chester Cheeto, I have been your biggest fan for very many times, and I would love it for you to be my kitty cat. Sure, man. I don't give a shit, as long as there's those fried chicken Cheetos for me. Well, the problem is I promised my last two bags to these people. Ah, no deal then, man. But I'll tell you what, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Deal, 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 deal. Screw these people and I hope their mothers get banged by very many men. Bye. What the hell was that, Marvin? Do I not get the Cheetos? I guess not. Listen, I felt very bad about saying your mother should get banged by very, very, very many men. So I decided to bring you one fried chicken Cheeto. But don't tell Jester. Well, Dougie, it looks like you get to try what the fried chicken Cheeto tastes like. Oh, I've waited so long for this. I finally get to try the fried chicken Cheeto. Mm -hmm. Ew, it tastes like shit. I'd rather have the five hundred dollars. I'm so glad we decided to sit around and eat our favorite candy today. Wait, dude, what kind of candy is that? You've never heard of goobers? They're chocolate-covered nuts. They're amazing. Hey, Junior, I got some nuts for you, but they're not chocolate-covered. More like flesh. What's up, my Snickers? Get it? Like my candy bar? I like Reese's. Hey, 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 everybody, listen up. Nobody lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Got it? Okay. Good. Hey guys, you wanna play basketball? Yeah, let's go play basketball! Yeah, let's yeah. play two on two! Alright guys, we're gonna play two on two. So it's gonna be me and Junior versus Cody and Jeffy. But that's not fair, I suck at basketball. He's right, Joseph, he does suck at basketball. One of us should play with Cody because we're really good. How about you? What? Why do I have to play with a nerd? Because you have a darker skin complexion, Joseph, which means you're good at basketball. <sighs> you are right, I am a god at basketball. So the best player at basketball has to play with the worst player, the whitest kid here, which is Cody. I guess it's me and Cody versus Junior and Jeffy then. Alright, so first person to get one basketball Basket wins. But that's a short game. If you don't want to play basketball, just say so. Where did they go? <laughs> Where's Jeffy Block Joseph? I'm what? trying. Oh, dude, Cody, open up. Catch. I got it. I got it. Oh, no. Butterfingers. Grab it, Jeffy. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. No. Uh, oh, whoa, get ducked on. This is my house, bitch. Woo, we won. Cody. Dude, what the hell was that? You're supposed to catch the ball. I'm sorry, Joseph. I just ate a Butterfingers, and now my fingers are all buttery. No excuses. I never lose at basketball. You're not my friend anymore. Yeah. Uh, Joseph, my Butterfingers! <sighs> Joseph, don't be mad. It's not my fault. It's the Butterfingers. No, don't blame that Butterfinger. You're just ass. You're ass at basketball. You should be nowhere near a court. Well, I mean, I am ass at basketball. I guess you could say I'm asketball. Guys, calm down. Let's just watch TV. Cody, can you turn the TV on? Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn it. Dude! What, how'd you drop the remote, Cody? It's the Butterfingers, I told you. Oh, go wash your hands, dude. Yeah, wash your hands, Cody. Okay, fine. Let me grab the remote. Okay, let me wash my hands. Damn it, I can't seem to grab it. Come on, hands, grab the handle. Damn it, they're still slippery from the Butterfingers. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Okay, guys, I'm back. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Uh -huh. I did. Well, we just ordered pizza. Yeah, dude, we're starving. Oh, good, because that Butterfinger was just a snack. Yeah, the pizza will be here any second. <gasps> It's here! Yay! Cody, can you go grab it? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's your house. Shouldn't you grab it? Well, you washed your hands, right? It, yeah. So you could grab the pizza, right? Uh, maybe. Cody, come on. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey there, I have a pepperoni pizza and some cheese sticks for a junior. That's me! All right, that'll be $10, please. Here you go. Oh, sir, if you could just please crumple that up and just throw it in the yard. You want me to crumple up the money and throw it in the yard? Yeah, because that way it'll be like a game when I have to go find it later. Okay. Yay! 
If you could just grab your Pepsi now, please. Cody, can you grab the pizza? Yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind grabbing that pizza, I don't have the energy to bring the pizza inside for you right now. If you didn't notice my search unbuttoned, because the last lady's house I went to, she didn't have money to pay for your pizza, so she paid me in another way. She gave me raspberries and beat me up. It was so hot. So if you could just grab this pizza, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'll try. Grab the pizza, Cody. Uh, 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 uh. What? You dropped the pizza, Cody? Hey, no refunds. Uh, my Butterfingers, Junior, my Butterfingers. Did you wash your hands? I lied. Uh, oh, man. Wait, what happened, dude? Cody dropped the pizza on the ground. What? You were supposed to wash your hands, bro. I couldn't turn the faucet on. Well, thanks, Cody, for ruining our pizza, because I'm not eating carpet pizza. Shit, I eat this carpet pizza. <laughs> I eat pizza out of dumpster. <laughs> Come on, Cody. Let's go ask Chef PB to cook us something else. Okay. Chef PB, can you make us something to eat? <laughs> Cody, get in the fire extinguisher! The kitchen's on fire! Cody, grab the fire extinguisher! It's in the pantry! Really? Me? Yes, grab it, Cody! The house is in the... No, grab it, Cody! Damn, put some pep in your cell! Grab it! Fine. Where is the stupid fire extinguisher? Oh, there it is. Oh, god damn it. Shit, there's a fire! Good thing I got cups of water. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here you go. Fire neutralized. Wait, hold on. There's a little tiny. Oh God! Okay, there we go. Now the fire's neutralized. Thank you so much, firefighter. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, guys, I cannot pick up that fire extinguisher. Too late, Cody. The fire department already came and put out the fire. Yeah, no thanks to you, Cody. We all could have died, and it would have been your fault. Well, hey, if you wanted the fire extinguisher that bad, you could have gotten it yourself. Oh, I could strangle you right now. Hey, Chef Baby, can you make us something to eat? We're hungry. I'm not making anything else. The ramen's burnt. Look, you better order something. I give up. Oh, come on, Cody. Dude, what was all that noise downstairs? I heard screaming. Well, there was a fire in the kitchen, but Cody wouldn't grab the fire extinguisher. What? Dude, do you want us all to die? I couldn't grab the fire extinguisher because of my Butterfingers. Bro, I'm getting tired of this Butterfingers excuse. Me too, Cody. What are we going to eat now? Oh, dude, um, I'm kind of full off this carpet pizza. Yeah, and I still have my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn it. My Butterfingers. That's it, Cody. Come with me to the bathroom. I'm going to wash your hands. Please. Please do that. And I'm gonna eat this piece of crust in frustration. Mm. Come on, Cody. We're gonna scrub your fingers till they're squeaky clean. Good. Junior! Come downstairs. I need your help right now. Hold on, Dad. Don't tell me to hold on. Out of my house. Come downstairs right now. Come on, Cody. My dad needs me. What do you want, Dad? I want you to meet your great-grandmother, Janice. See, these are her ashes. Wait, why are there two vases? Oh, that's because Janice was a big bitch. See, we needed two vases, almost three, but we just left a little bit behind. <laughs> Who's gonna know, right? <laughs> that's cool. So what do you want us to do, Dad? I need you to take your great-grandmother upstairs to my room so I can see her and remember her. Uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, everybody's gonna carry a vase, all right? Oh, I, I can't hold it. I don't wanna hear that. You carry something in my house, so you'll carry the big one since you wanna complain. I don't think I can. No, no, you better carry Sorry. Cody, let's get out of here. No, 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 you ain't going no other. You look, look, grab my grandma right here. You taking a small basis, you wanna mess up. Uh, listen, dog, it's just gonna happen again. I don't wanna hear that shit. Take my grandma on stairs, boy. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that one's on you, though. Jesus! Grandma, you all on the floor! Cody, I think it'd be best if you just go home. Can you please help me wash my hands first? Wait, what happened now? Cody dropped the ashes at my great grandma. Jesus, just tell us you hate people already. Somebody please help me wash my hands. I am begging you. All right, Cody, we're gonna go straight to the bathroom. Nothing's gonna distract us. Let's go. There's someone at the door. No, no, we wash my hands first. That's rude. You're just gonna leave somebody at the door just waiting? Yeah, Cody, that's rude. You have no manners. That's what's wrong with you. Come on. I need to wash my hands. Uh, hold on, Cody. I gotta tie my shoe. You answer the door. Okay. Hello? Hey there. I'm Steve Stalberger, and you're on the hit TV show, Hold, hold that, that baby. baby. Oh, no. Junior, I can't hold the baby right now. You do it. Sorry, Sonny. We chose you. All you have to do is hold the baby for five seconds, and you win $10,000. $10, so let's see what baby you're holding today. Tommy Pickles! Oh no, not Tommy Pickles! All you have to do is hold him for five seconds. Go on. Uh, I can't. Are you refusing to hold this adorable baby on live television? Uh, no, no, I like babies. Well, you wouldn't want all of America to think you're a baby hater, do you? N no. Well, go on, hold him. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait
Did you just drop the baby? Yeah. You're a baby dropper. Everybody, boo him. Junior, I can't believe I just dropped Tommy Pickles on national television. Oh, dude, I saw that. That was so crazy. Everybody hates you, man. Not me. I loved it. <laughs> I'm such a bitch, Angelica. Get out of here. Go play with your doll or something. Sit Gosh, she's so weird. She plays with dolls. I'm just gonna grab Ken and get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it! I can't even hold on to Ken! Look, Cody, we're gonna go wash your hands once and for all. Oh, thank you, Junior. Look, just hold on to my hands so nothing happens. Okay. Okay, Cody, this is the only bar of soap we have in the whole house. You all use the same bar of soap? Yeah, it's the family bar of soap. We don't want to waste any money, so we just take that bar of soap and rub it between our butt cheeks. Wait, what is this, the Great Depression? You can't afford more soap? Look, Cody, just pick up that bar of soap and wash your hands with it. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Oh! <laughs> now I'll never clean my butter fingers. That's it, Cody. Just... Put your hand under the water. Junior, what's that? water's not gonna get the butter off these fingers. It's just gonna make them more buttery. Well, we don't have any soap unless you want to grab it from the toilet. No. So you're not gonna wash your hands? I can't. Oh, okay, you know what? That's it. Get your stupid Ken doll and leave. <laughs> okay, Cody, pick up Ken and leave. But I'm just gonna drop him again. Wait, he didn't wash his hands? He dropped the bar soap in the toilet. Oh, dude, there's no hope for him. Just bite into him and pick him up. But I don't want to put teeth marks in him. Usually I'm pretty good about not using my teeth. But I guess it's the only way. He's too heavy, I can't do it. Pick him up with your hands. Okay, I'll try. Okay, I can do this. Damn it, it's not gonna work. All right, Cody, I don't know what to tell you. You drop the bar of soap, I can't help you. Junior, I have an idea. It's a little weird, but it will work. What? I need you to suck the butter off my fingers. Oh, I ain't with that freaky shit, bro. Oh no, Cody, what do I get out of it? I, I'll give you 50 bucks. Show me the money. Okay. Uh, there it is. I mean, he didn't say money was on the line now. Okay, Cody, I'll do it. Just hurry up. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Boner alert. Boner alert. I have a boner. Shut up, Cody. Give me the other hand. Okay. Ooh, yeah, I'm into this. I think I discovered a new kink. <laughs> okay, it's done. Okay, let's see if it worked. <gasps> it worked! I don't have butter fingers anymore! Uh, quick question. Why can't you lick your own fingers? What? Why couldn't he lick his own fingers to get the butter off, dude? Why did you have to do it? Haha, <laughs> Junior! I didn't have butter fingers all day! I just wanted you to suck my fingers! I have a boner! That's a fake 50. So, guys, what do you want to do today? We should stay inside and read a book. <laughs> Anyone else have any bright ideas? Well, we could go in the forest and light this firework. Oh, that would be such a cool idea! Oh, dude, we have to do that. That's fun! Uh, okay, hold on, guys. It's daytime, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. And also, it's the dry season, so we could cause a forest fire. And the firework is bent, so it won't even fly straight. It might hit somebody. Cody, are you a firework expert? No, but I have eyes and I can see that it's bent. Then I don't want to hear your opinion if you're not a firework expert. I want to see your firework license. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, we're gonna go light this firework, Cody. You coming? No, I'm not going. Wow, stay here and be a loser. Come on, guys. Loser. Okay, Jeffy, light the firework. All right, Junior, this is gonna be sick. Yeah, dude. Oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, oh. Stay back, stay back. Oh, dude. Oh, it, it hit the tree. Uh, dude, we just started a forest fire. Let's get out of here. Ah! Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, Simmons, there's a forest fire and there are houses around. Should we go in the houses and check for cats? No, I think we should focus on putting out the fire. You go get some bottles of water and start throwing them on there. On it! God, I really wish we had a real fire truck with water. We don't really get any funding these days. Okay, I'm gonna call for backup. Hello, Chief? This is Station 4. Thank you, thank you. We need backup. Over. Yes, Lieutenant Guy? What do you need backup for? Yeah, Chief, I got a forest fire here, and you didn't give me a truck with water, so I don't really know what to do. Also, the Dalmatian you gave me is not a Dalmatian. He's just really cute, and all he wants is cuddles. To be fair, I don't know what the Dalmatian was supposed to do anyway. Well, what I would do is ask any nearby houses if you can use their water hose. And if that doesn't work, spit on it. Oh, yeah, uh, got it, Chief. Over and out. Thank you.
Hey, mate, I found this lighter. A lighter? That means kids might have been playing with fireworks. Simmons, take that back to the police station and look for fingerprints. Screw this fire. We have a suspect to look for. Ah! What are we gonna do? I don't know, dude! So how'd it go? Based on your reaction, I would guess not great. It went great, Cody. Yeah, perfectly fine, dude. Shut up! Yeah, shut your pie hole, Cody! So how'd it go? Why do you keep asking questions? Yeah, just shut your mouth, God! Yeah, you're acting like we started a forest fire or something. We did it! You're totally innocent! You know what? I'm gonna turn on the news just to see. Breaking news, okay? A forest fire is currently burning the forest. The cause is unknown. Please stay away from the area. Wow, looks like somebody started a forest fire. I wonder who did it. Dude, they're totally onto us. What are we gonna do? Ow! Shut up, Joseph. No one knows we caused that forest fire. Oh yeah, we totally did not cause that forest fire. Technically, it was the fireworks fault. <gasps> it was the fireworks fault. It wasn't our fault. So you guys did start the forest fire. No, Cody, tell us whose fault this is. We took a firework into the woods and we lit it and then it blew up randomly and then made the forest catch on fire. Randomly. Well, you guys lit the fireworks, so it's not that random, is it? Well, we didn't want it to go in the forest. We lit it so it'd blow up in the sky. It curved and went into the woods. It was bent. I told you that was going to happen. So everyone who buys a firework is supposed to bring you with them to tell them not to do it? There are warnings on the fireworks. Well, no one's going to read the warning. They're just excited they have a firework. They just want to hurry up and light it. And we're kids. I think they just assume it's common sense. Well, I don't have that. I know. So look, I think we should sue the firework company for making fireworks to begin with. Dude, that's a genius idea. I think you guys should just stay quiet because nobody knows you started the fire. But if you try to sue somebody, they're going to find out. Well, no, if we sue them first before we get arrested, then they're gonna get in trouble because we could sue them because why would they even make something that explodes? That's dangerous. And that's stupid. So we should sue them, we'd win, we get more money, then we buy more fireworks, then we cause more forest fires, then we sue them again. Ooh, the infinite money glitch. Oh, we gotta do it before they patch it. Yeah, infinite money glitch. Okay, you guys can just do whatever you want. I'm gonna stay here. Okay, I'm gonna call a lawyer. Hey there, you called a lawyer for some legal advice? Yeah, we did. Well, I want to let you know that I charge $10,000 a minute, so start talking. We don't have that kind of money. Well, then I'm leaving. Well, no, 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 don't leave. We know your son Richard, and he said that you'd be our lawyer for free. He said that? He sure did. I'm gonna beat his ass. Richard, get your privileged ass in here! Yeah, Dad, you told me to wait in the Lamborghini. Do you know these poor people? Hey, Richard. Hi. I've never seen him a day before in my life. Okay, good. You lied to me. Well, no, we didn't lie to you. We, we know him. Look, here's what's going on. They started a forest fire by lighting some fireworks in the woods, and now they want to sue the fireworks company for making fireworks. Uh, ow! We didn't start the fire. Someone else did. It was a friend of ours. <sighs> a friend of theirs started a forest fire. I see what's going on here. First of all, you can't sue the firework company. And what I would do is, I would hide, and I wouldn't say anything to anybody. There, there's your free legal advice. See, Junior, I told you. Why would you tell him that we started the forest fire? Now he's gonna go tell the cops. It was pretty obvious. No, you should have said our friends caused it. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna go to jail now. We're so going to jail. Hey, Susan, can you run the fingerprints on this lighter for me? All right, let me see. Trying to figure out who started this forest fire. Oh my god, it was you! Oh no! Mike, get in here! What's up, Simmons? I was putting my cop outfit on. It was me who started the forest fire! His fingerprints were on the lighter! Simmons, how could you? I don't even remember doing it, mate! All those poor wild animals! Simmons, I'm so sorry, but I hate to do this. I have to arrest you. I understand, mate. I deserve it! Wait a second, are you wearing gloves? No, no I am not. Hold on, there's a second set of fingerprints on here. Enhancing, enhancing, bingo, Jeffy, age 18. Oh, that makes way more sense, Simmons. I was with you the whole time. It couldn't have been you. You should just wear gloves next time. I'm gonna go arrest Jeffy. Freeze, Jeffy, you're under arrest for starting that forest fire. See, Cody, I told you that lawyer snitched on us. Well, nobody snitched, except for his fingers, because we found his fingerprints on the lighter. Well, if I chew them off, you won't have any proof. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, do that. Yeah. Spit your fingers out. Yeah. Stop eating your fingers. Damn, Pooby, you have a hairy arm. I sure do. And it's right up my ass. Well, Jeffy, have fun in jail. What, Junior, you and Joseph helped? Ooh, you dirty cracker! Yeah, you stupid honky, why would you tell him that? Oh, we gotta stick together, bro. Yeah, brothers gotta protect each other. What, you guys were really just gonna let Jeffy go to jail? When the pinky gets gangrene, you cut it off to save the body, Cody. Wait, hold on, you're saying these two kids also started the fire? Yeah. Well, no, listen, it was my idea to shoot the firework off in the forest, but I didn't light the firework, he lit it. But I, I also provided the firework, and Joseph... I ain't do shit. I'm out! Uh, it's true. He really didn't do much. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you and Jeffy are under arrest then. Well, I want to sue the firework company for inventing fireworks. W what? Okay, look, let's just go to jail and we'll let the judge sort it out. Yeah, let's, let's let him sort it out. Order, 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 order. I am 
Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy and Junior. These two boys are being accused of starting a forest fire and killing chipmunks and squirrels and lizards and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. You boys, why did you start this forest fire? Did Smokey the Bear teach you nothing? Well, you see, Your Honor, it wasn't our fault. It was the fireworks fault. Yep, it was the fireworks fault. Go on. Please continue. See, Your Honor, what happened was we took the firework into the woods and we lit it and then it flew in the woods and caught on fire. So my argument is, is that if fireworks were never invented, then that we could have never gotten one and then it would have never caught the forest on fire. So we want to sue the creator of fireworks. I see. So you boys are going with the insanity defense because, I mean, you must be stupid to think you could sue a firework for blowing up. I mean, that's like me going to a restaurant, ordering food and choking on it and then suing the restaurant because I didn't chew my food. That's that's like me hiring a prostitute and then her giving me herpes and me suing her because she gave me herpes. I mean, I knew the risk and that's just, that's a memory I'm going to have to live with and my burning urethra. So you two boys are going to have to live with the consequences of your actions the way I live with my herpes. Now, you two are obviously guilty, but what punishment do I give you? Hmm, let me just check the punishment book real quick. Oh, there it is! Screw you, forest haters! I sentence you to plant one tree, and I sentence you to one night of community service with police supervision. Uh, officer guy, you accompany them. Uh, can't do that, Judge. The heat game's tonight, so you're gonna have to find someone else. The heat? Oh, you're going to supervise these kids, or you will spend the next month in jail. That's an order. Go Knicks! Oh, you look like a Knicks fan, you bastard. Come on, kids. Ruining my night. Ugh, I hate you kids for ruining my night. Hey look, Cody left us a note! I know you guys are going to jail. Call me when you get out. Love, Cody. That was nice of him. Okay kids, here's the deal. See, you guys are supposed to plant a tree tonight, okay? But fuck that. Mr. Beast already planted like 20 million trees and I'm pretty sure he's got you guys covered. We're just gonna say one of those trees was yours. Now you guys are also supposed to do community service tonight and I'm supposed to watch you. But see, here's the thing. <clears throat> the only thing I'm watching is the heat! See, because when we win this game, we're gonna go on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and then I get to wear this shirt. See that? Hemi stands for Hemi Butler. See what he does is he whips out his ball sack on the court and he rubs it on people's faces while he's dunking on them. But I thought we were supposed to do community service. You are doing community service. You're helping a police officer watch the heat game. Thank you for your service. But like, aren't we supposed to like tell the community that we're sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell them they're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that by playing the game sorry while I watch the heat beat this sorry ass team. Like, who even are the Knicks? You really thought you could beat Jimmy in your dreams, New York? But aren't we supposed to pick up trash on the interstate? What, the only trash that would be on the interstate is if the Knicks' bus broke down on the way home. Well, like, we can't go pick up trash outside? What, no, because there's no TV outside and I couldn't watch the Heat game. Aren't we supposed to, like, go clean up the forest? Well, okay, you guys can just do whatever the hell you want. Just don't tell the judge, okay? I'm gonna watch the Heat game. Hey, Junior, you wanna go outside and light more fireworks? Yeah, let's go do it! Oh, thank God they're gone. Ooh, the game is starting. What? what? Breaking news, okay? A second forest fire has started, and this one is so bad that we will have to interrupt the Miami Heat and New York Knicks game with around-the-clock coverage. Sorry if you're trying to watch the game. You won't be able to. <laughs> uh, we kind of just started another forest fire. Yeah, I know. I just saw it on the news. That means I don't get to watch the Heat game. Bam at a bye. No! For anyone who didn't get that, there's a guy on the Miami Heat whose name is Bam Adebayo. You know, Bam Adebayo, Bam Adebayo, no. it's a pun. a 250 word essay on the first person to milk a cow. Like why would the guy walk up to the cow and grab the cow's udder and whack it off until the white stuff came out and then drink it? And also, what made him leave it out in the sun and let it get all moldy and everything and then eat it as cheese? But anyway, y'all write an essay on that. Hey 
Hey, wait a minute. What did make someone go milk a cow and drink the white stuff for the first time? Must have been my great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, I believe it. Hey, guys, before we start our essay, you want any peanuts? Oh, penis? Yeah, sign me up. I want some. No, 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 peanuts. Oh, peanuts. No, I don't want any. I'm fine. Hey, Penelope, you want any peanuts? No, Junior, you shouldn't eat those in class. They're messy. Wait, how about some peanuts? Ugh! Ooh, that boy's savage. <laughs> All right, Kraus, while you write your essay, I'm gonna eat my grilled chicken sandwich from chick fil -A. I don't get the fried one because they fry it in peanut oil, and I'm deaf allergic to peanuts. And Junior, I see you eating peanuts in class. Don't you let those things get near me. Don't worry, teacher, I won't let the peanuts get near you. I believe a guy milked a cow for the first time because he bought a wedding ring for his wife and this cow's udder was the same size as his wife's finger and he wanted to see if the ring would fit. So he put the ring on the udder and it got stuck and he started yanking on the ring to get the, the ring off the udder and the udder squirt milk in his mouth and he said, mmm, that's yummy. It. You're under arrest for trying to kill your teacher with a peanut. It wasn't me! Says the kid with peanuts on his desk. Tell it to the judge, bucko. Come on. <laughs> order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Booba. <laughs> Today we will be hearing the case of Junior, who is being accused of trying to kill his teacher by throwing a peanut onto his teacher's sandwich after his teacher explicitly said he was allergic to peanuts. Is this true, Chew? True, Chew? True, Chew, true, Chew, true, Chew, true, Chew, true, Chew, true, Chew? Is this true, Mr. Chew? That is correct. He tried to kill me. I didn't try to kill him. It was someone else. You had a bag of peanuts on your desk, so you had to be the one that threw it. It wasn't me. Ah, yes, the shaggy defense. Should I be on the counter? It wasn't me. Well, Mr. Junior, you're not the first kid to try to kill their teacher, and you certainly won't be the last. But if I let you go now, you might try to kill him again. So I have no choice but to find you guilty and sentence you to death by electric chair. Tonight. Bye. See you later. Electric chair? Come on, dead boy. Or soon to be dead boy. Get in there, you. Oh, I don't want to die. Yeah, it sucks, but you did the crime. Okay, so you do get a last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So we'll be back in a few minutes to take your order. Would you like a drink while you wait, or maybe some breadsticks, Caesar salad? I'm too sad to eat. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, that, that's the visitor doorbell? We put a doorbell in so that the death row inmates know when they have visitors. We made it sound like a home doorbell, because death row inmates are never going home, because they're going to die. I'll get it. Hey, Junior. Hey, guys. Oh, dude, I heard you're dying tonight. That sucks. Well, say hi to my dad when you get to hell. How do you know I'm going to hell? Uh, I just had that feeling, dude. Well, Joseph, Junior's not dying tonight because we're going to get him out of here. You're going to break me out of jail? No, we're not going to jail for you, but we are going to prove your innocence. How do you know I'm innocent? Well, because if you had actually thrown that peanut, you would have said, hey, guys, look what I'm about to do before you did it because you like to show off. Yeah, you like to glow, dude. You're right. If I would have threw that peanut, I would have told you guys I was going to do it first. Yeah, exactly. We don't know who threw that peanut, but me and Joseph are going to find out. In the meantime, you need to buy time. How am I going to buy time, Cody? They're going to kill me tonight. But before they execute you, they have to give you your last meal, and that can be whatever you want. So just make sure you ask for something impossible for them to get, like something that could take days or even weeks for them to get, so they have to postpone your execution. Will that really work? Yeah, it's your last meal. They have to give you whatever you want. O okay, I'll ask for something really hard to get. Okay, come on, Joseph. Let's go find out who threw that peanut. Okay, I gotta order something really hard. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. How can I take your order? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Death Row. How can I take your order? Sorry, I haven't been a server since I worked at Applebee's. What do you want? So I can literally order whatever I want. Yeah, literally whatever you want and as much as you want, too. I mean, we can do crazy stuff. Like John Wayne Gacy, that crazy guy who dressed up like a clown and ate kids, he ordered a dozen deep-fried shrimp, a bucket of KFC's original recipe chicken, french fries, a pound of strawberries, and a bottle of Diet Coke. And then this other guy, James Edward Smith, he wanted a lump of dirt. So we can do pretty much anything. 
Okay, so uh, I want you to go to the top of Mount Everest. Okay, Mount Everest. And I want you to find a bald eagle's nest. A bald eagle, okay. And steal an egg uh -huh. and cook it sunny side up. Sunny side up, good choice, good choice. I want you to go to the Marianas Trench. Okay. Yeah. And kidnap a bunch of baby octopuses. Ooh, okay, baby octopus. And I want you to go get a Papa John's pizza, a pepperoni one, and I want you to take the pepperonis off and put the octopuses on the pizza. Oh, okay, octopus pizza. And I want Papa John to say a racial slur at the pizza. Okay, that shouldn't be hard. And then I want you to go to the Sahara Desert uh -huh. and find a blue cactus. Blue cactus, Sahara yeah. I want to eat that. Okay. Uh, I want uh, two Big Macs, mm -hmm. but I want the Big Macs from somewhere where they worship cows. Well, like India? Yeah, yeah, get a cow from India, the most worshipped cow in India. Okay, the most worshipped cow in India. Yeah, I want that, I want that how you make the meat from the Big Macs. Mm -hmm. I want a two month expired can of ravioli okay. from Chef Boyardee. Uh, does it have to be two months? Has to be two months expired. Okay, okay, got it. Two month expired ravioli. Uh, what day is it? Uh, Sunday. Oh, I want Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. I still want it. Okay, you got it, Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. Uh, anything to drink with that? Uh, I want you to go to Tatooine and go to McDonald's and get blue milk. Okay, blue milk from Tatooine. Uh -huh. I want George Lucas to taste test it for me. Tasted by George Lucas, got it. And uh, anything for dessert? Uh, the crust of uh, Pop-Tarts. Just the crust? Only the crust. I only like the crust. Oh, me too. Okay, so uh, I'll go get all this stuff, but it might take a little while, so your execution might not be tonight. Sorry about the inconvenience. But I'll get this going and you just sit tight, okay? Yeah. All right, Joseph, let's look around the classroom and see if we can find any clues that prove Junior's innocent. Okay, dude. <sighs> Gotta find some evidence. Let me check Bully's desk. Hmm. What a silly drawing. Oh, I gotta find some evidence! Oh my god, Joseph, look! Oh, what's up, dude? There's a security camera of the classroom. It shows Bully grabbing a peanut off Junior's desk and throwing it at the teacher. I'll record it with my phone and show it to the cops. Come on, let's go! <sighs> Cody, where are you? Order up! What, you actually got all the food? Hell yeah, I did. This is your last meal. Okay, so this is your sunny side up bald eagle egg from the top of Mount Everest. This is your blue milk from the McDonald's on Tatooine. This is your blue cactus from the Sahara Desert. These are your Big Macs from India. This is your two month old expired Chef Boyardee ravioli. This is your Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. And this is your baby octopus pizza that Papa John's himself personally yelled a racial slur at. He even yelled a racial slur at the garlic sauce. I didn't even want him to. He actually wouldn't stop yelling racial slurs. He speaks entirely in racial slurs now. Oh, and also this is your Pop-Tart crust. How did you get all this? Oh, it was not easy. Let me tell you the story. So I hopped on a non-stop flight to Nepal, because that's where Mount Everest is, and then I hired a Sherpa to take me up to the top of the mountain. But about halfway up Mount Everest, my Sherpa died, so I had to make the rest of the hike on my own. But when I got to the top of Mount Everest, I saw a bald eagle's nest, and I thought, wow, this is going to be easy. So I grabbed one of the eggs, and then all of a sudden, this eagle swooped down and punched me right in the face. Like, he punched me. Like, he didn't scratch me. He balled up his talons and punched me in the face. So I started throwing haymakers. I started punching him and his his face. And then the eagle held me down and started pecking at my eyes, and then he threw me off the top of Mount Everest and I fell all the way back down to the bottom. But I still had the egg in my hand, so I got that. So then I hopped on another non-stop flight to Guam, and then from there I took a submarine out into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, and I saw a family of octopi. So then I wrote free candy on the side of my submarine, because even octopus kids can't resist free candy. So then when they came up, I kidnapped the baby octopuses. And the, and the octopus mom and dad, they were so upset, they were screaming an octopus. I mean, I don't speak octopus, but they seemed very upset. So from there, I hopped on another non-stop flight over to Italy, and I went over to Papa John's house so he could cook me up a pizza. So he answered the door and he called me a racial slur because I guess that's just how he says hello. So then he cooked up the pizza with the octopi on it and then he called the pizza a racial slur and then he called me a racial slur. So from there I hopped on another non-stop flight to North Africa which is where the Sahara Desert is and then I rented a camel and then wandered out into the middle of the Sahara Desert and then my camel died of dehydration so I lost the deposit on the camel. So I just kind of wandered around the Sahara Desert for a while, you know, I was dehydrated so I was hallucinating and I was starting to see things and I saw a mirage or I thought it was a mirage, but it turned out it was an actual blue cactus. So I took it, and then I blacked out from dehydration. So then I woke up in a pyramid hospital, and I said, well, thank you for saving my life, and then I hopped on another non-stop flight to India. I got a lot of frequent flyer miles on this trip. So then when I got to India, I saw a bunch of people gathered around worshipping a cow, and then I said, hey, I, I gotta take this cow to the vet, because I think he has mad cow disease. But really, I just took it out back, and I shot it, and I butchered it for the meat, and then I came out with two Big Macs. So from from there, I hopped on another non-stop flight over to NASA, and then I had them send me on a rocket to Tatooine. But then when I got to Tatooine, I got robbed by some Jawas, and they were all like, Ootini! And then, when I was in Mos Eisley, I found the McDonald's there. So I went through the drive through and they were like, Ootini! And then I ordered that blue milk you wanted, and they gave it to me, and they, also, they, they said, Ootini! 
And so after I came out of the drive-thru, I saw they actually have a Chick-fil-A on Tatooine too. And it's open on Sundays because the days don't work the same there. So I went through the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A and they went, Oodini! And I got that chicken. So then from there, I, I, I hopped on a rocket and I went back to my house and then I went into my pantry. And it turns out I actually already had a two-month-old expired can of Chef Boyardee ravioli. And I had some Pop-Tarts, so I just took the crust off those. So yeah, you should be grateful that I brought all this food to you. So bon appetit, dig in, eat the cactus. I want to see how that works. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Damn it! You pulled a Lawrence Russell Brewer on me. There was another guy who ordered a bunch of food, and then when we brought it, he said he didn't even want it. Damn it! I knew you were gonna do this. I was halfway up Mount Everest, and I said, I bet that little bastard doesn't even touch his food. But you know what? I'm taking this egg. I fought hard for this egg. Okay, let's go to the electric chair. Uh, actually, I, I do want to eat. Oh, okay, we'll eat the cactus. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. Come on, let's go. All right, Simmons, let him fry. All right, mate. Let me just turn it on. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't do it. I have proof. Show me. Look, right there. It's his other kid named Bully. He threw the peanut. Oh, man. That's lame. I wanted to fry him. Simmons, let him go. All right. I'll go arrest this bully. Oh, thank you so much, Cody, for getting proof that it wasn't me. Yeah, never had him. Order, 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 it turns out you were the one who threw the peanut on your teacher's sandwich. Well, normally I would love to give you the electric chair, but we spent too much money on giving the last kid his final meal, and now we can't afford to turn the chair on. So I suppose I have to sentence you to 100 days community service picking up trash on the freeway. Ugh, picking up trash? I wanted the electric chair! I know, right? I wanted to see someone fry. This is dumb. I hate this stupid job. Mm-mm-mm! My junk food jambalaya is almost ready! Oh, it smells so delicious! Oh my god, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. But first, I need to add one more ingredient, the olive oil. <laughs> Let's sauce it up, baby! <laughs> okay, all right, I need to go to the bathroom. You hear that, guys? My tummy's ready for some din din. What the hell is din din? You know, din din like dinner. Dude, are you two years old? Guys, calm down. Chef Pee Pee will be done cooking dinner soon. Well, what's he cooking? Because my tummy's ready for some din din. Isn't that right, tummy? Yeah, Cody, I want some din din. Dude, if you say din din one more time, your ass is done done. Ah! Why am I alive? Is that a food monster? Ah! <laughs> What the hell was that, Junior? I was trying to distract him. Good thinking, dude. Maybe it's a food zombie, and we got to eat him before he spreads. Yeah, let's eat him. Wait, don't eat him. What if it's a kid and Sheppy was trying to cook him, and maybe all that food got burned onto his skin when he was in the oven before he escaped? Dude, that's a dark turn. We're kids. Wait, so Sheppy be trying to cook kids? Well, why else would food be alive? Help me! Oh, he's saying help me. Only a kid would say help me. Wait, hold on. Where are you from? The kitchen! Chef Pee-Pee's from the kitchen. Yeah, so is food. But need to cook kids! Oh no, we have to call the cops. Poor Chef Pee-Pee, but he has to go to jail for his crimes trying to cook a kid. What's wrong with him? Okay. Cody, go call the cops. Okay, yeah, I'll go get my phone. <laughs> okay, Junior, I got my phone. Um, he's eating your dog, dude. <laughs> Joseph, stop him! Cody, no! Joseph, please! Cody, shut up! Junior, tell Joseph to stop you. Junior, I don't care, I'm still gonna watch. Cody, just call 911. Oh, uh, yeah. Yo, 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 yo! 911! What's your emergency? Yeah, hey, sorry, I'm just trying to liven things up here. This job can get really depressing, you know, listening to people's emergencies all the time. Like, the last call I got was about this guy who killed his whole family, and then he shot himself on the phone, so I'm really hoping this call's gonna be happier. Oh, well, we got a chef that's cooking kids. But, really? He's he's cooking kids? Yeah, alive. Oh, man. Ugh. Are you sure? Like, this isn't a prank or anything? No, he's really doing it. Well, can you prove it? I don't even want to believe you. This sucks. Well, I guess you could talk to the cooked kid. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Help me! Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a half-cooked kid. Damn it. Okay, we're coming. All right, Junior, the police are on their way. What? There they are. They're here. All right, child cooker, we have the place around it, so freeze and come out with your hands up. 
How can you come outside if it's frozen? Oh, that's a good point, Simmons. I didn't think about that. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, unfreeze, and then put your hands up, and then come outside and freeze again. Well, how can you open the door if his hands are up? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, forget all that. Uh, okay, so I, so I want you to unfreeze, and then come outside, and then close the door, because we don't want bugs getting in the house. And then put your hands up, and then freeze again. How's that sound, Simmons? That was good, mate. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, so just do all that. I don't think he's coming out. Oh, maybe he got confused and he thought he was still supposed to freeze inside. Well, let's just go in and get it. H hold on, we're, we're coming, we're getting you. What the hell? Who's at the door? Freeze! What? I, I will unfreeze and then put your hands up and then freeze! Uh, that, that's so confusing! Just get the hell on the ground! Ah! Ah! All right, kids, we arrested your chef. Ugh. Why am I being arrested? Because you've been cooking kids while they're alive. Junior, why are you lying to the cops? I didn't cook a damn kid. If you didn't cook a kid, then what's that? Huh? Uh, what the hell? I don't know what that is. Well, it's obviously a kid that you cooked with a bunch of food. Oh, no, I didn't cook a damn kid. How many times do I have to say that? Okay, well, let's ask him. Are you a kid that he cooked? He created me! Daddy! Oh my god, you cooked your own kid, you sick bastard! Well, I mean, I guess that's better than cooking somebody else's kid. I mean, if he's yours, I guess you could still- No, no, cooking kids is definitely wrong! He's not my kid, and I didn't cook his ass! Huh. Simmons, have there been any kids reported missing today? Not today, mate. Really? Not in the whole world? Nope. Wow, it is a good day to be a kid. We are doing really good. Well, I guess if there's no missing kids, then it can't be a kid. Exactly. Unless he's your kid! What the- No, it's not my kid! Huh, okay, well, I mean, I guess it's just some kind of food monster. And as much as I'd love to stick around and figure out what that's all about, I'm sure you guys will just call me later, so you're free to go. Hey, Mike, can I have one of his marshmallows? No! Yeah! Simmons, just leave the freak alone. Let's go. So, Chef Pee, Pee what is that thing? I don't know. Well, what were you cooking downstairs? My world-famous junk food jambalaya. But what were the ingredients? Well, you have marshmallows, Oreos, Cheerios. But that's all stuff that's on the food monster. Keep going with the ingredients. Skittles, cheeses, olive oil. What, olive oil? Are you sure you didn't use olive oil? What the hell is olive oil? I use olive oil. I know what I use. Well, go get the bottle. Let me see. <sighs> okay. Cody, you're right! It's olive oil! Yeah, olive oil's just like olive oil, but it makes food come alive. My mom accidentally used this on some lasagna one time, and it wouldn't leave me alone for a week. We had to hire Garfield to eat his ass. Who the hell would make something like this? I don't know, but it's extra virgin olive oil, so he's gonna be really horny. I'm saving myself for marriage! Wait, wait, wait. So this is really my creation of my son? Well, yeah, but I mean, we can eat him if you don't want him. He looks pretty tasty. Hell no, you're not eating my son! Oh, he's gonna be a big basketball player when he grows up! I'm about to go and buy some basketball. Balls. Yeah, because that's what I think when I look at that. NBA All-Star. Conehead McGee. Oh, I like that name. Conehead McGee. Do you like that name? <laughs> oh, he looks hungry, Cody. Do you have that free medium french fries you get every week? Well, yeah, of course. Go grab your french fries. Let's feed them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. Okay, I got the french fries. Okay, feed him a fry. Okay, here you go. Eat it. <clears throat> Come on, eat it. <clears throat> eat it. Eat it. Shove it in his mouth. Junior, isn't this kind of like forced cannibalism because he's made of food and we're making him eat food? Yes, he's right, dude. This is wrong. Well, we're humans and we eat food, so then what does food eat? Humans. Uh-oh, there's the problem. If you were wondering what the problem in the video is, there it is. Dude, we gotta eat him first. It's a doggy dog world. It is a doggy dog world. It's a dog eat dog world. What? No, it's doggy dog world. No, it's dog eat dog. Like, like it's brutal dog eat dog. Dogs don't eat other dogs, unless you're Michael Vick. Dude, that's not what happened, but okay. Yeah, he made them fight and made them eat each other. Guys, yeah. let's not get into this right now. Let's just try to figure out how to get this monster to not eat us. Okay, well, we're not gonna eat him. I think we can train this food monster to not want to eat humans, because I know another monster monster that used to eat humans and doesn't do it anymore. The fact that you know a monster. Come on guys, follow me. Come on, Conehead McGee. Okay guys, here's the cookie monster. Hi, it me cookie monster. Junior cookie monster didn't used to eat people. Oh yes, me did. Me used to eat all parts of people. Me used to eat arms, legs, head, nose, and sometimes me even eat the booty. Oh, okay, well how did you stop, Cookie Monster? Me found God and cookies, and me found my savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh okay, well I, I'm really glad you could do that, Cookie Monster, that's really nice. And sometimes when me eat cookie, me think of how the bone crunch from human. See, listen. Sound just like this crunch of human child head. Y yeah, I, I guess it. I guess it might sound like that. Yeah. And and sometimes, sometimes when me dream, me dream about when I ate family of six in Utah. They were camping, and I ate the mother in front of the kids. I cut her head off and drank her blood. And and sometimes I think her head sound like this. Okay. Well, I'm really glad you don't do that anymore, Cookie Monster. Ooh, ooh, and, and, 
and sometimes, sometimes me think about how human flesh is sweeter than cookie. Okay, well we have a monster here that doesn't want to eat humans anymore, so can he have some of your cookies? No! My cookies! Find your own! Okay, well that was a waste of time. Yeah, let's go figure out something else. Yeah, okay, Junior. We need to figure out something this monster can eat that's not humans, because if he gets a taste for human flesh, it's over. Well, how about we ask him what he'd want besides humans? Hey, Conehead! <laughs> that was good. Oh my god, he ate Joseph! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Uh, Junior, let's climb up here. Uh, uh, he can't reach us up here. I'll suck the marrow from your bones! Well, I like the sucking part, but not the marrow part. Well, call the cops, Cody! Okay, uh, hello? 911, you're on your way? Okay, great. Okay, Junior, they're coming. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Uh, oh, hey, you're that food monster thing. Uh, oh, hello. We're hiding up there, because he eats humans. Oh, hey, freeze, he's trying to eat you. Get on the ground. Bet you told me to freeze. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, unfreeze. Uh, freeze? Unfreeze on the ground, freeze. Jesus, I gotta be so specific with people these days. What are you doing to my baby? Oh, I just got this basketball so we can ball together. Isn't that right, LeBron James, cold head? They're trying to kill me. Yeah, well, your son is trying to eat these kids, so I'm gonna give you two options. I can either shoot him or you can eat him. Oh, my baby boy. Well, I brought you into this world. I guess I have to eat you out. Hey, what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need you to rephrase that for me. I'm about to eat him. I'm about to eat this booty like groceries. <laughs> Ew. I wish that was me. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you ate the whole thing. Yeah, it's never easy eating your first kid, but it does get easier. At least that's what my schizophrenic grandma told me before she put me in the microwave. Anyway, now that the threat's neutralized, I guess I can go home. I'm just grab one of these Skittles. Oh, see ya. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. Well, Junior, now that that's over, I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. Your mom's here? Your big fat mom's here? No, Junior, the elephant in the room. Oh, that olive oil isn't a real thing? No, the actual elephant that's in the room. It's right here. It's huge. What, what's it doing here? <gasps> there is a huge elephant in the room. Y you didn't notice the giant elephant? We just climbed it a minute ago. I didn't even notice. I guess I'm just so used to your fat mom being around that I just assumed that was your mom. You thought we climbed my mom to get away from a monster? I don't know, Cody. I don't know how the elephant got here. Well, I don't know either. It's not mine. Well, it's not mine. Well, maybe it was Joseph's. I don't know. I don't know what's going on today. I don't know. Come on, where is it? What's wrong, Junior? I'm trying to build my Lego pod racer for the big Lego pod race. You're gonna compete in the most Espa Classic? Well, I'm trying to. But what about Sabalba? He wins every year. I'm gonna win this year. You're not gonna beat him in this puny thing. Well, I'm missing my flap. See, look at the instructions. It says a flap goes right there, and I can't find that piece. Well, you gotta have your flap, Junior. How else are you gonna steer? I don't know, and the race is today. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Today's Boon to Eve. Cody, do you know anyone that could have that piece? Well, you can always ask Watto. I have the piece you're looking for. How much do you sell to me for? 500 credits! I don't have that many credits! Too bad, so sad! Hmm, let me try this. Yo, give me the piece for free! <laughs> Jedi mind tricks don't work on Toydarians! I don't know. No, seriously, Cody, stop screwing around. I can't find that piece. Well, the only person who'd have a piece like that is a Jedi. Do you know any Jedi? No, all the Jedi got wiped out when Darth Sidious said, Execute Order 66. So they're all dead? Yeah, I mean, except for Rey. Oh. Yeah. A commercial? A long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. There were two brothers who started a birthday party Star Wars business. Well, actually, he started it, and I didn't want to do it, but then he told our mom, and honestly, I could use the money. But anyway, we'll come to your birthday party and show you the power of the Force. Unlimited power! Yeah! So call now, and we'll be there in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> you said sex. Jonathan, this is a commercial. Ooh, Junior, look, we could call them! What, you keep knocking it over, Cody. Oh, sorry, but we could call them. They look like real Jedi. I don't think they're just people in costumes. Do you think they'll know where to find this piece? Well, maybe, but if not, they could help us find somebody who does. Okay, Cody. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Just scoot over there. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, how about you go call them? Yeah, I'll go call them. And I'll also use the bathroom. So if I'm not here while they're here, it's because I am in the bathroom. Okay. Hey there, somebody call a Jedi? And a Sith? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, Jonathan, calm down. You're gonna poke somebody's eye out with that thing. Yeah, that's what she said. Look, I am just 
Darth Maul's lightsaber. Yeah, and you get Kylo Ren's outfit and Darth Vader's helmet. So what's even going on there, bud? I'm a triple shit. Okay, whatever. Are you a real Jedi? Am I a real Jedi? I killed Darth Maul. How do you think he got that lightsaber? It's true. I saw the whole thing. Okay, well, you didn't see it, but I can tell you what happened. So me and my master Qui-Gon Jinn, well, Liam Neeson, had to fight Darth Maul, right? And there were like these laser walls that kept turning on and off. So me and my master got separated, and Liam Neeson had to fight Darth Maul by himself. And then Darth Maul stabbed Liam Neeson in the stomach, and he was dying. So I was upset. I mean, I, I, I was panicking, right? And then my laser wall turned off, and I had to fight Darth Maul. And then Darth Maul stuck his hand out, and he was like, bring it, you know? And so I just, I pissed my pants at that point. I mean, I was freaking out. But then I had to try to fight Darth Maul with pissy pants, and on Honestly, I mean, he kicked my ass. He knocked me into, like, this big hole. It was like a well or something. I, I don't actually know what this place was. There were, like, laser walls and, like, a big hole. And, I mean, we got in there pretty easily. The place was huge. I guess, I guess it was, like, a power plant or something. I don't know. I mean, OSHA would have had a field day with this place. I, there were no handrails anywhere. I'm sure I'm not the only person who fell into this big hole. But anyway, I fell into this hole, and I was just hanging on by, like, this little peg. And I dropped my lightsaber, so I was just hanging there. And then Darth Maul was looking down at me, and he was, like, making sparks with his lightsaber because I guess he was trying trying to scare me, but then I remember that my master's lightsaber's up there. So I do this sick front flip over Darth Maul's head, then I catch Liam Neeson's lightsaber, and I cut Darth Maul in half, and he falls down the giant well. And I'm like, okay, that shit was cool. I mean, that was badass. I felt great. I, I, I mean, I looked over, and Liam Neeson was giving me a thumbs up, and he was like, yo, dog, that, that shit was tight. That was, that was really cool. And then he said, uh, yeah, train Anakin for me, and, and then he died. So yeah, I went on to train Darth Vader. Hmm, now that I think about it, I did kind of raise Darth Vader, so I guess I am kind of a shitty teacher. Hey, you can't touch your face with your lightsaber! You'll burn your face off! These aren't real lightsabers, Jonathan. I, I mean, they are real lightsabers, because I'm a real Jedi. Can we go back to Party City after this? I think I need a bigger costume. Yeah, you need to stick to one character. Look, I'm just missing a piece on my Lego set. Oh, I am no good with Legos. Well, I'm trying to join the Boon to Eve race today. You're, you're gonna race in the Boon to Eve race? Oh, kid, the reward for that is like 50,000 credits. You know how much that is in US dollars? That's like 50 bucks. I know it. I'm trying to join. Well, you're not going to beat Sabalba. He wins every year. If I get that part for my pod racer, I know I'll win. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I think I know somebody who might have that part. Who? Darth Maul's son, Steve Maul. Steve Maul? Yes, Darth Maul had a son named Steve Maul, and he collects Legos, and I bet if we beat him in a lightsaber battle, he'll give us that part. But I want 50% of your winnings from the race. Okay, deal. Okay, come on, Darth Jonathan. Hi, hi, Captain. So where is Steve Maul? He's usually out here on the street practicing his lightsaber skills. Hey, Steve. Whoa, he is really good with that lightsaber. Yeah, he's just like his father, a little bit fruitier. Oh, and he's a huge Green Bay Packers fan. That's why he has that cheese head. Hey, Steve, do you have a little flap that goes to a Lego pod racer? Oh shit, he's saying bring it. Okay, he only does deals in lightsaber battles. Hold on, let me get the real one. Whoa, that is sick! Alright, Steve, coming at you! I don't want to fight you, Steve, just give me the peace! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, there's no doubt you're more skilled than I am. I know I killed your dad, but that was a long time ago. What? You killed my dad? Oh, shit, you didn't know. I, I, I am so sorry. Yeah, I mean, he killed Liam Neeson. I had to. That's it. You asked for it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Steve's going off. Steve's going off. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. Okay, screw this. Jonathan, you try it. Ah. Really? You want me to fight him? Yeah, he is a badass, and I do not want to lose my hand. I mean, just look at him. I mean, that is pure skill. He is one with the force. Damn. Can I use your lightsaber? Yeah, it's over there on the ground. Just go pick it up. No, I'll use the force. What, what the hell? How the hell did you do that? All right, big boy. Come to daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he is really strong. I told you. Hey, what's that over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fell for your own trick in your book. Hey, my Jesus. Oh, you did it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Kidding me, brother? No, Steve, you bastard. That's it. Cut 
cut you in half just like your father. Now you're two halves to a whole idiot. <laughs> Jonathan, you okay? No, there's a lightsaber cutting me in half. Well, it's a good thing it's just a toy. Oh, if I die, promise me you'll delete my search history. You're not gonna die. Oh, hey, look, the piece. Right. Okay, come on, Jonathan, let's get out of here. Hey, kid, guess what I got? Taco Bell? What the hell? Uh, no, I got the Lego piece we agreed on. Why, do you want Taco Bell? Because I'll get you Taco Bell after you win that race. How'd you get the piece? Oh, it was not easy. We had to kill Steve Maul. Well, actually, I had to kill Steve Maul all by myself. This says I'm from your hood, dog. Homie. Did it because you're wearing a hood? Jonathan, don't say that around anyone else. Well, thanks for the piece. But you don't seem that excited, kid. I was thinking about backing you out of the race. You little shit, listen to me. We didn't just kill Steve Mall for no reason. Got it? You're gonna race. Well, actually, I fought. Shut the hell up, Jonathan. You're gonna win that race so I can get my 25 bucks. You understand? Okay. Okay, good. <coughs> We're gonna leave. So, uh, so long, alligator. Wait, that didn't sound right. But... Goodbye, alligator. But no, that's not it either. But... See you in a while, alligator. What the hell is it? It's not. Uh... Oh, it's see you later, alligator, because it's supposed to rhyme. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, so see you later, crocodile. Hey, Jenny, sorry I took so long. I just took a massive dump. What'd I miss? Oh, hey, you got the piece! Yeah, I got the piece. Wicked. So you ready for the race? I'm just starting to have doubts, Cody. I think I might lose. Yeah, I think you probably will, too. So Bulba's never lost, and his pod racer's twice as big as yours, and it's orange. I guess I'll just give it my best shot. Well, I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Codes. What? You know, like a nickname, like Codes. I don't like that. How about Codename Kid Next Door? Cody's fine. How about Odie? What Odie? Or Otis. Otis is just a different name. I, I think I'll just stick with Cody. Okay, Cody, come on. Hello and welcome to the Most Vespa Classic here on the eve of Punta. Our two racers are behind me and the race will start shortly. Hey, nerd. Nice pod racer. Thanks, PJ. Not. <laughs> PJ, you're so funny. He's so funny. You call that a pod racer? Look at my pod racer. It's so orange. You're right, PJ. It is orange. See, orange is so cool. Yeah, orange is the best. It's way cooler than blue and gray and yellow. What, what's that, Sebulba? <laughs> Sebulba called your pod racer Bantha Poodoo. That basically means it's poo poo. How about we just let our pod racing do the talking? <laughs> okay. All right, racers. On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> Back off, kid. I'm in first place. Not for long. Hey, no bumping. You really think you can beat me, kid? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. What if I put it on hyperdrive? Oh, wow. Okay, you want to play dirty? I'll show you. Oh, no. Oh, no, my blind racer. The Bulba. Junior win! Poor PJ! You play dirty, you bastard! No, no, ladies, I can't win them all. Hey, kid, now that was pod racing. I guess I was Bantha Poodoo this time. Here's the 50. Thanks, PJ! Come on, ladies, let's go to Target and get me some more Legos. Woohoo! Well, kid, congratulations on winning that pod race. I got your Taco Bell right here. I already ate some. Uh, I'm gonna just take this, because... The Taco Bell was like 15 bucks, you already owed me 25, and I had to pay for gas, so, you know, I think I can just take all this. I mean, hey, I fought a Sith Lord for you. But hey, yeah, I mean, you won the pod race, that was pretty cool, I saw it. So, thanks for watching, uh, this video was supposed to go up on May the 4th, you know, like, May the 4th be with you, that's, that's like a Star Wars day. But we had to order this Lego set from, like, Colombia, and they didn't offer next day shipping, so we couldn't upload this till May the 8th, and that's like, that's not really a Star Wars thing, I mean, there's like, Darth... Eighth or, you know, the eighth pyre strikes back. I don't know, whatever, it's May 8th. It's a Star Wars video. So guys, what do you wanna do today? I don't know, dude, I'm bored. Me too. I. You wanna go play basketball? We did that yesterday, dude. We can pick our noses. I can't reach my nose. I said arg. Cody, why are you dressed like a pirate? Well, guys, I want a free pirate cruise for me and my three best buds. What's a pirate cruise? Well, that's why you dress up like a pirate and you get on a boat. How'd you win that? Well, I ate the most parrots in under a minute at the live parrot eating contest. You ate a live parrot? I ate three live parrots. No ketchup, no mustard? Nope, raw parrots. What? Jesus. You didn't eat three live parrots in under a minute. Yes, I did. I have the video right here. Wow, look at that.
look at this young man go! He's on his third parrot! Hurry up and die, parrot! Eat me! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty graphic, but I sure can scarf down some birds. Isn't that wrong, Cody? Well, you eat chicken, don't you? Yeah, but it's cooked! What, you guys are telling me you've never eaten live chicken? Oh, you guys are missing out. It's the best. When they're gobbling for their life and pecking at you? Yeah, there's nothing like choking down some cock. Chicken's pretty good, too, though. Well, Cody, what three friends are you going to take with you on your pirate cruise? Well, the three friends I have right here in front of me. Jeffy, Joseph, and Ken. But why Ken? Well, these guys like pirate stuff and you don't. Like, Ken likes getting pegged, and Joseph knows all the words to every Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Never seen one of them. And Jeffy likes booty. Sure do. Well, I want to go on the pirate cruise. Leave Ken behind. No, I'm sorry, Jim. You're just not pirate material. What can I prove to you that I'm a pirate? Well, I did get a parrot to go from the competition. <laughs> Eat me! Yeah, if you can eat this parrot in under a minute, you'll be a real pirate. Can I use ketchup or mustard? Nope, you gotta eat him raw. Rawr. Eat me, pussy! Yeah, eat him, Junior. He wants to die. Um, where do I start? Where do I bite? Oh, the eyeball is my favorite part. Rawr. Oh, yeah! Uh, I don't know, Cody. See, he likes it. <laughs> okay, I'll... Yeah. <laughs> well, Ginny ate the whole thing, bones and all. The way it's supposed to be eaten. You want me to pick that up? Yeah, please. It's, um... You know what? Leave it. Anyway, <laughs> congratulations! You can come on the pirate cruise with us! Okay. Aren't you happy? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you all have to dress up like pirates for the pirate cruise. Oh, dude, I already got an outfit picked out. Yeah, me too. I don't have a pirate outfit, but I could dress up like Peter Pan. But, Junior, you're gonna dress like Peter Pan on the pirate cruise? Well, I mean, I don't know how to get a pirate outfit, and I already have Peter Pan. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Look, the cruise is tomorrow, and I'll meet you guys on the boat. Your hat. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need that for the cruise. You didn't even tell us where the boat is. Yeah, what, what, what boat? What time? How? I guess we'll figure it out, dude. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Jesus. All right, guys, welcome to the pirate cruise. I'm your captain, and I'm a buccaneer. Yar. You get it? I, I didn't have a pirate costume. Okay, you guys want a pirate cruise, so I'm going to be sailing you around the seven seas looking for a party and, and maybe some booty. You guys into chicks? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah, fat ones. Not really. Okay, well, I'm going to be sailing you guys around. You guys just have fun and try to stay away from the back of the boat, okay? I don't want you guys falling out. What, kid, what are you supposed to be? You don't look like a pirate. I'm dressed like Peter Pan. Dude, you're definitely an elf. Yeah, you look like an elf. This is the only thing I had to look like Peter Pan. Okay, well, you kids just have fun, and I'm going to go drive the boat. All right, kids, hold on. I'm about to floor this bitch. Screw boat of safety. If there's any kids under this boat, they're about to get chopped up by the propellers. Beep, beep. Let's go. Yo ho, yo ho. Where did all the hoes go? I love this pirate cruise, Cody. Man, it is windy out here. Come on, Joseph. Let's go get some Capri Sun. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, Junior, I found this froggy float. You should get in with me. Oh, hell yeah, a froggy float. It is so much fun. Hey. Whoa! Uh, uh, Jimmy! We fell off the boat! Help! Um. Help! Help! Yarrrr! Hey dude, where's the Capri Suns? I know you got some. Yeah. Oh, we don't have Capri Suns because pirates don't have Capri Suns. I mean, I have alcohol. I'm not really supposed to have it, but I won't tell if you guys don't. Oh no, Jimmy! They don't hear us! Now we're stuck! What are we gonna do? Arg! Arg! I love this ship! Wait, dude, where's Junior and Jeffy? I don't know. Yarrr! Anything you need, Captain? Bring me Peter Pan. Thank you. Now I can finish me peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, could you actually open it for me? It's, it's hard with my hook hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, and could you actually take that little lid off, too? That's, that's kind of rough. I, I, I couldn't really. Yeah. Th thank you. It's, I, I mean, no, it, it, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good, yes, that's for, you know what, actually on second thought, could you actually just make the rest of me sandwich for me? Yeah, I I'll go look around this, uh, look around the ship, thank you very much. <sighs> Sometimes the pirate life is not for me. Yo ho, captain, so when you gonna let me touch your cannon? My cannon specifically says don't touch this cannon or you'll walk the plank. Come on, I've been a pirate for two months, I wanna shoot it, let me shoot it. No, only I can touch the cannon. God, pirate life sucks. Oh, yo ho, captain, oh, it's somebody in that damn water. What, somebody in the water? Is yeah. it a mermaid? I'd be lonely. Ain't no mermaids like that, it's actual people, it look like kids, they're drowning. With kids? Well, go reel them in and get the net. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man, Jeffy, they're never gonna find us. We're gonna be stranded here forever. Pirate ship. 
Pirate ship? Hey, a pirate ship! Wait, hey, right here! All right, Captain, I'm throwing the net! Ugh! Ugh. We got him, Captain, we got him! Bring him on board! Uh, thank you so much for saving our lives! Are you boys okay? Yeah, what y'all doing in that deep ass water? Well, we fell off our pontoon well, boat. It isn't Peter Pan. Wait, the boy that took your hand? It sure be. Oh, I've been waiting for years to get me revenge on you, Peter Pan. I'm not Peter Pan. Arg! Oh, good. We rescued one of our fellow pirates. I'll give you all me booty for getting Peter Pan for me. He's definitely one of us. But well, I'm not Peter Pan, though. Oh, okay, Peter Pan. Well, I have a crocodile on board I've been waiting to feed your hand to. Come on! What? Uh, all right, uh, what was your name? Captain Crunch. All right, Captain Crunch. I know the sign says don't touch me treasure, but you can touch me treasure because you brought me Peter Pan. Okay. Touching the fuck out of it. Yes, just make sure you don't touch me pet rat Gerald. He's me only friend. What? Hold on. I've been on this ship for two months and I ain't get the chance to touch this gold. Well, you're a pirate. I don't trust you around me treasure. Hold on, he a pirate too? Well, he brought me Peter Pan. Look, look, I just gotta ask. Is it because I'm black? No. I'm the only black person on this pirate ship, and you won't let me touch the gold. No, no, it, it's not that. Oh, look, look, can I play some music then? Only if it's 100% copyright free. What? No Drake? No, no, no. See, we're pirates, but we don't pirate music. That, that would be wrong. You wouldn't download a car, would you? Oh, I guess not. Just, just put on some royalty-free music. <sighs> and you, Peter Pan, time for you to meet me, crocodile. All right, Peter Pan, meet Carl, the hand-eating crocodile. <laughs> now I want you to feed him your hand like you fed him mine. I didn't feed him your hand. Oh, yeah? Then why do I only have one hand? I bet it hurts to wipe. Oh, it do. Sometimes it pokes through the toilet paper and I give myself a colonoscopy. But you, Peter Pan, you need to feed him your hand. But I don't want to. Do it! Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I should have been more clear. Fe feed him the hand that doesn't have a sword in it. Uh... Get him, Jimmy! Ah, 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 no, no, no. First mate, Tyrone, help me! Ow, 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 ow. Nah, you good. I get to touch your treasure now. Touch, 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 touch. <laughs> Jimmy, feed the crocodile's other hand! No, please, not be good hand. How will I wipe? Hey, Jeffy, can you drive this pirate ship and get us home? Sure can, Junior. <laughs> Screw you, Peter Pan. You made me lose me good hand. Now I'm really going to kill you. Uh, you're not going to kill me? Yes, I am. Uh, Ow, me good eye. Uh, uh, Jeffy, I'm going to go tie this guy up. You just drive us home. All right, Junior. <laughs> of Captain Hook, who is being accused of kidnapping a child and then trying to feed said kidnapped child's hand to a crocodile to get his glorious revenge. Captain Hook, you do realize that the year is 2023 and pirates are not really a thing anymore, so what the hell were you doing? Why? Because Peter Pan fed me hand to a crocodile! Well, now both me hands, actually. Hmm, very interesting. Peter Pan! Is this true? Did you feed both of Captain Oak's hands to a crocodile? I'm not Peter Pan. My name's Junior. I'm just in a Peter Pan costume. Oh, shit. Wrong Peter Pan. Well, you still fed me other hand to a crocodile, and you hit me in the eye. So I hate you just as much as the other Peter Pan. So, Junior, not Peter Pan. I guess now you are being charged with feeding Captain Hook's hands to a crocodile. But I did that in self-defense. But I saved you and your friend from the ocean. You could have drowned. Wait, wait, hold on. Captain Hook, you saved Peter Pan's life, but not Peter Pan. And then you tried to feed his hand to a crocodile? I, I don't understand. When I saved him, I didn't realize he was Peter Pan, and then I realized he was Peter Pan, even though he's not really Peter Pan, so I tried to feed his hand to a crocodile back when I thought that he was the real Peter Pan, which he's not. Okay, this shit doesn't make sense. Are there any witnesses who saw what happened that could tell me what the fuck is going on? Me, me, me! I was there! I saw the whole thing! It was self-defense, and uh, Captain Hook is racist. He wouldn't let me touch his gold or his cannon. Well, it's not a racist thing. It's a pirate thing. It's me cannon and me gold. I don't let anyone touch me cannon and me gold. Except for that cracker ass you saved from the ocean. You let him touch all the gold. I've been there for two months and ain't got to touch it. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 
how about this? This sounds like something I don't care about anymore. Captain Hook, you lost both of your hands, which seems like punishment enough, and you are dressed like Peter Pan, but you're not Peter Pan, so I order you to take that off, because that seems like where we got confused and started losing hands, so get rid of that. Uh, I do order Captain Hook to get rid of that crocodile, because that seems like a liability, and I also, I still don't understand how you have a pirate ship in 2023. That still doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't really know where we go from here. I, I, I just, I'm gonna dismiss the whole case. You know, I don't really know who's in trouble, so case dismissed. I, I don't really know what the punishment is, so I, I think we can go home. I, I wanna bang this one more time, just to clear the air. There we go, that feels good. I feel, I feel like we're done. I think we can go home now. Man, what you think happened to Joseph and Jeffy? You're Joseph. Shit, what do you think happened to Junior and Jeffy? Do you think they got lost at sea? Aye, the sea be a cruel mistress. But seriously though, I am pretty worried. I, I'm so worried I haven't even touched my parrot I ordered from Uber Eats. <laughs> Eat me, daddy. I will later. Hey guys. Junior, you're alive! Dude, what happened? Well, me and Jeffy fell off the boat and then Captain Hook saved us and he thought I was Peter Pan because I was dressed like Peter Pan. So he tried to feed my hand to a crocodile because apparently Peter Pan fed his hand to a crocodile. But then I fought back and fed his other hand to a crocodile and then we went to court. What? I, I'm so confused. That's what the judge said. Arr, I'm here to get me revenge. I'll kill all of you. <laughs> Captain Hook! Uh, what are you doing here? The judge said just forget about it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Is, is that Patches? <laughs> Captain Hook! Oh, Patches, I missed you so much. I'll tell you what. If you let me have me pet parrot Patches back, I won't kill all of you. Okay, you can have him. Oh, come on, Patches. <laughs> you couldn't think of an ending, could you? No. they mess up your Spongebob book, Jeffy? Look and see for yourself! Notice anything wrong with it? Uh, they're not underwater? No! Spongebob has two tongues! He's got one down here and one up here licking his eyeball! He does have two tongues! That's so silly! It's not silly, Mommy! This is serious business! This is a colossal fuck up! This is officially licensed by Spongebob Squarepants! You know how many people this had to go through before it hit the shelves? Someone's getting fired today! Unless they can confirm that Spongebob actually does have two tongues, and then I'll get over it! Jeffy, just calm down and read your book. No! Cause I'm gonna call Nickelodeon and fire somebody after I give them a piece of my mind! <sighs> There's someone at the door. Hello? Hey Marvin, I need your help. What do you need help with, Goodman? You're poor, right? Yeah. Well, I need you to teach me how to be poor. Teach you how to be poor? Why? Well, I just found out that I have another kid down in Mexico or some shit, and the mom's wanting me to pay her $5 million a month in child support. I didn't know Taco Bell was that expensive. I mean, I can afford it, I just don't want to. So what I did was, is I moved all my money to an offshore bank account, and then now I have to live off the least amount of money as possible for the next few months, while the judge goes through my bank accounts, because I don't want him to see that I have a lot of money. So I need your help to teach me how to be poor. Well, I mean, I'm really busy. I don't think I can do that right now. I'll pay you $10,000. I mean, sure, yeah. I can teach you how to be poor. So rule number one, don't give people money because poor people can't afford to give people money. Well, if I don't give you money, then how am I going to get you to do what I want you to do? By being nice. Ew, poor! And uh, the, the next rule is, come here. So another thing you can do to be more poor is not drive a Lamborghini. Not drive a Lamborghini? What else am I supposed to drive? A bicycle? Ew! No, no, you don't have to drive a bicycle. You can drive a car. You just need something more poor. Hmm, more poor? I know exactly what you mean. I'm gonna go buy one. Uh, okay. <sighs> Where's Goodman at? What the? All right, Marvin, I did what you said. I bought a poor car. This is not a poor car, this is expensive. It literally has the word poor in the name. It's a Porsche. What? It's still expensive though. Listen, Marvin, I can't go any lower than this. It's already shitty. What, it's not a shitty car, this is really nice. No, it is shitty, it's Porsche. It's poor shitty, and it's offensive because it was named after George Bush, a 911. It's a Porsche 911. <sighs> oh, okay, fine, so you're saying this is the cheapest car you'll go? Yeah, I can't do anything less than this, Marvin, it's shitty. <sighs> okay. Okay, well at least it's a start. You got rid of the Lamborghini, so let's go work on some other stuff. All right, 
Hey baby, I need your help. What's wrong, Marvin? Well, Goodman paid us $10,000 to teach him how to be poor. Wait, he spent $10,000 to learn how to be poor? Yeah, I already told him that poor people can't hand out money. Okay, good. And I told him that poor people can't drive a Lamborghini. Okay. So what other things can we teach him to be poor? Well, poor people don't walk around everywhere in a nice suit, so you're gonna have to change your clothes. You want me to get rid of my elephant asshole suit? 75 endangered African elephants were poached for their assholes to make this suit. This suit cost me $55 million. I take a bath in it. I sleep in it. I'm not getting rid of this. Well, why don't you sell it if you need the money? Sell it? I will never sell this suit. I will be buried in this suit. Well, how about you just take it off? Because if the judge sees you walking around in a $55 million suit, he's going to make you pay child support. You're right. So what am I supposed to wear to be poor? All right, look, I'll pick out a poor outfit. Come on. All right, baby, I picked out an outfit for him. I look like old McDonald without his farm. No, I think you look nice. E-I-E, -I, -E, I know I don't. I look like I smell bad. If a kid said, hey, dad, does that man smell bad? He's gonna say, yes, yes, he does. Stay away from him, he's stinky. My name's Mr. Goodman, not Mr. Goodwill. Well, Goodwill's where we got this outfit from. <laughs> And it smells like the person who owned it before me shit my pants. Well, look, it only cost $5. Well, I would pay $5 not to wear this. Well, look, when the judge sees you wearing this, he's not going to make you pay child support. Yeah, you're right. He's probably going to feel bad for me and make the woman pay me child support. Well, that's what we're going for, right? Oh, I guess. Oh, I'm getting kind of hungry. I want a filet mignon. I think I'm going to have chives prepare my meal. Oh, chives! Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. All right, sir, here is your eight ounce filet mignon cooked medium rare. Are you sure it's eight ounces? Because it looks more like seven. I can assure you that it's eight, sir. I weighed it before I cooked it. Let's see about that. Sounds like seven. Well, sir, when you cook meat, it doesn't maintain- Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not listening! Chives, did you take a bite out of my carrot? It was more of a nibble, sir. What is that, Chives? A nibbled carrot, sir. You nibbled my carrot, put it back on my plate. Well, I had to make sure that it was cooked thoroughly. Well, next time eat the f***ing thing. Get out of here, Bugs Bunny. Yes, sir, but before I go, I must ask. Why are you dressed like a farmer? Ask Marvin. Well, Goodman wants to act poor for a few months. Ha! Good luck with that. Well, Goodman, you can't eat all this. Yes, I can. I'm a growing boy. Well, no, no. I meant like poor people don't eat this kind of food. You're telling me poor people don't eat filet mignon? No. I'm going to starve. What am I supposed to eat then? Well, look, I will go cook you a meal that poor people eat. Do not eat this because if you want to look good for the judge, do not eat food like this. Hold on. <sighs> all right, Goodman. I made you dinner. Are you eating your steak? No, it was a fly. There's no way a fly took that big a bite. Yes, he did. He was a big old bastard. Listen, Goodman, here's your ramen noodles. Instant lunch? Ew, poor, what is this? It's called ramen noodles and it's really cheap, but it's really good. Who's ramen and why do I have to eat his noodles? Because it's really cheap and it's really good. Try it. And what is this? A Rice Krispie treat? What, no, that's what the noodles looks like before you cook it. It looks like dried worms. Ew, you're trying to poison me. Help, help, Charles. He's trying to poison me! What's going on, sir? He's trying to make me eat ramen's noodles! Well, that's what I had for lunch today, sir. Oh no! Somebody called poison control! Chives has been poisoned! Well, it's it's actually pretty good, sir. Oh no! The worms must be eating your brain and making you delusional! Help! No, Goodman, listen. Everyone eats ramen noodles. It's really good. And look, you can't keep calling your butler because poor people don't have butlers. Well, if I can't call my butler, then who's gonna wipe my ass? You! Ew! My hand has gotta go near my ass crack! Poor! Listen, poor people wipe their own butt, so tell your butler you'll see him in a few months. <sighs> Chives, go to your room in the basement and I'll be home in a few months. Very well, sir. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin! What's with all this screaming? He's trying to feed me worms! Ooh, ramen? How does everyone know who ramen is and his worms? I love ramen! Well, I hate being poor! I can't drive my Lamborghini, I have to dress like Ronald McDonald, I have to eat ramen's worms, and what's next? You're gonna tell me I have to wash my own clothes? Yeah. Ah! I gotta go lay down! Oh, no, no, no. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this! Come on, Goodman. You can do this. Don't call me Goodman! Call me Poor Man, because that's what I am! Well, if you can't do this, then you have to pay that woman $5 million a month in child support. I'm not paying her $5 million a month! That kid's not worth it! That's a lot of money, Marvin. Well, if you don't want to pay it, then you gotta learn how to be poor. 
All right, I guess you're right, Marvin. Just go give me some water and let me clear my head. Uh, uh, Voss water, sparkling, please. No, poor people don't drink sparkling Voss water. Fiji? No. Evian? No, we drink water from the sink. Ah! Like where the toilet is? Or the kitchen sink. Yeah, it's all the same shit. It's pipes in the house. Ew, poor. Listen, it's called tap water. Well... I'm tapping out! Well, listen, you gotta drink stuff like that if you wanna be poor. What's other stuff they can do to save money? Well, what do you spend most of your money on? Well, my haircut costs $20,000. Well, why is that haircut $20,000? Because three naked girls cut my hair while giving me pina coladas! Well, we're not doing that anymore. Your haircut should only cost $20. $20? They're gonna stab me in the eye with scissors or something! That doesn't usually happen. And what else do you spend your money on? Well, I did put a $250,000 down payment to go see the Titanic in a submarine, but that guy hasn't called me back. I think he's ignoring me. Okay, look, you can't buy stupid stuff like that. And if you're gonna buy stuff, you have to go cheap. Oh, so you're telling me not to take my big private jet, I gotta take my little one. No, no private jets. Poor people don't have private jets. Well, then how am I supposed to fly to Paris for lunch? You're not gonna fly to Paris for lunch, and if you have to fly, you're gonna fly cheap, like Spirit Airlines. Cheap? I'm not gonna fly cheap when I'm flying through the air. Look, it's called Spirit Airlines. It's a nice airline. Well, if I fly Spirit Airlines, I'm gonna turn into a spirit. Listen, it's just what you gotta do to be poor. Wait, my phone's ringing. It's my son Richard calling. Hello? Hey dad, me and my friends are down here in Orlando trying to rent out Disney World for the day. And they're telling me that it costs four million dollars. But my credit limit's only three million. So can you give me the other million? Hold on Richard. My son, he's in trouble. He's down in Orlando trying to rent out Disney World for the day and they told him that it's gonna be four million dollars and his credit limit's only three million. So do I give him the other million? No! But he'll yell at me. No, you gotta tell him no, you're poor. But I don't want him to yell at me. You, who cares, you're poor now, tell him no. <sighs> Fine. Richard, no. What the f***, Dad? Y'all down here in Orlando with my friends trying to rent out Disney World and you're gonna tell me f***ing no? Well, you want me to be poor? That's embarrassing. You want me to be embarrassed when I go back to school and be poor? Uh, hold on, Richard. Richard, no, you're not getting that other million dollars. I'm putting my foot down. I'm gonna increase your credit limit, okay? I love you, bye. I put my foot down, not gonna give him that million dollars. See, good, you told him no. What'd he say? He said he was fine with it, that he understood. Okay, well, I don't think he should have a $3 million credit limit. I think he should lower it to like $100. I agree, and I'll tell him that later. Okay, so, look, we're saving money already. Okay, so let's go teach you how to unclog a toilet. What? Marvin, good news, Jeffy already clogged the toilet. That's good, so now you can learn. So look, sometimes when you're taking a poop, it gets stuck in the toilet, and you gotta push it down with the plunger. Yeah, I'm done. What? I'm just gonna pay the woman $5 million a month in child support. Why? Because I don't want to be a caveman and push my shit down the toilet with a stick. You only have to do that if it gets stuck. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm definitely done. So enjoy dressing like a farmer, enjoy eating Roman's worms, and enjoy being poor. You taught me to feel worse for poor people. So now when I see them on the side of the road, I'm just gonna drive by them faster. And enjoy the $10,000. I'm done here. So, Marvin, what are we going to do with the $10,000? I have no idea. Hey, Danny, I called Nickelodeon about this SpongeBob situation. And what'd they say about the two tongues? They said one's for the pink and one's for the stink. What? Yeah, they told me that if I wanted it changed, that I'd have to pay to have it republished. So how much would that cost? $10,000. Jeffy, no. What do you want to do today? Oh, dude, I'm hungry. Yeah, I could use some nummy in my tummy. Well, Chef PB should be done cooking dinner soon. All right, guys, dinner's ready. Ugh, smells like shit. Hey, Cody, watch your mouth. That's chicken jambalaya. I don't see any chicken. Oh, that's what the Nutter Butters are for. You substituted Nutter Butters for chicken? Oh, shut up, just eat. God, stop being choicy. Why is there a can lid in there? Yeah, we're not eating this. I'll eat it for five bucks. Jo Joseph, I'm not going to pay you to get food poisoning. How about, guys, how about we just drive to McDonald's? But we're not old enough to drive. Yeah, we don't have a license, dude. Do we know anyone with a license? Well, Ken has a driver's license. Well, he doesn't have a driver's license. He's a dog, dude. He's not a dog, Joseph. Of course he has a driver's license. How else could he be a race car driver? Well, then show us the driver's license. Yeah. Okay, let me get it out of his wallet. Boom. Read it and weep, chumps. Oh, yeah, dude. That's definitely fake. Yeah, it looks fake, Cody. It's not fake. It's very real. Why is Ken so orange? Oh, he had a sunburn that day. Yeah, I told him not to get his driver's license photo done when he had a sunburn, but he didn't listen. He just had to drive. His last name is Carson? Yep, and one day I'm going to be Cody Carson. And look, he's even an organ donor. He can't 
can't be an organ donor. He's plastic, dude. What if G.I. Joe needs a kidney, Joseph? A plastic kidney, Cody? Shut up, Joseph. Wait, wait, wait. It says right here Ken was born in 1961. That means Ken is over 60 years old. Yeah, but age is but a number. But you're under 18, so that's wrong. No, no, it's not wrong because he's a... He's a doll? No, no, he's not a doll, Joseph. Well, if he was a doll, Cody, it wouldn't be weird. If he was made in 1961, that's fine. But if he was born in 1961, then, then he's a predator. No, he's not a predator. He, he has Benjamin Button disease, so he, he's basically 17. Dude, if he wasn't plastic, I'd be calling the cops right now. Well, look, guys, he has a driver's license, okay? Can he drive? <laughs> Can he drive? Did Chick Thunder Hicks sign with Dynaco? Yes, he did. And Lightning McQueen signed with Rusty's. I watched Cars last night. Just a little bit of Pixar trivia for you. Can Ken drive us to McDonald's? No. What was the point of that, dude? Well, why can't he drive us? Well, because he can't drive at night because he has astigmatism. What? What do you mean? His eyes are bad? Yeah, he has bad eyes, okay? Look, when God gives you washboard abs and a perfect ass and a giant wang, he has to take away something. So Ken can't drive us to McDonald's. What, what if we duct tape him to the steering wheel and then you drive the car and it looks like Ken's driving it and we have someone with a license, at least in the car? I don't know. Look, look, look Ken, look, 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 just you and Ken, follow me, look. Uh, okay, Cody, I duct taped Ken to the steering wheel, so if we get pulled over, just say Ken was driving. But I don't want Ken to get in trouble. Well, then don't get pulled over. But I don't even really know how to drive. I can't even see over the steering wheel. All you do is press the gas pedal and then move the steering wheel back and forth. This seems like a bad idea. I want to go to McDonald's! Okay, put it in drive, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, Simmons, I hate the night shift. I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Just wake me up if any crimes happen. All right, mate. I'm gonna test out the equipment, make sure it's working properly. I'm gonna start with the lights. <laughs> Sim Simmons, you turned the siren on! Yeah, I'm just testing out the lights to see if they work. But Simmons, stop staring at the lights. It's bad for your eyes. You know what else is bad for your eyes? A pencil. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that would be bad for your eyes. Any sharp object is bad for your eyes. And bricks are bad for your teeth. Well, yeah, you, you shouldn't chew on bricks. What? Oh, Simmons, did you see that car? He was flying! He wasn't flying, he was driving. Well, no, I meant he was going fast. Come on, we're gonna get him. Uh, Cody, the cops are behind us. Oh, shit. Pull over. Oh, All right, they pulled over. Look, I'm really tired. I'm just going to give them a warning and let them go so I can go back to my nap. Wait, mate, before you go, aren't carrots good for your eyes? I mean, that's what I've heard, yeah. So I can poke myself in the eye with a carrot and be all right? No, no, they're not for poking yourself in the eye, Simmons. They're for eating. Well, then if I eat them, then it means they're good for my mouth. Well, I'll let you figure that out while I'm gone. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? I'm having a panic attack. I don't want to go to jail. What if they make me be the top? That's too much pressure. I can't last that long. Cody, let me get in the driver's seat and I'll do all the talking. You're gonna screw this up. No, Cody, trust me. I know how to talk to cops. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I see a driver's license? Here you go, officer. Thank you. That's not you. This is the guy on the steering wheel. Oh, what? He appears to be duct taped to the steering wheel. What? What? Oh. Well, I'm not going after him. I am too tired for this. What? Junior, what the hell are you doing? I'm not going to jail, that's what I'm doing. I gave him a fake ID. That wasn't a fake ID, that was Ken's ID. He's a dog, dude. He's not a dog, Joseph. McDonald's, here we come. No, no McDonald's. Take us home. Woo! We got our McDonald's. You know I love my nuggies, dude. Guys, we just ran from the cops. And we got away. This is not my first time running from them. And we're never going to get caught. Yes, we will, because they have Ken's driver's license. It's fake anyway, dude. Yeah, it's not even real. It is real, and now they're going to come looking for him. Cody, just shut up and eat your Elemental Happy Meal. Well, I've never even seen Elemental. You guys want to go watch it? Well, if we're going to go watch it, we have to go watch it now, because it's only in theaters. What are you talking about? It means you can only watch it in theaters, and when it leaves theaters, they're going to delete the file. From history, dude. They're they're never going to release it on DVD, and they're never going to put it on a streaming service. That would be ridiculous. Well, no, it's, it's Pixar's plan. See, they want people to run to the theaters and watch it now, and then they're going to delete the file. But no, 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 I think what they mean is it's only in theaters for now. Well, then why doesn't it say only in theaters for now? Why doesn't it say only in theaters for now, DVD later, streaming later? Uh, they can't fit all that on the box. There's plenty of space on that box, dude. Yeah, they could have fit it right here. Well, look, do you guys want to go see it or not? Yeah, let's go see it. Let's go, dude. Well, guess what? We can't because we spent all of our money on McDonald's. Well, wait a minute. Wait, we have Ken's real name now, so we can apply for a credit card in Ken's name! Oh, dude, he's perfect for this! Let's do it! No, 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 we don't want to ruin Ken's credit. He has a perfect credit score! Well, that means we can get a higher credit limit! And also, we can apply for loans Ooh. in Ken's name? More money, dude! Yes, yeah, so let's go apply for loans in Ken's name! No! 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 All right, Cody, we got a credit card in Ken's name. And a $20,000 personal loan with an 8.6% interest rate. And it's a balloon loan, so the interest rate rises every year. And they give us free balloons! 
balloons! But that's financially irresponsible and you're not gonna get any balloons! Well look, Cody, we have a credit card and $20,000, all thanks to Ken's information. But, but, but guys, this is a crime because Ken, Ken can't, he, he can't, he's... He, what, he's a doll? No, no, he's, he's human, it's just, th this is identity theft because, because you can't take out a loan in Ken's name. Well, he told us we could do it. Yeah, he's cool with it. No, 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 he didn't, he was me the whole time and he didn't say that. Well look, Cody, with this $20,000, we can go see Elemental. We could buy Elemental, dude. Yeah, we could, the whole theater. Guys, you're gonna have to pay that money back eventually. Ken has to pay that money back. Well, but we should still return the money. Look, Cody, no one's gonna stop us. The police might. Th that, who says that's the police? That might just be Pixar asking us to go see Elemental. Pixar's not gonna go door to door asking you to see their movie. Oh, yes they are, Cody. Pixar, have you seen their last few movies? They're in their flop era. Hello? Hey there, uh, I'm looking for a Ken Carson. I tried to pull him over earlier and he sped off. I've never seen that guy before. Wait, weren't you in the car with him when he sped off? Oh yeah, that guy! He kidnapped me and my friends and then he dropped us off at McDonald's and then went to Mexico. What? Okay, well would you be willing to testify to that in court? I don't know, maybe. Okay, so you don't know where he would be? Maybe Mexico, but he's definitely not on my couch upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go check your couch. Well, you don't have a warrant, so you can't come in. Um, uh, uh this house smells like weed, so I'm gonna have to come in, because I have probable cause. It doesn't smell like weed. Uh, and also, his, his address is right here on the driver's license, and that's your house, so I'm coming in. What, Cody? Cody, you put my address as Ken's address on his driver's license? Oh, no, I didn't do that. The DMV did that. Uh, excuse me, anybody seen a Ken Carson? No? Oh, you lying bastard. He's right there. Okay, Mr. Carson, put your hands up. Thank you. Now you're under arrest for fleeing the police. Wait, where did you kids get all that money? Uh, lemonade stand. What, what are you putting in the lemonade that you're getting that kind of money? Uh, crack. Mm-hmm. You're putting crack in your lemonade? Well, no, but people say it's so good it might as well be crack. Mm hmm Okay, is there crack in the lemonade or not? No. Okay, then where did you get the money? Okay, so look, we found out that Ken has a driver's license even though he's a doll, so we applied for a bunch of loans and credit cards in his name because we wanted money. Wait, wait, you applied for loans and credit cards in his name? That's fraud. Well, no, he told told us to do it, and he has no plans on paying it back, so we're gonna keep the money and, and he needs to get in trouble. Yeah. Yep, yep, you're absolutely right. That is his fault. Okay, Mr. Carson, you're under arrest. Come on. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Puma, and today we will be hearing the case of Kenneth Carson. Kenneth, you have been on quite a crime spree lately. Speeding, evading the police, resisting arrest, bank fraud, etc., etc. Kenneth, how do you explain yourself? You wipe that smug smile off your face, mister. You are showing no remorse for your actions. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. He actually just got Botox in his face. That's why he can't stop smiling. But trust me, he is very remorseful for the actions he didn't do. Oh, my name's Kenneth. I'm so remorseful for breaking the law. Do I look remorseful? No. How do you plead, Kenneth? Ken, say something. Well, are you going to say something? You, you have to plead. Guilty, not guilty, my bad, the fifth, something. Not guilty. He said not guilty, Your Honor. Hmm, interesting. Well, let me tell you why you're wrong and why you are guilty. Because you handed your driver's license to the police just before you sped away in your car like Fred Flintstone kicking his little feet. Unless, of course, you're saying that wasn't you driving the car. Oh, please say that. I would love for you to say that. Because then I could fuck you every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So please, I dare you to say that. Uh, it wasn't me driving the car. Oh, I am so glad you said that. Because I have one more piece of evidence. Officer Guy, show him the body cam footage of you pulling him over. Go ahead, show him. If everyone would look at the screen, please, you can clearly see Kenneth is driving the car. He's even duct taped to the steering wheel. And there are kids in the car, so he's also endangering children, so you can probably add some charges for that. Oh, so close, but so fucking guilty. Guilty, 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 liar, liar, pants on fire. You see, you can't fake body cam footage, and that's clearly you driving the car. Oh, now, I don't even have to ask you about the bank fraud, because if you would lie about the car, you'd obviously lie about the bank fraud, so once a liar, always a liar. Get there! Mm. Now, usually I would give you four years in prison, but because you lied to my face, I am giving you 34 years in prison. That's right, an extra 30 years for lying. I don't like liars. Take him away, bailiff! Don't like it. 34 years! Sorry, kid, he's coming with me. Yeah! Yeah! 
What's wrong, Cody? Did you get your wiener stuck in your zipper again? Uh-huh. It also can get 34 years in prison, and it's all because of you guys. Hold on, hold on. Is it really because of us, dude? Yeah, at some point, Ken has to take responsibility for his own actions. Well, this was all your idea. No, Ken was the one who got duct taped to the steering wheel and sped off, and he was also the one that get these loans out in his name. But you guys did all that. Yeah, and Ken could have stopped us. Yep, he has a voice, unless he's a doll, dude. No, he's not a doll. He's just shy. See, so Ken could have spoke up, and he chose not to. God damn it, Ken needs to learn to stick up for himself. Yeah, so me and Joseph decided to split the 20 grand, 10,000 each, and we're gonna give you the credit card. I should get all of it because this is all your fault, and also I need the money to pay for Ken's commissary. He's gonna need to buy a lot of preparation age for the ass pound he's gonna take, and Swiss rolls. Ken loves his Swiss rolls. So how about you go visit Ken in prison and find out if he even needs the money? Okay, I'll go see if he's a top or a bottom. Alright, let's take the 20 grand and hide it. Hell yeah. Hey Ken, how's prison? Your cellmate's not going too rough on you, is he? Hey Ken! Me and you, round three tonight. <laughs> Your face on the ground! <laughs> oh, he's making you be the bottom? Oh, lucky. Oh, Ken, I just wish I could reach through these bars and grab you. It's not fair! It's just not fair! What? K Ken! You escaped! Come on, quick! Hey, you owe me round three! Guys, I just broke Ken out of jail! Why would you do that, Cody? Now you're gonna get in trouble! Well, he just kinda fell through the bars and I just grabbed him. Look, hopefully nobody will even notice he's missing. Okay, inmates, lights out. No more weenies and butts. At least not with the lights on. But officer! No butts or weenies in those butts. I can't put my weenie in the butt because my butt gone! What, what happened to your butt? I ain't here! Wait, you're telling me your cellmate escaped? Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. Well, I gotta find him! So guys, what happened to that $20,000? Because we should probably give it back to the bank. Ooh. Uh, uh, what happened? Well, you see, we gave that $20,000 away. What, to who? Well, there was these two blind kids going door to door trying to raise money for new eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was $10,000 per eye. Yeah. So we only had $20,000, so that means only one kid got new eyes. So we made them play rock, paper, scissors to see who got new eyes. How did they know who won? Well, we told them, and it was a draw three times in a row. Mm -hmm. Three times. So, yeah, so they decided to get one eye each. You know, an eye for an eye. That's not really relevant here, but okay. Yeah, so we gave the $20,000 so they both could get one eye. Don't you think that's worth it? Well, as long as it went to a good cause. Freeze! You're under arrest for helping a fugitive. And you're under arrest for being a fugitive. What's going on, officer? Well, Mr. Cody here helped Mr. Carson escape from jail. So now they're both going to the slammer. Do I at least get Ken's cellmate? No, you're going to an all-woman's prison. Junior, help me! Is there anything we can do, officer? I don't know. I'm just so pissed off because my wife racked up $20,000 of credit card debt. So I really need $20,000. I would do just about anything for $20,000. I'd probably let these two go for $20,000. Dude! Do we give him the money? No! We might have $20,000. Wait, wait, but what about the blind kids? We made it up. What, you made that up? Yeah, because me and Joseph wanted to buy a soft serve ice cream machine. Bro, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Cosmopolitan, Cody, come to Cosmopolitan. Guys, help me! <sighs> give him the money, Joseph. And here, have the money. Wow, that's really nice of you guys. So I guess, because you did that, I can let these two go. Well, I have a question for you. So is this weird? So Ken was born in 1961, and he's dating a minor. Uh, okay, well, I can't just let that slide. Ken, run! <laughs> Catch him if you can. Guys, you ready to watch the WWE fight tonight? Yeah! Hell yeah! Bone Crusher's gonna fight Jeffrey the Giraffe. Wait, Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us? Yeah. Oh, Jeffrey's gonna get his ass beat, dude. Well, I'm gonna go for Jeffrey. Well, I want Bone Crusher to win. He always wins. Yeah, he crushes bones, dude. Well, let's turn it on so we can watch. Hello and welcome to the WWE Championship. Today, it's Bone Crusher versus Jeffrey the Giraffe. Come on, Jeffrey. Let's go, Bone Crusher! Crush the bones! The winner gets this championship belt! Let the fight begin! Come here, Jeffrey! Oh, he's got the stool! Oh, that's gotta hurt! Ouch! Oh, Bone Crusher's not playing today. He's trying to crush his skull with a stool! I got something special for you, Jeffrey! Are you ready for the bone crushing? Bone crushers opened up.
up a can of whoop ass. Help! Help! Where you think you're Help! going? Help! Come back here. Help! Where you going? No! Time for the dragon, bro. Oh, I think he's done. One, two, three, it's over. Bone Crusher's the champion. I told you I could go it. I told you I would win. Bone Crusher win! Yay! I told you Bone Crusher was gonna beat Jeffrey. Oh, poor Jeffrey. This is not fair. Bone Crusher's too good. He's undefeated. Well, I could beat him. No, you couldn't. Yes. I could it be easy? Well, there's no way they'll ever let some stupid kid versus Bone Crusher. Yeah. What? Hey, kids, have you ever wanted to fight Bone Crusher? I sure wouldn't. Well, we're having a charity event with the Mana Food Bank, and whoever can donate the most cans of food gets a can of whoop ass in the ring with Bone Crusher. Damn right. So donate as many cans of food as you can today. Oh my god, Jeffy, look! There's a chance you can fight Bone Crusher! All you have to do is donate a bunch of cans of food. But I don't have a bunch of cans of food. All right, Jeffy, it's time for dinner. Come on. Oh, all right, guys. I gotta go eat dinner. I'll be back. Okay, Jeffy, here's your dinner. Green beans. I'm so grateful. And we went to the store and bought you a month's supply of food. Jeez, you really shouldn't have. You know I don't like green beans, so I don't know why you even do it. At this point, it's child abuse. Yeah, Marvin, why do you keep giving him green beans? Because they're good for him. False! This sodium in here is 380 milligrams, which is enough to put me in cardiac arrest before my 21st birthday. Jeffy, just shut up and eat them. Come on, baby, let's go. You only buy these so they end up on the floor. So let's start with that. Wow, that is a lot of cans of food. I could turn those in and fight Bone Crusher. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, check out all these cans of food. Wow, Jeffy, that's so many green beans. I bet if you donated all those green beans, they'd let you fight Bone Crusher. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And lose? I'm not gonna lose. I think you guys are underestimating my R strength. Well, wait, how do we donate those cans? Like, where do we go? Well, I'll just call up the WWE Association and tell them to come get their beans. Hey there, I'm Steve Staleberger. I represent the WWE. Why'd you call me? Because I wanted to turn in all these cans of green beans to fight Bone Crusher. Holy moly, that's a lot of cans. You win. You get to fight Bone Crusher. Wait, he wins? No one else donated cans? No, nobody else donated cans because they don't want to fight Bone Crusher. They don't want to die. Well, I'm going to win. Okay, whatever you say, kid, as long as you sign all the waivers. Now, I'm going to collect all these cans. Just hold on. Let me go pop my trunk. Wow, Jeffy, you get to fight Bone Crusher. Are you nervous? No, because I know I'm going to win. Oh, ma make room. He has to get the cans. So what's your wrestling name going to be? My what? Your wrestling name. You need a scary wrestling name like Bone Crusher. He has a scary name. Yeah. Um, mine could be Poopy Diaper. Well, that's not very intimidating. Well, it is when there's a grumpy in my diaper. Dude, it has to be something cool. Yeah, something scary. Yeah, like heart disease. That's not scary, Cody. Well, it's the number one cause of death in America. Well, how about something like the big bad wolf? And you dress up like a wolf, and then you can say, I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna beat your ass. Ooh, that's yeah, fire, dude. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, Jeffy, so go dress up like a wolf, and then go fight him. I, I promise you, you'll be scary. All right. Hello and welcome to another WWE World Championship! Tonight, Bone Crusher has decided to donate his belt to whoever wins! So in this corner, we have... Bone Crusher! Your bones are gonna get crushed today! And in this corner, the Big Bad Wolf! I'm gonna huff and puff and knock your ass out! Okay, let the fight begin! You ready to die, kid? I'm gonna kick your ass! Get off me! You know who I am? I'm Bone! Ugh. Okay, that's it! No more going easy on you! Alright, you ready? Oh, Jeffy used the stool! Okay, that kid's gonna die! Okay! Oh, bonked him with the claw hammer. I don't know if that's legal, folks. All right, he's going to die. Screw this. Uh, ah! Hey, kid, stop. You know this is off a show, right? It's wrestling. It's fake. You're going a little too hard. You're actually starting to hurt me. You're not going to trick me, Bone Crusher. No, no kid, stop. No, no. Ah! 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 Oh, 
Oh, he used the chair. This might be over early, folks. Uh, hey, man, do you want me to stop this? Because he's kicking your ass. Yes! Oh. Oh, from the top of the ropes! That's gotta hurt! Listen, kid, just pick up my leg and tap me out. It's over, you win. And you kick me in your face? I'm not falling for that, bum crusher! Where's he going? Someone tell me where he's going! Where's he going? Oh my god! Dear Lord, he has the ladder! Are you ready to die, fucker? No, please! Please don't do it! No! No! no. Oh. One, two, three! He's dead! Woo! The Big Bad Wolf wins! The winner by murder, the Big Bad Wolf! Yeah, I told those three little pigs that I would win! Wow, Jeffy wasn't lying. He really kicked Bone Crusher's ass. Like, he killed him. Hey guys, check out my new belt! I got that W! Jeffy, why'd you go so hard? You killed the guy. Well, he was asking for it! You do know wrestling's fake, right? Oh, I didn't know that. But the news! Breaking news, okay? Bone Crusher, a famous wrestler, has died. His funeral will be held tonight for anyone who wants to attend. Oh, wow, he's actually dead. I thought maybe he was faking it. No, I felt his neck snap. Oh man, now my favorite wrestler's dead. Oh, R.P. Bone Crusher. Wow, Jeffy, good going. You killed Joseph's favorite wrestler. Well, I didn't mean to. We should go to his funeral. Yeah, let's go to Bone Crusher's funeral. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of our beloved Bone Crusher, whose bones were ironically crushed in his last wrestling match. Would anyone like to say anything before we bury him six feet under? <laughs> There's something I want to say! There is one thing I would like to say about Bone Crusher. I don't believe he's dead! Oh, oh dear God! The horror! The horror! Oh my God! Jesus, dude, stop! Jeffy, stop it! Oh God! Morphin, Jeffy ate all his green beans! He really did? Yes, he ate every can! Every can? Jeffy wouldn't eat that much! Jeffy, get in here! Hey there, your son's under arrest. For what? Well, he killed a guy and then beat up the guy's corpse at the funeral. Jeffy, why would you do that? Oh, he actually committed a whole alphabet list of crimes. Here, I'll name them off for you. A is for aggravation. Aggravated assault. B is for beating a corpse. C is for choking a corpse. D is for defiling the dead. E is for extortion because he called the guy's parents afterward and then asked for money or else he'd kill them. F is for felonious activity because I'm pretty sure what he did is a felony. G is for grave robbing. H is for hate crime because Bone Crusher had a little bit of black on him, but he's also a skeleton, so I don't really know how that works. I is for ignoring the law. J is for jaywalking because when I tried to arrest him, he crossed the street, but he didn't use a crosswalk. K is for killing. L is for larceny, and I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. M is for murder. N is for neglect. O is for, oh my god, how could you do that to a corpse? P is for personal injury. Q is for quite ridiculous what he did. R is for resisting arrest. S is for strangulation. T is for threatening, because he threatened me when I tried to arrest him. U is for under the influence, because he must be, because why else would he do that? V is for violence. W is for why would anyone do that? X is for xylophone, because he played the guy's ribs like a xylophone. Y is for why would you do that? Again, why would anyone do that? And Z is for zebra stripes because he's going to be wearing black and white stripes when he's in jail. Jeffy, why would you do all those things? Because I got this shiny belt for beating up Bone Crusher. Oh, is that real? Yep. I've always wanted a WWE belt. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll, I will drop all these charges if you give me that belt. Well, I won this fair and square. Jeffy, give him the damn belt. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm going to be like a wrestler. Here, take it. Oh, sweet. Jeffy, I cannot believe you did all that, but I, I, you got really lucky that he wanted your stupid belt. Now, I have one more question. Did you really eat all your green beans? Did you check the floor? Ooh, you goober! Oh man, 
Joseph, I can't wait to fly my Mega Glide Star. I know, dude. It has a 19 inch wingspan. You know this is going far. It's going to fly for miles. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. You're looking at the smartest kid in the country. You mean the biggest nerd in the country? <laughs> Flame him, bro. No, because the governor of Florida just sent me this letter telling me how smart I am because I got a 36 on my ACT test. You got a 36 out of 100? Dude, that's failing. You're ass. <laughs> you got an F, Cody. He probably sent you this letter to make fun of you. Wait, yeah. No, it's 36 out of 36. That's not how tests work, Cody. It's 36 out of 100. You got an F and you failed. Yeah, you didn't try, dude. Wait, no, because I also got a 1600 on my SAT test. <laughs> now you're just making up numbers, Cody. That's not how they grade, dude. Hey, Joseph, I got a 2 billion on my test. Oh, that's so good, but maybe next time you'll get 3 billion. <laughs> But no, because they sent me this letter saying that I was smart and they're going to have a special celebration for me where they're going to give me a medal. What? They're not going to give you a medal. They're probably going to give you a you tried medal because yeah. you got a 36 F on your test. But no, guys, it's going to be a whole ceremony and everything. There's going to be a buffet and I can invite whoever I want. Dude, a buffet? Oh, we can eat whatever we want? Oh, I can eat for days. Okay, Cody, we'll go to your stupid, dumb nerd event. Yeah. Wait, wait you, you guys aren't invited. What, what? We're not invited? No, I mean, I'm taking Ken. Oh, he just wants to be him and Ken. Oh, one of those date things, I guess. Well, I am also inviting Penelope. What? what? Penelope? Why Penelope? Well, I don't know. We're friends. She's cool. What? You've only known her for like a year. You've known me and Joseph for like 10 years. Yeah. Well, I don't know. She's nice. I don't know. Well, you don't even know who she is. Why is she going to go to your stupid event? We, we want to go. Yeah. I don't know, guys. She's just cool. I want to bring her. So you're going to take Ken and Penelope? Well, yeah, and Patrick. Patrick? Come on. Why Patrick? Well, when's the last video he's even been in? Why Patrick? You don't even talk to Patrick. Well, just because you don't see me talk to Patrick doesn't mean I don't talk to Patrick. When's the last time you talked to Patrick? Like three days ago on the phone. Show me your call history. Show me you talked to Patrick. Uh, okay, I don't really talk to Patrick that much, but he's cool. I like Patrick. So you're gonna you're gonna take Penelope and Patrick and Ken, but not your two best buds? Come on, we sit on the couch together. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather take them. Wait, are you gonna take your parents? No, definitely not. They're gonna cause a scene. Well, well you're gonna, you won't, you're not gonna take your parents. That doesn't make sense, dude. Yeah, so you're gonna take Penelope, who you don't even really know. You're gonna take Patrick, who you don't really even talk to, and you're gonna leave behind your two best buds and your parents. What? Well, sorry, guys, you're just not invited. What? You're so stupid, Cody. You know how much stuff we do for you? I point out how many pimples you have on your face so that you can get them treated. And, and that you're a nurse so we can humble you. Yeah, and also, we tell you how fat your mom is so she can go on a diet. Mm -hmm. I, I only tell you your mom is fat because I, I'm worried about her health, Cody. I, I don't want her to die. We care. See, guys, this is exactly why you're not invited. I only really came to show you guys how smart I am. I have to go get ready for my ceremony. It's tonight. What? Joseph, can you believe that? Can you believe what Cody's doing? I know, dude. I really wanted to go to that buffet, but let's fly this plane instead. I don't want to fly that stupid plane. I want to go to the event. But we're not invited, dude. But why isn't Cody inviting us? It doesn't make any sense. We've been his best friend for years. Wait a minute. I figured it out. What? Is it because we're black? That's one of the reasons. Yeah, I knew it. But I, he's only inviting people whose names start with a P. What? Think about it. Think about it. The two people he invited is Penelope okay. and Patrick. Okay, but what about Ken? Ken's not a real person. Ah, I see. So he's only inviting people whose names start with a P. Because he hates people whose names start with a J. <gasps> He's a Jason. He's a Jason. He's racist and people's names start with a J. Because I'm Junior and you're Joseph. Dang it. So we got to change our names to start with a P. How are we going to do that, though? We're going to go to the courthouse. Okay, let's go. Okay, we just changed our names. My new name is officially Poonier. And I am Posif. And I told Cody to come over to see if he invites us. Oh, yeah. He better let us in this time. Guys, what do you want? I was getting ready for my ceremony. I got to go. Hey, Cody. Look at my new bib. But PR, what did you get a job in public relations? No. Are you supporting Puerto Rico? It's not that either. Okay, then what is it? Me and Joseph changed our names. But what did you change your names to? I am Punya. And I am Poshif. What? Those are the stupidest names I've ever heard. Well, can Punya and Poshif come to your event? No. What? I thought you were going to invite us because our names start with P now. Yeah. What? Why would I do that? Because you're Jacist. What, what the hell is a Jacist? You're racist to people whose names start with J. What, what are you talking about? Look, you invited Penelope and you invited Patrick. Mm -hmm. So we changed our names to start with a P because you were only inviting people with P's. That's not why I didn't invite you guys. Then why did you invite us? I, I don't know. I just didn't want to. You don't want us to go. No, I don't. Well, what if we show up anyway? Well, then I'm going to have security escort you out because you're not invited. You just don't want us there. Yes, exactly. I don't. So I'm going to go finish getting ready for my ceremony. Leave me alone. Oh, Cody, I hate you. Dude, that's so Jason's of him. Yeah, he's Jason's and he's Pacis now. Oh. oh, I gotta figure out what this is. You know what? I'm gonna call Patrick over and maybe Patrick can tell us what's really going on. Yeah, he better. Hey, guys! I lost my shoes. I probably need them for Cody's ceremony. I don't want to go barefoot. Unless I'm Tarzan. Tarzan's cool. But then I have to take my shirt off. Tarzan was raised by monkeys. Did you know that? I think I was raised by monkeys because I'm pretty good at climbing and I like bananas.
All right, listen, Patrick, we want to find out Is what... that a Mega Glide Star? Yeah, dude, and it has a 19-inch wingspan. And it has dual flight modes, high durability, if I want to tease it to a tambo. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can read that from way back there? Yeah, I have contact lenses. They're like these little stickers that you put in your eye to make your eyes see better. At least that's what my mommy says. Except sometimes I forget to take them out, and then they go behind my eyeball, and the doctor has to pop my eye out of its socket to get it back out. All right, Patrick, you can leave. Okay! Dude, why did you make him leave? Because I just figured out why Cody didn't invite us. What? What? Why? Because we don't wear glasses. Wait, wait. That doesn't make sense, dude. No, think about it. Cody wears glasses. Penelope wears glasses. Patrick doesn't wear glasses, dude. He wears contacts. <gasps> mm-hmm. Cody is a bad visionist. He is racist to people with bad vision. He knows my left eye is not that good. Mine too, dude. So if we wear glasses, then he'll think that we're like him and he'll invite us. Yeah. Let's go. All right, Posif, we now have perfect vision because of our glasses. You're right, Poonier, we look so sophisticated. I called Cody and said, come over really quick. Guys, what do you want? My ceremony starts in 30 minutes. I don't have time to keep coming over here. What is this? Me and Posif now have glasses. Okay, great, and? So, do you like them? Well, did you guys even need glasses? I mean, our vision wasn't perfect before, but now it is. Don't you like wearing glasses? No, I only wear these because I have to. Oh, well, you know, me and Posif will be able to see you better get your award with these glasses. You guys are still not invited. But what? We're not invited still? But no, it's the glasses. You're only inviting people wearing glasses. But what are you talking about? Penelope wears glasses. Patrick doesn't. He wears contacts. I didn't even know that. Yes, you did. You just don't want us there. Guys, that's not why I didn't invite you. Now stop bothering me. I have to get ready. Oh my God. I realize what it is. What is it, dude? It's not the glasses. It's not the name. What could it be? He's only inviting people that are gay. <gasps> not gay? Seriously? Well, Pen Penelope isn't gay, dude. How do you know? Have you ever seen her with a man? You're right, dude. Yeah, and every time I try to kiss her, she goes, Ew, no. A girl that doesn't like a guy, she likes girls. She's gay. Yeah, she would totally take that kiss, dude. Yeah, so she's a lesbian. <gasps> And Patrick's gay, because look, Patrick, we never seen him with a girl either, and he was talking about Tarzan. Tarzan's a half-naked man. What's he doing watching Tarzan? Jesus, you're right, dude. And Cody's gay himself, so he's only inviting gay people. So, me and you need to be gay for each other. Jesus, how are we going to do this? I got an idea. Come on. Okay, Posif, we have our gay pride button. So when Cody gets here, we have to act really gay. He's on his way. I got you, bro. Guys, I'm on my way to my ceremony right now. What do you want? Look at my ass. That is very nice. Man, I sure love me some man butt. Yep, me too. Yeah, me too. So, Cody, me and Posif are now gay. We're a gay couple. What, what are you guys talking about? You're not gay. You've never been gay. Oh, well, starting today, we're gay because mm -hmm. Posif was peeing in the bathroom. Yep. And I opened the door, and I saw him peeing, and I saw his wiener, and I said, don't put that thing away. That's kind of hot. Yep, and I saw that he saw my wiener, and I said, yo, that's that's hot. Yeah, so I grabbed his wiener, and then he grabbed mine. Mm-hmm, it just couldn't let go. Yeah, we held onto each other's wieners for like 30 minutes. Yeah, that has to be a gay record or something. That, that does sound pretty gay. Oh, because we are so gay. Look at our gay buttons. I got the gay flag. Well, the fact that you called it the gay flag makes me think you're not really gay. Well, well look at Joseph's, I mean, Posev's gay, pro he's proud for, for being gay. Yep, so proud for penis, dude, you don't even know. Yeah, we love penis. Yep, so much. And, and look at this, look, pride it, it, uh, makes a family. So we, can, we can't have kids because we're gay, but we can adopt because two guys can't make a kid. Hmm. I'm not sure I believe this. I'm going to need you guys to prove it. Oh, how do you want us to prove it? We got all the gay buttons in the, in the gay. You guys should kiss. Oh, dude. See? No, I'm going to need you to do it with tongue. Oh, oh we, but we've done so much gay kissing today. Yeah, know? we had a gay makeout session like five minutes ago, and oh, my tongue is just so tired from, sore. from being gay. Yeah. Uh, just do it one more time. Come on, Joseph. Dude, you really want to do this? There's a buffet at that event. I need to go to that event. <sighs> Just open your mouth. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, gross, 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 gross. God. Gross, so you're not really gay? Oh, no, we're gay. Yeah, so gay. It's just, uh, my, his tongue tastes like my balls. Yeah, 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 I have ball breath. I haven't brushed my teeth today. Yeah, you ever taste your own balls? Yuck. Mm. Well, we'll talk about this after I get back from my event. After we get back from your event? Mm -hmm. you, you guys are still not coming. What? So I kissed Joseph for no reason! That was tongue, dude! I thought you guys were gay! No, I'm not gay! I was just kidding, Joseph! I want to go to the event! I thought you were only inviting gay people! Wait, what are you talking about? Penelope's gay! No, she's not! Patrick's gay! What? No, he's not! Well, they... I've never seen them with another person. Listen, can we please just go to the event? Please! I just want to go! Come on, the buffet! No, guys, I have to go to the event before I'm late. <laughs> Oh, I hate him. You know what? I'm taking off all this ridiculous crap. Yeah. Or changing my name back to Junior and Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. And we're going to crash this event. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, hey, Penelope. I don't have a shirt on because I'm Tarzan. Hello and welcome to the Cody Not Kiss Ceremony. We are gathered here today to celebrate how smart Cody is for getting a perfect score on his ACT and SAT tests. So I will be presenting him with this medal. There you go. You're smart. You can put it on your own damn self. Thank you, Mr. Governor. 
This is such an honor. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, I guess I'll give a speech. Uh, it ain't easy being cheesy. That's quoting the great Chester Cheetah, who happens to be here today. Thank you, Chester. I'd just like to thank all of my friends who came out today for uh, supporting me and believing that I could be this smart. Uh, I'd also just like to say... Hey, Cody! You didn't thank your actual friends, you nerd! Yeah, stupid nerd! Yeah, yeah, I know you got that medal for being smart, but you actually got that medal for having the fattest mom! Yeah, she's a whale, dude! Yeah, super <laughs> fat mom having himself is what you are. Yeah, she's a humpback whale. Isn't yeah, she? big fat one. And also those pimples on your face, yeah, you can connect the dots and it would spell fat. Pepperoni face ass. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, you don't want to invite your real friend. You want to invite these fake people. Where are your real friends, nerd, loser, fat idiot? <laughs> Junior Joseph, this is exactly why I didn't invite you guys. You guys are dicks. <laughs> that was mean. I think we hurt his feelings, dude. I don't care. He hurt our feelings when he didn't invite us to this stupid event. Where's the buffet? There is no buffet. I was looking for the cheetah. Man. So there's not even a buffet? Why'd we even come? I don't know. Uh, come on, Joe, let's leave. Uh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know they gave you a medal for being the biggest crybaby. Guys, do you not see how mean you just were? You ruined my whole event. We only did that because you didn't invite us, Cody. Well, I didn't invite you because I knew you were going to do that. No, if you would have invited us, we would have been on our best behavior. But since you didn't invite us, we acted like that. Yeah. You guys were already mean before you even knew I didn't invite you. Listen, Cody, friends bully friends, okay? We make fun of you because it's easy and it's funny. Yeah, we're supposed to support you, dude. That's what we were trying to do. You guys just wanted to come to the event because you wanted the buffet, which wasn't even there because I made that up to make you guys jealous. Cody, even if there would have been a buffet, we know your fat ass mom would have ate all the food. So listen, we only came there because we wanted to support you. You didn't invite us. We're supposed to be friends. We're best buds, you know? You know what we did to try to go? We changed our names for you. We wore glasses for you. We were we turned gay for yeah, you. Totally gay. Yeah, we were just trying to make you happy. We wanted to be there for you because you're our best friend. You didn't invite us. You know how much that hurts us? Yeah, I guess you're right. So we want an apology for not coming to your stupid nerd event. We want you to apologize for not inviting us. Right now. Okay, fine. I'm sorry I didn't invite you because you guys are assholes. Aww. He really meant it, dude. I think he truly means it. Aww. All right, Cody. Next stupid event, you better invite us. We'll see. <gasps> we got a we'll see. <gasps> I like that. Yeah. All right, Cody, we're not going to apologize to you for anything because we didn't do anything wrong. At all. Because if you run a red light and then we hit you, we didn't do anything wrong. You're the one who caused this. So you caused all this by not inviting us. Mm -hmm. But we will let you throw this plane first. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, throw it over there as fast as you can. <clears throat> what are you? American Airlines Flight 191? Wait, what? It's a plane that crashed in the 70s. Oh, why did you just know that? I know, I know a lot of plane crash stuff. That's weird. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, there's a BattleBots fight tonight on TV. We have to watch it. What's BattleBots? You don't know what BattleBots is? It's where robots fight until they destroy each other. Yeah, dude, it's the ultimate destruction. Yeah, and tonight it's Splinter Saw versus Tornado Tentacles. And Tornado Tentacles hasn't lost. No, Splinter Saw's gonna win. He's gonna kick his ass. What? If Tornado Tentacles had tentacles that spin in a tornado. Yeah, well, Splinter Saw's mom is in the hospital, so he really wants to win one for her. Well, let's watch it, guys. Well, quit your yapping and turn it on, Junior. Okay. <sighs> Hello and welcome to the BattleBots Arena, where tonight we will have a BattleBot fight. Tonight's matchup's gonna be a good one, folks. First, we have Splinter Saw. Yeah, go Splinter Saw. And Splinter Saw will be fighting Tornado Tentacles. Yes! Yeah, spin those tentacles like a tornado, tornado, tentacles! Yes, yeah, tornado, tentacles! I'm trying to watch, guys. Oh, That's my bad. Let the match begin! Oh no, it looks like Splinter Sauce caught in one of Tornado Tentacles' tentacles! He's trying to get away! What? Oh no, it looks like he's caught in the smasher! Oh, he's really taking a pounding there. He's getting smashed. Oh, he has them right where he wants them! Come on, Splinter Saw, think of your mom! Oh, it's over, dude! <laughs> oh, you hear that sound, folks? That means it's time for the Falling Hammers! Not the Falling Hammers! Oh, you're so done, dude! Oh no, it looks like Tornado Tentacles was hit with a hammer! And another one! Oh no! And a mallet! Oh, it's over, folks! Splinter Saw wins! No way, dude! Haha, <laughs> Joseph, I told you Splinter Saw would win! But Tornado Tentacles was undefeated! He was undefeated, but not now! He should change his name to Tornado Testicles because he sucks balls! Bro, the only reason your dude won was because the hammers came down! Yeah, you're right. 
Well, that, that was really cool, guys. That's like a really awesome fight. Yeah, I just wish I could make my own BattleBot someday. Have you ever wanted to build your own BattleBot someday? Well, today's that day. We're having a BattleBot competition, and if you can build your own BattleBot, and your bot can fight and be the last bot standing, you could win $5,000. But there is a $500 entrance fee. So bring the money and your robot today! Whoa, Cody, look! We could build a battle bot and enter that competition to win $5,000! Well, yeah, Junior, we could, but there's so many problems with that. First, we'd have to build a robot, and that's hard, and then we don't have the $500 for the entrance fee. How about you build the robot, I'll get the $500 from my dad's wallet, and Joseph... He can name the robot. Oh, I'm good at naming stuff, dude. But it seems like I'm doing all the work because I'm the one making the robot. No, Cody, we're all doing equal amount of work. You're building, I'm funding it, and Joseph's naming it. That's complicated. Naming it's the easiest part. No, sometimes the name of the product is more important than the product itself. Like, you know how hard it is to think of a name of a product? Like, like think of McDonald's. How long do you think it took them to think of McDonald's? McDonald's is the last name of the guy who made McDonald's. It wasn't that hard. He just named it after himself. Wendy's. Okay, Wendy's is the name of the daughter of the owner of Wendy's. Uh, KFC. Uh, well, they're from Kentucky and they make fried chicken. It's not that hard to think of Kentucky fried chicken. Uh Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make uh, they make uh, cell phones. They're well known, dude. And they make laptops. Like, what what made Steve Jobs name it Apple? He could have named it orange or pear or zucchini or watermelon. But instead, he said Apple. See, now when you say Apple, you think of iPhone. So the name of the product's the most important thing. So Joseph, he's the next Steve Jobs. Yep, you're welcome, dude. Guys, we're not making Apple. We're making a robot that'll probably just get destroyed anyway. Look, let's all break up and do our jobs, and let's all meet back up when we're done. Okay, guys, check out our robot. Whoa, you made a robot spider? Hell yeah, I did. Isn't he sick? He's the coolest robot I've ever seen, Cody. Yeah, okay, Junior, so where's the $500? Oh, uh, I don't think my dad has that much money in his wallet. What? Junior, that was your one job, was to get the money. Well, I was thinking you could ask your mom for the money. Oh, so I have to make the robot and get the money? I'll pay her back. No, you won't, Junior. We both know you're not going to pay her back. I promise I'll pay her back. <sighs> okay, Joseph, what's the name? The what? The name for the robot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I couldn't come up with one, dude. It's been five hours. You couldn't think of a single name? It was so hard. All the good ones are taken. McDonald's, Wendy's, KFC. Those are all restaurants. We need robot names. Well, sorry, Cody. We didn't get the easy job to make the robot. Yeah, all you gotta do is put pieces together, dude. Oh, screw you guys. I just did all the work and you guys did nothing. Well, look, Cody, I don't see any weapons on this robot. Where are the weapons? Well, I didn't add any weapons. What? No weapons, dude? Are you stupid? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not as stupid as somebody who couldn't think of a single name in five hours. All right, guys, let's just calm down. We got the robot. We need a name. So let's, anyone throw out some name suggestions? How about Daddy Longlegs? Ooh. That's pretty nice. That's an awesome name. How long, did he, how long did it take you to come up with that? Just now. I just thought of it. It was very easy. No, it took my five hours. Definitely. Okay, so I need to add some weapons to this. So I got an idea. I'll be right back. Uh, all right, Cody. I just taped a knife to the top of the spider. Oh, yeah. Now we do a damage, dude. So I basically built like half the spider. Junior, I could have taped a knife to it. But did you? Ooh, talk that shit. Yeah, so shut up, Cody. Also, Joseph grabbed me the tape. So we all basically built this robot. We're a team. Yep, so we get to split the prize money if we win, right? We'll see about that later. So let's go enter him to the competition. Okay. Oh man, Cody, do you think we're gonna win our first fight? We better. You see this controller? People thought they could control a submarine with this thing. Hopefully this goes better than that did. Hello and welcome to another BattleBots fight! Today's matchup, Daddy Longlegs! And Daddy Longlegs will be versing the Shark Ship! We're versing a boat? How is that supposed to work? Well, we have a knife on our spider, so stab the pool, and it'll make the pool deflate, and then the boat will, like, crash. But if our spider gets wet, it might destroy the battery. Well, it's worth a shot, Cody. Okay. Let the match begin! Looks like Daddy Longlegs is going to use his knife. Oh, and he punches the pool! Oh, the water's coming out! Daddy Longlegs has got to get out of there! What is Shark Ship gonna do? Oh no! Land ho! Shark ship can't move! Daddy Longlegs wins! Woo! Daddy Longlegs won! Yeah, we kicked that boat's ass! Well, I think we kind of got lucky because it was a boat, so all we had to do was pop the pool. Well, the knife was my idea, so we only won because of my amazing engineering. Screw you guys! My boat was way better! Yeah, well, we won, so pfft. Well, I'm gonna tell my dad he's gonna buy me a real boat! Dad! So who do you think we're gonna verse next? I have no idea. Well, get out there, Daddy Longlegs. Win us that money. Yeah, go, boy. Hello, and welcome back to another BattleBot fight. Today's matchup, Daddy Longlegs. 
and he will be versing Hammerhead Shark. He has a hammer on his head and an axe on his ass. Oh, oh, Junior, he has a hammer and an axe. Well, we have a spider and a knife. Bring it, chump. Let the match begin. Cody, charge him as fast as you can. Go. Okay. Daddy Longlegs is going to strike first. Oh, damn. Cody, get up. Yeah, dude. I'm trying. Daddy Longlegs needs to get up. Oh, no. He's getting the axe. Cody, do something. He's teabagging us. I'm trying. Hammerhead's going for the ramp. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, this match is over, folks. Hammerhead wins. We got completely destroyed. We never had a chance. Hey, chumps. What? PJ Crenshaw? Jamie James Crenshaw. Here, Jamie's Crenshaw. You were the one controlling the hammerhead shark? Yeah, and you guys are going to need something a lot better than a spider if you're going to beat my hammerhead shark. Yeah, I can't believe we lost. And I still owe my mom $500 because I was going to pay her back with the winnings from the fight. Well, Cody, it's actually your fault we lost because it was your dumb idea to come up with a robot spider. Yeah, that was a crappy idea, dude. Oh, I'd like to see you guys come up with a better robot. Why'd you have to make a robot spider something so small? You should have made a robot gorilla. Oh, man, a robot gorilla would have went crazy. I don't know how to make a robot gorilla. Well, I have an idea for you to be able to pay your mom back. Well, technically, you should be paying her back because you were supposed to pay for it to begin with. Okay, well, I have an idea for me to be able to pay her back. You go borrow another $500 from your mom, and then we'll enter the competition again with a new robot and we'll win. Why would she loan me another $500 when I didn't pay her back last time? Tell her we'll pay her back double. But we're going to owe her $2,000. Is he stupid? He's very stupid. If we borrow $500 and we pay her back double, that's 1000 Cody. Idiot. We already borrowed 500, so if you borrow another 500, that'll be 1,000, and double that is 2,000. Oh, I'm not gonna pay back double for the first 500, I'm only gonna pay back double for the second 500. That's still gonna be $1,500. I like, that's a deal. Yeah, that's a deal. Now, why would she be okay with that? Because she's gonna get her money back when we win the competition with the $5,000, because you're not gonna make a robot spider this time, because that was a dumb idea. Okay, well, who's making the robot? Because I don't wanna do it. You! Wh why? You're gonna make the robot, and we're gonna think of the name. Yeah. You're not gonna think of a name. It's gonna be the best name ever, so go make the robot, go get the money, and we're gonna think of the name. I hate you guys. He's so hard to work with. Right? Okay, guys, I got the robot. <gasps> you built a helicopter, Cody? Yeah, I figured if we can fly, the other robots won't be able to reach us. And also, I built this hook so we can pick them up, go really high, drop them, and then they'll break and we win. That's a good idea, Cody. Now you're thinking with your noggin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's the name? Oh, okay, well... We've been thinking. Yeah, we made a long list, and we thought we heard these names before. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you think? So we ended up going with an original name, Grave Digger. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's not original, because there's a monster truck called that, and also a helicopter named Grave Digger doesn't make sense. A helicopter can dig a grave, Cody, like if the blades hit the ground. Or if it crashed in Calabasas. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, fine, I guess we can call it Grave Digger. Oh, did you get the $500 from your mom? Yeah, I got the money. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Time for another BattleBot fight, folks. In this corner, Grave. Digger, the helicopter for some reason. And in this corner, Hammerhead Shark again! All right, Cody, you have a plan this time, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna hook him, fly up as high as I can, and then drop him so he breaks. Oh, we're not losing this time, dude. Yeah, we're gonna win. Let the match begin! Grave Digger's taking off! Oh, it looks like he's gonna go fishing! And he's hooked himself a Hammerhead! I got him hooked! Fly up! Fly up! Time to die, Hammerhead. Wait a minute, looks like Hammerhead's caught himself a grave digger! And he's running him over! Oh no, this match has got to be over! He's smashing him to pieces! I can't watch this! Cody, do something! Junior, there's nothing I can do. We're just gonna have to sit back and watch him have his way with us. Hammerhead wins! That did not go as planned. You guys really thought a stupid helicopter could take on a Hammerhead shark? Yo, I can't believe we lost again, and we owe my mom $1,500. Cody, why would you make a helicopter? What a dumb idea. Yeah, such a stupid idea, dude. You guys said it was a great idea. Well, we lost, so it's a bad idea. Why wouldn't the helicopter pick up the shark truck? The shark was too heavy. Your mom's too heavy, but the Earth finds a way to carry her around. Yeah, why didn't you just make a gorilla, dude? Yeah, a robot gorilla. I don't know how to make a robot gorilla. Wow, Cody, I used to think you were smart and a nerd, but now you're just a big, dumb loser. Yeah, we need a new smart friend, dude. Yeah. Wait, you guys want some smart shit? I'll make you some smart shit. I'll make the coolest robot car ever. <laughs> okay, guys, check this out. I call it the Mean Green Machine. The what? Uh, hold on, let me turn it off. It's kind of loud. <laughs> I call it the Mean Green Machine. Whoa, dude, you made this? 
hell yeah I did. Is that a gun? Yep, military grade. We're gonna kill PJ Crenshaw and his stupid monster truck. Dude, Ooh. we're totally gonna win. There's no way we'll lose. Yeah, we, we, we need another $500 to enter the competition again. I already got it from my mom. Now we owe her $2,000. $1,500 from before and now another $500. Well, we're definitely gonna win this time. And we'll get the $5,000 and if, after we pay your mom $2,000, that'll leave us with $3,000. $1,000 for each of us. Yeah. I mean, it should all go to me because I did all the work. I mean, I even named this one because I knew you guys weren't gonna. No, we all get $1,000 each because this was all our idea. Come on. Welcome back to another BattleBot fight! We've done a lot today, but this matchup is the Mean Green Machine versus the undefeated Hammerhead Shark! Okay, Cody, we're gonna win this time. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him to death with my gun. Let the match begin! <laughs> Cody, he's coming at us! Die, bitch! Oh no, it looks like the mean green machine is shooting his machine gun! Hammerhead Shark is riddled with bullets! Oh, Hammerhead Shark blew up! Mean green machine wins! We won! Yeah! Let's celebrate! Die! Sweet Jesus, everyone run for your lives! Guys, we won and we got five! $5,000! We're rich, dude! Yeah, I can't believe we won just because I sprayed bullets everywhere and shot all the other robots. Unfortunately, I also shot 35 people, so I will be going to jail. I'll see you guys later. Uh, so does that mean we have to pay his mom back? Nah. <laughs> I bet. so hot! The AC's broken. It's like 100 degrees in here. Hey, Jeffy. Huh? Can you blow me? Hey, yo, what? Like with a fan. Oh, you should just send that, Daddy. Oh, that feels so good. Hey, I want some. Oh, so much better. Jeffy, blow me again. Stop saying that, Daddy. It's weird. Hey, no, come back! Mommy, look, it's hot in here. You should probably just take your clothes off. Well, ew, Jeffy, she's your mother. Stepmother, and I've seen plenty of videos where stepsons eat their stepmom's fish biscuit. Well, Jeffy, that's gross. Get out of here. All right. Marvin, you need to call an AC repair man. But that's going to cost money. But it'll be worth it. Okay, I'll call one and see if he can do it cheap. Hey there, thanks for calling Expensive AC Repair Services. Marvin, you called Expensive AC Repair Services? Well, I tried calling Super Cheap AC Repair Services, but they didn't answer. Yeah, I never answer that phone. What? Anyway, what's the problem? Well, our AC is broken, I think. Oh, that sounds expensive. Yeah, I guess I can get my ladder out and go look at it, but it's gonna cost you. How much? How much you got? Baby, how much do I have in my wallet? Uh... Um, about $94. Oh, that's crazy, because that's exactly how much I charge to get my ladder out and look at your AC unit. Okay, here you go. Ooh, it is hot in here. This cash is cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let me go get my ladder and I'll take a look at it. Okay, time to figure out what's wrong with the AC so I can charge him more money. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this AC. What? Haunted toys do not touch. Okay, not touching that. Let's see here. Oh. Well, the AC's not broken. It just got turned off. All I have to do is turn it on. But then I can't charge them a bunch of money. <laughs> okay, I know. I'll go downstairs and tell them that the whole AC unit is completely destroyed and that it's going to be really expensive to fix, and then I'll come back up here, just play on my phone for like an hour, and then turn it on and tell them I fixed it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. It is, it is just a train wreck up there. So it's broken? Oh, broken's not even the right word. I would say destroyed, demolished, pillaged, savaged, desolated even. So it's broken? Yeah, it's broken, yeah. What happened to it? Oh, I can't even imagine what could have caused such destruction. Was your house struck by lightning and a tornado a hundred times? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it is on fire. What, fire? Yeah, and it's flooding at the same time. I don't even know how. It's crazy. Flooding with what? With, with shit from the sewer, because I guess your sewer got mixed up, so whenever you flush the Toilet shit comes out of your AC. Oh, oh well, can I go up there and look? No, 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 don't do that because it's also spraying asbestos and, and carbon monoxide. It's very dangerous. Well, okay, well then how are you going up there? I, I had a hazmat suit, but I took it off because it was itchy from all the asbestos. Well, can you fix it? Oh, I can, but it's going to be really expensive. Like how much? Oh, like, like $5,000 cash. We don't have $5,000 cash. Well, I guess I could do it for $3,000 cash. I don't think we have $3,000 either. Well, how much cash do you have? Baby, how much cash do we have if you went in your purse and, like, checked the safe in the room? Um, maybe, like, $500? Oh, 
I guess I could do it for $500 cash, as long as it was cash. Wait, how can you go from $5,000 to $500? Well, I just feel so bad, because you're living with a hazard. You know, it's dangerous, so I gotta take care of it. So yeah, I'll do it for $500, as long as it's cash. Baby, get the money. Okay. Yeah, thank you for doing this for us. Here you go. No problem. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go work on that. Just don't check on me, okay? It's very, very dangerous. Uh, by the way, do you have a phone charger? What do you need a phone charger for? Uh, my phone's dying, and I really wanted to listen to some tunes while I work. You know, that's what I call Music 86. It's too much trouble to go find new music, so I let them bring the music to me, you know? That's what they call music, that's what I call music. That's what I always say. Okay, I'm gonna go get to work. Just don't come up there, okay? It's too dangerous. Oh, what is that? It's a stairway leading right to the attic. I bet my daddy's hiding my Christmas presents up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's snowing up here? The North Pole's in my attic? Santa Claus lives in my attic? Wow, I can't believe I'm in Santa's workshop. <gasps> Haunted toys? Do not touch! These must be special toys that Santa Claus made that he doesn't want anyone to play with. Well, I'm gonna go play with them. Alright, let's check out these haunted toys. Buzz Lightyear? Let's see if he can fly. Woody was right! He's not even a flying toy! Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, what is this thing? Interesting. Alright. Ooh, an ABC board? It'll help me learn my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ooh, and what is this? Looks like a magnifying glass so I can see the letters better. <gasps> and it says yes or no? Maybe I can ask it a question and it'll tell me. Um, ABC board, am I gonna get fat hoes? <gasps> it said yes! Yay, I'm gonna get fat hoes! Thank you, ABC board! You're welcome. Now open your mouth. Open my mouth? Why? Just do it. Okay. Uh... <gasps> Ugh, Marvin, it's so hot up here. Can we go downstairs? But baby, the AC's broken. It's gonna be hot everywhere. But it's hotter upstairs because heat rises. Well, if heat rises, then my wiener has heat. What? It, it rises when I see... Whatever, let's just go downstairs and make some dinner. Okay. All right, baby, for dinner, me and you are gonna have a mashed potato bowl. Ooh, yum! And Jeffy's gonna eat green beans. Jeffy, dinner's ready! What do you want, old man? Marvin, why does Jeffy look like that? Jeffy, did you call yourself green with a Sharpie? No, I've been possessed by a demon. <laughs> okay, demon, eat your green beans. How about I just piss? <laughs> Jeffy, stop peeing! What's wrong, old man? You don't like piss? Stop it, Jeffy! Marvin, why? Jeffy in a dress? You're worried about the dress and not the pee! Oh, okay, good. He, he's stopping. <laughs> Just kidding, more pee! Oh my god, Jeffy, stop peeing on the table! You're, you're peeing everywhere! Oh, I'm sorry, am I pissing you off? Jeffy, stop it! Alright, I'm done. Jeffy, just go to your room! Alright. Oh my god, he, he peed all over the table, baby! What, what is wrong with him? It's disgusting! <laughs> Jeffy, you are so grounded! <laughs> He got the one! He threw up everywhere! Marvin, I think he's really sick! We need to call a doctor! The AC guy! He's a doctor! Let's go get him! <laughs> Die, pigs. Hey! 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 What? How did you get up here? Wait, uh, are you playing Angry Birds? Yeah! Yeah! I, 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 just, I just finished fixing your AC. I, I did. I also killed those pigs. You got, you got three stars. Well, thank you. Yeah, I did. I did. But was my AC even broken? Oh yeah, it was super broken. I just fixed it. That's that's why I have this screwdriver here. You see, because it was it was this screw. It was loose, and that that's what caused the whole thing. You know. So one screw being loose caused it to flood and catch on fire. Oh yeah, you'd you'd be surprised what a screw can do. <laughs> it can really screw things up. You get it? It's an AC repairman joke. You probably don't get it. Well, like, you're a doctor, right? Yeah. Oh, look, my son's really sick. Can you come check him out? How much cash you got? I don't got any more cash, but do me a favor. Eh, I guess you're right. I've screwed you over enough today. <laughs> that was another one. Come on. Okay. Okay, my son's in here. Well, I put my doctor outfit on. I put down towels because of the throw up. Ew, he's throwing up. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, why is his head spinning around like that? Well, he's not sick, you guys. He's possessed. But possessed? Yeah, by a demon. Well, so what do we do? Well, you call an exorcist. 
Wait, isn't he an exorcist? No, 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 he needs an exorcist. See, an exorcist performs an exorcism to exorcise a demon. Okay, so I call an exorcist. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you think there's anyone around here? Hmm, try Googling expensive exorcist. Okay, I'll see if there's a cheap one. Okay, I found a phone number for a place called Cheap Exorcism Services. Oh, I, I wouldn't call them. Shh, it's ringing. Uh, that, that's, that's probably my mom calling. I don't answer her. Well, it's kind of weird that while I'm calling this number, your phone's ringing. I mean, it is a coincidence, but if you think about it, there's 13.5 billion phone calls happening in the world every day, so it's not that much of a coincidence that my phone would be ringing while you're calling somebody. 13.5 billion phone calls? Yeah, it's true. Look it up. It's gonna go to voicemail. Thank you for calling Cheap Exorcism Services. Since we didn't answer our phone, maybe you should try calling Expensive Exorcism Services. They always answer their phone. <sighs> What'd it say? It said to call Expensive Exorcism Services. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, I'm calling them. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Expensive Exorcism Services. Oh, wait, that's me! And yes, I will do your exorcism for you. How much cash you got? Wait, just go get your outfit! Okay. Okay, I got my outfit on. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Ah. Ow! No throwing toy arms! <laughs> Ah. No throwing demon arms either! Father, help him! Yeah, help me, daddy. Hold on, I got some holy water over here. I mean, it's just Fiji water, but holy cow, is it good. The power of Christ oh, compels you! Melting. The power of Christ compels you! No, that, that's from Wizard of Oz. Nice try. <laughs> Look, the holy water's not working, but I've seen the movie, I know what to do. Hey, demon, possess me instead! Open your mouth. Okay, uh... Ah. Possess Buzz Lightyear! Ha! I trapped him in this Buzz Lightyear toy! I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Now, now all I have to do is throw him down the stairs to kill him. Take this, demon Lightyear, to infinity and hell! <laughs> Okay, I threw Buzz Lightyear down the stairs. As long as nobody touches him, we'll be fine. Jeffy, are you okay? Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, that's a side effect of being possessed by a demon. I was possessed by a demon? Yeah, but I took care of it. So where's the cash? Give me a thousand dollars. It's not called expensive exorcism services for no reason. We don't have a thousand dollars. Oh yeah? Well, guess what? Your AC wasn't even broken. It was just turned off. All I did was turn it on and then play Angry Birds on my phone. So, eh. <sighs> Jeffy, how are you feeling? Who wants to watch me piss? <sighs> Hold still, Danny! Hold still, Danny! I said hold still! I've been holding still! And done! It's a masterpiece! I present to you... Daddy Raph! Aw, Jeffy, that's such a good drawing of Marvin! I mean, it's a good drawing of my face, not really my body. I will now draw Mommy's face on a silverback gorilla making sweet love to a squirrel. Marvin, look! The news! Breaking news! The police station is looking for a sketch artist and is willing to pay $250,000 a year. So if you're good at drawing, come down to the police department. $250,000 a year to draw pictures? Marvin, Jeffy could do that job. He's great at drawing people. Um, sorry to interrupt, Mommy, but if you were to have a wiener, how big would it be? What? Actually, I should probably draw a silverback gorilla's wiener to keep the theme going. I wonder how big they are. Should I Google it? I'm gonna Google it. Jeffy, do you want to draw pictures for the cops for $250,000 a year? That's crazy! I know, it's so much money just to draw pictures. A silverback gorilla's wiener is only three to six centimeters long. That means my wiener is barely bigger than a silverback gorilla's because I clocked mine at six and a half centimeters. Jeffy! Ha! Ah! Look, do you want to draw pictures for the cops? What kind of picture? All you'd have to do is draw pictures of people without animal bodies, just normal people, and they'll pay you $250,000 a year. All right, daddy. But first, let me add the three to six centimeter hog to this gorilla. No, no hogs, Jeffy. Listen, I need you to draw a picture of just me so we can show the cops how good you are. Okay, Danny, but this squirrel was about to get the business. All right, look, just draw a normal picture of me with my clothes on, okay? All right, Daddy. Squirrel humping or no squirrel humping? No squirrel humping. Got just, it. just a picture of me. Mm-hmm. And done. 
What do you think about that, Daddy? Pretty lame, if you ask me. I could have given you some udders or a stoma. That looks so good, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy, this is exactly what the cops are going to want you to draw every single time. Every time. Yeah, just normal people, no animals, just like that. Just like this. Just like that. Okay, I got it, Daddy. Locked in my brain. All right, let's go down to the cop office and show them that drawing. The police station? That, that, that's what I said. No, you said cop office. Cop office, police station. It's the same thing. Look, let's go down to the police station and show them the drawing. Come on. Oh. So, uh, this is my drawing of a bad guy. What do you think? It's pretty good, right? It's crap. Oh, man. Oh, God, these people suck. Next person! Jeffy, get in here. I'm nervous. Jeffy, come on. What? All right, Mr. Chief. This is my son, Jeffy. He's really good at drawing. Look at the drawing he did of me. Wow, well, that's pretty good. He even colors him, too. That'll come in handy. Okay, he's hired. Wait, he's hired already? Yeah, we're pretty desperate for sketch artists. Jeffy, you got the job! Yay! So when does he start? Right now. Oh, oh wow. Well, all right, Jeffy. Just do your job and come home when you're done. All right, Daddy. All right, Jeffy. Sit right there and use this sketch pad to draw the suspect based on the victim's description. Send in the victims! Okay, Jeffy, I have the first victim here. Ma'am, tell him what happened. All right, I'm ready. Well, there was a man with a big old cowboy hat on, and he lassoed me up, tied me to the train tracks so the train would run me over and kill me! Cowboy hat, huh? Yeah, it's a big cowboy hat! All right, I think I got him. Is this your man? Oh, uh, well, he has the cowboy hat on. I, I guess that's him. Ma'am, if you're telling me that's who attacked you, I know where that guy is. I can arrest him. Yes, that's him! Okay, I'll go get him. Baby! Jeffy got the job! He did? Yes, the police chief loved Jeffy's drawing of me. That's amazing, Marvin! I know. I love that Jeffy actually got a job that's something he's good at, and he's gonna make a lot of money. Let's just hope Jeffy doesn't mess this up. Freeze, Marvin, you're under arrest! For what? For attempted murder and kidnapping. What are you talking about? Oh, don't pretend like you didn't just tie a woman to railroad tracks like you're in some kind of western movie. I did it! Yeah, well, we have all the proof we need. Let's let the judge decide. Marvin, how could you? Order, 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 order! Today, we will be hearing the case of a most brutal crime. Marvin, you are being accused of lassoing a woman like a cowboy, tying her up, and then placing her on the railroad tracks in hope that she would be run over by a train. How do you plead? Not guilty. Hmm, not guilty, you say? Very interesting. Well, I suppose I'll let you go if you can explain this! This drawing that our professional and very overpaid sketch artist made of the suspect based on the victim's description. Hmm? Hmm? Explain it! That's a drawing my son made. He's the police sketch artist and he made a mistake and drew me. Well, Marvin, based on this sketch looking exactly like you and there being no other evidence brought into court today, I have no choice but to find you guilty and sentence you to 30 days in the county jail. And boom goes the dynamite! Guilty? But I didn't do anything! I didn't do it! Come on, I didn't come on, do let's it! Go. Get in there, you! Please let me out! I didn't do anything wrong! Yeah, yeah, I hear that all the time. I'm not guilty! You saw that sketch, it was spot on, it looked just like you! Listen, my son is a sketch artist and he accidentally drew a picture of me. No, 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 your son knows he'd get fired if he drew a sketch of the wrong person. He should be fired, he drew me! Well, just because your son tattletailed on you doesn't mean you're getting out of this. Listen, please, I don't want to be in prison. No, you should just do your 30 days and be happy that you only got 30 days for trying to kill a lady with a train, that's brutal. I did not do that! Look, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. The time is what you should think about before you do the crime. Crime doing equals time doing. Hard crimes gets you hard times. The, the, the time is what happens when you do crime. You don't, don't do the crime because you should think about the time before you do the, the crime. Okay, look, I'm just gonna go. No, please let me out of here. I can't spend 30 days in here. All right, Jeffy, good job on that last one. Here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. So, I was cleaning the house with Windex, but when I go to grab the Windex, I realize we are out of Windex. So I go downstairs to grab the lemon pledge, and then I see this man climbing through the window with a Santa hat, and he's trying to steal things and shot him in his sack. Santa Claus hat, huh? See, si, see, si, Santa Claus hat. And a big sack. Yeah, see, si, see. Si. All right. I think I got him. Is this your man? <gasps> see, see, that's my man with the Santa hat. Oh, no, not Marvin again. Ugh.
<sighs> How was your 30 days in jail, Marvin? I was falsed in prison. Well, a judge convicted you, so obviously there was enough evidence. No, baby, listen. Jeffy's a sketch artist, and for some reason he drew a picture of me wearing a cowboy hat, and they arrested me based on Jeffy's photo. Oh, no, Marvin. We have to fix that so it doesn't happen again. You're right. I'm going to call the cops and explain what happened. Freeze, Marvin. You're exactly who I want to talk to. You're under arrest. Wh for what? Don't pretend like you didn't impersonate Santa Claus and break into someone's house and try to be the Grinch. What? Don't what me, mister. You're going to jail. Marvin, how come? Marvin, I am very disappointed to see your face in my courtroom again. Did those 30 days teach you nothing? Hmm? I didn't do anything. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? You are being accused of breaking into a house dressed like Santa Claus, and instead of leaving jolly good gifts for the little boys and girls, stealing their valuables. How do you plea against this grinching? Not guilty. Very cute. Too bad I have this. A drawing of you dressed like Santa Claus based on the victim's description. 60 days in the county jail. 60 days? Come on. I didn't do anything. No. Have fun in there. Listen, I didn't do anything. I promise. Oh, you promise? Yes. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll let you out. Wait, really? No, you idiot. I'm not stupid. I have a GED. I wasn't born yesterday. Listen, I don't want to spend two months in jail. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, you've been doing a great job so far. Thanks. Okay, here's your next victim. Tell him what happened, Dolphin. Well, I was just right in my Harley, and then I pulled into a gas station to get some Hubba Bubba chewing gum and some white powdered donuts, because I really like those. And I left my keys in my Harley because I didn't think anyone had the balls to try to steal it from me. But then, I look out the window and I see this guy wearing sunglasses, and he jumped on my Harley and just drove off with it. I didn't really get a chance to see what he looked like. Is this him? Oh yeah, that's definitely him. I'd know those sunglasses anywhere. Oh, damn it. Oh, kill me. Marvin, you deserve those 60 days in jail if you really did try to impersonate Santa Claus just to steal. Baby, are you kidding me? I'm not actually doing these crimes. I've been next to you the whole time. It's because Jeffy's a sketch artist and he keeps drawing me as all these criminals and it's the only evidence the judge has, so he keeps arresting me. Oh no, Marvin, we have to fix that in case it happens again. I know, so if they keep arresting me, then you gotta tell them it's Jeffy doing fake drawings. Freeze, Marvin, you're under arrest. What for what? For stealing a dolphin's motorcycle. What? Well, you did it. Marvin! Marvin, how could you? Order, 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 order. Marvin, why am I seeing your face in my courtroom again? Did 60 days in jail not teach you your lesson? What do I have to do to rehabilitate you? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Ooh, I didn't do it. Marvin, you sound like a broken record. If you did not do it, then explain this. That's a drawing my son did. He keeps drawing me. Marvin, this is the face of a hardened criminal. Someone with no remorse. Look at you with your sunglasses. You must think you're a real cool dude. Especially because you stole a motorcycle from a dolphin. You did it on porpoise. Why would a dolphin be driving a motorcycle? I don't know, Marvin. It's not my job to understand sea animals and their means of transportation. It is my job to convict criminals like you. And you've been on quite a crime spree lately. So, based on this drawing and the complete lack of remorse on his face, I sentence you to 90 days in jail. And for every crime you commit from now on, we will increase your sentence by six months to hopefully teach you a lesson. Go! 90 days, I can't do it! I, I can't do it! How can you convict over a drawing? You must really like it in here. Listen, I really don't. I have one question for you. Okay. You're falsely imprisoning me, so that means the real people that are doing those crimes are out there causing more crimes. Oh, I have a feeling that the real criminal is right here in the cell. That's you. What? You, you're my little criminal. Yes, you are. Hey, okay. no biting. <laughs> I hate it in here. Okay, Jeffy, here's your next victim. Ma'am, tell him what happened. Well, I didn't see what the guy looked like, but here's what happened. I was walking to the grocery store to buy tampons, heavy flow, and then all of a sudden this man walked up to me and he smacked me in the face with a chicken and he stole my purse. Hold it right there, ma'am. Is this him? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I didn't see what he looked like, but that rubber chicken is very familiar. Oh, no. Hey, Marvin. 
Did you enjoy those 90 days in jail, Marvin? It was a lonely three months for me. Listen, I was the one that was in jail for three months. I'm the one that was lonely. I'm looking out for the cops. I don't have much time because they're going to arrest me again. I just know it. Listen, this is what we should do. Go to the police station and just tell Jebby to stop drawing. Please just tell him to stop drawing. Please, Marvin, you're under arrest. No, let me finish explaining it to her. No, no, no. You beat a woman with a rubber chicken and you stole the purse. What? Come on. No, go to the, go to the police station, please. Marvin, you monster. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Marvin, 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 Marvin. Oh, Marvin. Poor Marvin. 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 Oh, Marvin. Marvin? What? Really, Marvin? Assault with a rubber chicken. To steal a woman's purse? I just don't know what to do with you, Marvin. I gave you 30 days in jail. It was a cakewalk. 60 days. Mm, big whoop. 90 days. Mm, that's a week in Marvin's world. Let me ask you a question, Marvin. Do you enjoy jail? Do you have a good time in jail? Is jail fun? Let me check. Hold on, Marvin. Let me see how jail is. Oh, give me a second here. Oh, I'm Marvin. I love being in jail. Jail is so much fun. I wish I could stay here forever. Is that you, Marvin? Is that what you say in jail to all of your jail buddies? Answer me, Marvin. Answer me when I'm speaking to you. No, I don't like jail. Could have fooled me, Marvin. Could have fooled me. You know what, Marvin? I'm gonna drop the ball. One year in jail. No, make it two. Ten. It doesn't matter. It's all the same to Marvin. He loves jail. You know what, Marvin? I'm gonna do a little reverse psychology here. Ten minutes in jail, because apparently you love it so much that being there is a reward. But I better not see you back in my courtroom again. Ten minutes? Only ten minutes? Come on. Thank you! I'm not even gonna close the door. I'm not gonna lock it. I think you get off on that, you sick freak. Wh what? <sighs> ten minutes and I can leave. Okay, Jeffy, I'm really mad about this one. Somebody robbed my wife. Honey, tell them what happened. Okay, there was a little redhead girl who was selling Girl Scout cookies. So I gave her $100 and she ran away with my change and didn't give me my cookies. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Yes, there was a Girl Scout. Oh, I think I got that part. Is this her? Yes, yes, that's her. I recognize the best in my cookies. Oh, Marvin. Baby! That was only 10 minutes, Marvin. Please! Oh, no, come on, that's bullshit. No, come on, you're stealing Girl Scout cookies. That's horrible! Uh, Judge, are you okay? I think he's really mad. Yeah, I think so. Marvin.